Right. It looks okay now. Um, I don't know why it's doing that, but it looks okay. No drop frames yet. Inter looks fine. Happy days. I did a test as well. Computer's not downloading anything. And there's no updates. And all my updates are on pause anyway, so even if something pops up, it shouldn't download automatically, so no idea why it's playing silly buggers. But yeah, it should be okay now. Well, come on back. Yeah, it's good that it happened early on, though. It's always like a big pain in the ass when it happens, like, midway through the stream. It's like, oh, I didn't even feel like streaming beyond that point. I can't be bothered now. <laughs> Still dropping a few frames, but it's not as bad as it was. There's quite a few of you. Let me run back. We'll have a quick rest. Fuck. Ah, I'll pick that up on the way back. I dropped my actual spear by mistake. <laughs> oh well. Pick that one up when we walk back later. Hey, Sam. Welcome on back as well. Just run all the way down to the chair. He always gets more food than he can eat. Yeah, that sounds like a Turkish wife. <laughs> Anytime I see someone like outside of the UK have like homemade food, they always have way too much. I'm like, I'm fucking jealous. Like your food always looks better than mine and you always have too much of it. Like good for you. Like you are living a good life. <laughs> Yeah, they they know what's important. Let's like, oh look at that fucking food. Well, I'm over here with my like sad sandwich wrapped in tin foil. Like fuck. <laughs> Clearly, I've made some errors in my life. Hungry and thinking of ordering something. Any ideas? Turkish kebab. Turkish kebab. That's the name of the game today. Vietnamese food is really good. I've never had Vietnamese food. May have to add that to the list of things to try at some point. What does like Vietnamese food like re revolve around? Like what do they use mostly? Because like every, every like part of the world kind of has like that one thing they're known for. What do Vietnamese throw in their food like more than anything? What do they use? Just meat. Just copious amounts of meat and herbs. Nice. I can get behind that. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> Making shish kebab zombies. It is an acquired taste. It's 
rare here. Fair. Meat, herbs, noodles. That sounds pretty good. Pork, beef, squid. I've never had squid. I've seen, like, I've seen people eat squid. I, I, I can't imagine what it tastes like. I've never tried it. <laughs> it looks really awkward to eat, though. I do want to try some. <laughs> food is food. Like, yes, I want it. Gimme. Give Gimme give the food. Eels and squids. I've never had eels either. I want to consume a lamprey. That's all I want. I want to have a lamprey for a meal. Is it technically cannibalism if I eat the lamprey? Never tried squid? No, I've never tried squid. There's nowhere around. There's nowhere around where I live that does food like that. <laughs> and I don't tend to go to metropolitan areas very long. Like the last place I lived that was a metropolitan area was Bristol, but I wasn't there for that long, and I didn't ever go to any places like that. Squid taste: two percent fish, ninety-eight percent water. Okay. So it's like a very squishy glass of water then. Gotcha. There we go, level 8. So we should start one-tapping almost every single zombie now. We are- we have crossed the threshold. You never ate a guinea pig? No, I've never eaten a guinea pig. Although there was this one time in daycare. <laughs> Assert dominance over the other kids in daycare. Eat the pet guinea pig. Alright, where's that other spear I dropped? Because I know I dropped a spear down here somewhere. Appreciate the follow. Also, that's a bit weird, because that's supposed to call a jet in. Hmm. Let me just have a quick look at touch pool, because that didn't go through. It might be that touch pool has just gone out of sync. Rip. Let me just fix that. Probably because the stream went down a minute ago. No, I appreciate the follow, Coolio. And that should be fixed now. There he is. And that is number 162. Anything fried would... Uh, breading tastes good. Okay. I'm starting to feel very uncultured with my food all of a sudden. <laughs> also, hello, Ryo. Welcome back. I should tour guide what he liked most about the guinea pig. He said the nails of all things. They're nice. They're nice and they're crispy. Delicious. 
Yes, give me some of those guinea pig nails. I want just a bowl of guinea pig nails. That's what I need. Right, let me just run back and have a little rest. Probably some soft plastic and people would eat it. Probably. People have a real weird obsession with deep frying everything. It's like, ah, oh, yes, it tastes delicious when I deep fry it. It's like, yeah, but like, you're not eating the food at this point. You're, all you're tasting is the oil and the fat that you're frying it in. <laughs> it's like, you can't even taste the food that you fried anymore. It's not existed. It's just, ma it's just mass at this point. Like, the food doesn't exist anymore. You fucking atomized it. <laughs> like, it's just carbon in there now. <laughs> make a salad, yeah, but just make a salad bowl. Guinea pig nails. Lobster is actual shit. Never understood the hype. Never had lobster either. Fucking hell, I need to try some more food. <laughs> You're naming all of this seafood. I'm like, no, I haven't had that either. Squids, lobsters, eels. It's like, no, I haven't tried any of that shit. Apparently, I only like it if I can chase it on land. Apparently, that's the only type of food I eat. Yeah, also cholesterol, yeah. How about booze? You tried to- oh, I've got- ooh. I've got quite the collection of booze. I am fond of the old alcohol. But I like my cheap alcohol. And buying expensive alcohol is just a waste of money, in my opinion. Now, if I'm drinking, I'm drinking to get drunk. No, I'm not drinking for the taste of it. I'm just gonna try and run past most of these guys, because I'll kill them later. But I need to get some food first. Because I am hungry. And if I stay here, I'll be here all day. Don't like being drunk. Nah. Like, being drunk sucks. Like, being, like, buzzed. Like, oh, that's great. Just give me enough to feel, like, nice and relaxed, but not enough to impair my senses. Like, that's, like, the nice balance. It doesn't even take that much alcohol to get to that stage. Like, tell me you're, you're an alcoholic without telling me you're an alcoholic. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave all of you. Are we good from this part onward? I think we are, right? I'll try and ditch some of these guys then. Try and leave you back here. Most of them should leave me back there. And there shouldn't be that many down this area. I mean, if you get close to the tipsy, you just tuck it and go to sleep. <laughs> just hibernate. It's like, yes, I'm done. You're using, yeah, you're literally using the Zomboid strap. It's literally one drop of alcohol. Immediately get max fatigue. Go to bed. <laughs> You've min-maxed your real-life character.
Yeah, there are mods that have the alcoholic trait. Yeah. I never run any of those ones because they're too easy to get rid of. If you run alcoholic, you only have to like avoid drinking alcohol for two weeks in game time, I think it is. And it'll just disappear. You can get rid of it then. So it's a, a way to get lots of like free points without actually having to do anything. I don't know, found a sock. Huzzah. <laughs> Very nutritious. Socks and shoes. Get pants, yeah, yeah, gonna, gonna get a full wardrobe of clothes here. <laughs> Dress for success by the river. Yeah, got a small pike as well, good stuff. Let me just throw you in there for a moment. Another small pike. And that is prime time over. Throw you in there. See so, yeah. The bowls aren't fantastic for their size, but they are ceramic, so you can actually boil water in them. It's a bit of a pain, so I have to, like, walk back and forth, filling it constantly. But, uh... As long as it works... If you ever played Unreal World RPG, but the pike is one of the best fish. Oh, in that game too. Oh, fair enough. No, I've never played that one. It's pikes are chads in any game, apparently. <laughs> yeah, seeing as I have my fire going, though, I will fill up my water bottle completely. Just in case. Just throw, yeah, just throw the fire in there. Yeah, we'll pull a SpongeBob. Just light the river. Let just light a fire under the river at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> just cook all the fish instantly. It'd be perfect. And one more should do it.
an Iron Age, uh, Iron Age era, realistic survival sim. Okay. Hey, by Finnish guy who lives in a forest, as you do, yeah, as like where we find most game developers. Working on it since 1990. Oh, okay, so it's a bit like a um, dwarf fortress, CDDA, Project Zomboid, like passion project type game then. Fair enough. Might have to have a look at that. You said it was called Unreal World RPG. Might have to have a look at that. Give it a cheeky gander. Bit sick from all the dead bodies, but that's fine. But I'll make the run back now because I don't really want to sleep out here uh, the entire night. Let me just grab, I'll grab a few more of them. I'll eat them on the way, just so I can get those extra calories in me. Just to get my weight up a little bit more. Just gotta wait for that to die off a little bit. It's a roguelike, yeah, roguelikey, yeah. It's always kind of hard to, like, say, like, what is a roguelike game? So it's just like, eh, it's kind of, it's like roguelike-ish. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Has the same graphics. Eh, good stuff, then. We could have dropped down just a little bit further. There we go. So yeah, down to 17 now. And one more. Uh, yeah, 2.0. Yeah, one more and then we'll be able to run then. Cause the only reason I'm not running now is because I don't want to burn through extra stamina while I'm encumbered. So I know there's going to be quite a few of them further down the road. I'd much rather not run out of stamina when I'm surrounded by them. And I'm not in too much of a rush to get home. Yeah, uh, north of this area is not seeming too bad, though. Yeah, from that T-junction, that is. Like, all of that seems more or less okay. They just seem to be around this area. Like, this tree line. I'm assuming most of them are down this area at the moment, then. So it shouldn't be too hard to lure them all out. Or at least some of them tomorrow. So we can kind of do, like, one day on, one day off. So one day where I just spend the entire day killing, and nothing but killing. And then the following day, a little bit of killing, but I need to do some fishing. You gonna use the ambulance? We'll probably end up using it at some point today, but not yet. It's a little bit too early. I still need to try and like suss them out and see more or less where they all are. Because I have a feeling that more of them are in the field, like it, and the woodlands south of us currently. I just need to make it definitive so I know exactly where they are. I just need to know for certain where they're all hiding. So otherwise I may end up making a ton of noise and then getting outflanked by a big group of zombies. But yeah, we will come back for him though, because the engine technically works. The light bar's intact. It has a working battery, and it does have a small amount of fuel as well, so it has everything it needs to run. Um, it's just finding, like, 
the best time for it, and then finding, like, the most optimal place I can kind of put him in this area. So I'm thinking I'll probably put him further south. Like, I'll drive him into the middle of that field, I think. Just to try and draw out the ones hang hanging around the river over there. Just to try and pull them further south. Uh, out of that tree line so I can take care of them. Are you going to shoot the ambulance? Yes, I'm going to commit a war crime. When in doubt, shoot the medics. At least it'll stop the enemy from healing. <laughs> Whoopsie dent, whoopsie daisy, I accidentally violated the Geneva, Geneva Convention. As you do. And to be fair, I've been wearing all their clothing as well, so it's technically wearing the en enemy's uniform, so yeah, multiple war crimes. All the war crimes on this run. No war crimes, no humans. That is true. <laughs> Looks a bit corpsey. Well, whoever did all this, yeah, shame on them, you know, using all these spears and killing all these innocent zombies. How dare they? Shame on them, good sir. Shame. Oh, there's so much littering, I know. Think of the environment. Wood doesn't, like, <laughs> wood doesn't decompose, you know. <laughs> wood doesn't break down. It'll be there forever. It's worse than plastic, I tell you. Shame. Shame. Rip your 8k, oh, 8k spear character. Oh, rip. Rip indeed. How did they die? Tell us the tale. What mistake did you make? Or were you robbed? Your condolences. Yeah. You tell me that something goes wrong in real life? Ah, oh, it's like, tough teddies. Life isn't fair. You tell me that your character dies in this game? Oh, no, my fucking sympathies, friend. Like, condolences. Like, are you doing okay? <laughs> Do you need someone to talk to? Like, I'll be here for you. Now, losing a Project Zomboid character, that, that, that hits hard. That, that's her. That hurts. Oh, you opened a garage door with a cleaver. Rip. So was it one zombie on the other side, or was it, like, quite a few of them hiding in there? Yeah, cause I always avoid that, because, like, when it's a normal door, it's not too bad. It's like, okay, I can hear there's only one on the other side, but I know exactly which tile they're stood on. With the garage door, it's like, if even if it's only one zombie, they could be on four different tiles along the garage. And it's like, fuck, I don't, I don't like guessing. I've only got a 25% chance to guess where they are correctly. <laughs> I'm not a, uh, not a big fan of that. Oh, Brady Bunch got stun locked. Rip. At least you'll know for next time. Because uh, those garages that have multiple zombies, they're not too bad. But if you make some noise outside, like do a little bit of shouting or smack the door once or twice and try and get them to aggro, it only takes like two zombies or more to break the garage door. And they do it quite quickly. But yeah, you'll see me avoid garages for that reason because I've died like that in the past. It's not a, not a fun way to go. It does suck. It's even worse, like, when you've died how you died, when you get stun-locked, because it's like, fuck. You know that you're dead, but you still have that, like, tiny glimmer of hope. You know, maybe. Maybe he hasn't been bitten yet. Maybe I can push them away. <laughs> the lies we tell ourselves. Yes, yeah, so that's one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half. Yeah, four and a half will do.
But I got some food for today, and I got enough food for tomorrow as well. Tomorrow and the day after, so we'll be fine. Appreciate the follow, Shin. Happy days. That is helicopter number 163. Much appreciated. Welcome on in. Hey, you just gotta be... Yeah. <laughs> Remember, if you die, just be better, as Golib says. Yeah. You get caught by the zombies? Well, just be better. Just be faster. <laughs> Giving out that, that premium advice right there. Yeah, make sure to grab that advice before he starts charging you for it. <laughs> I hate dying in the game. Just don't do that. <laughs> uh. Alright, good stuff. Let's make our way back out and I might try and go for the ambulance today. Maybe. But we'll see how busy it is first. So as long as there's still tons of zombies in my way, then I can, uh... I don't have to worry about finding them. It's starting to get chilly. Yeah, it is starting to get chilly, yeah. 2.2 degrees Celsius. It's almost freezing temperature. So we'll have to start wearing a few more layers. Uh, permanently. Well, for the short term at least. But, uh, yeah, it still won't be that bad. Even if we have to sleep outside. You can sleep outside in the winter quite comfortably. You just need to layer up quite a bit. But we've got plenty of houses to use still, so we should be okay. <laughs> yeah, move your dial from git to good. Yes, make sure to check your settings as well. If the skill issue setting is toggled, make sure to like, toggle that one off. It is uh, it's a bit of a crafty one that always slips under the radar. It's better than uh, my last death. Got jump scared. Oh, jump scared bathroom zombie, yeah. Wasn't expecting it. Yeah, they they get me all the time still as well. Even when I have I have the jump scare sound off, it still gets me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that it does sucks. Yeah, when you least expect it, and this is a zombie like right in front of you, like oh shit, fuck! I didn't I didn't expect you to be there. <laughs> you weren't supposed to be here. <laughs> uh, bad times. Yeah, you ain't dying in Project Zomboy, Just don't get bit or scratched. Yeah. Big brain. Big brain tips. <laughs> Hate the infection, just don't sustain any injuries. God, that's really tempting to make that into a video, because fuck it, no, that video would get so much hate. It's like, I ask. Hate dying to the infection, follow this one simple trip. Uh, trick. Trick. Just don't get bit. <laughs> the comment section, shut the fuck up, you asshole. <laughs> The temptation is definitely there. You know, survivors hate this one trick. Uh, there's a mod that adds a trick that gives plus 25 points in exchange. Any successful attack on you. Oh, so if you ever make a mistake, instantly dead. That's hilarious. I wonder what that trait is called then. Probably like pessimism. <laughs> it's like the type of player that gets a single scratch from a zombie and then just kills their character because they think they're going to get infected. It's like, nope, I have a single injury. Nope, fuck this character. He's tainted now. I cannot play this character anymore. It's over. It's finished. Yeah, good tip, take your time. I mean, that's actually, a, that is like a, a genuine good tip. Yeah. <laughs> If you're running out of loot, just run headfirst into a building full of zombies. You will either die or you will be the richest man in town. It's worth the risk, I promise. <laughs> That's the worst that could happen. Yeah, immaculate or nothing. 
See, we've still got immaculate character. Still pure, untainted, no injuries. The second this man gets a cold, no, I gotta put him down. His genes are weak. He won't survive the winter. He has to be cured. <laughs> just written, literally just called Don't Get Here. So just nice and simple. So, oh yeah, focus on slaying. It's really made this experience more fun. Yeah, now, dying in the game is great. This anytime you die, it's a great time to improve your gameplay. So almost every single time that you die, it's because you did something silly, like you made a mistake. Whether it was like you played poorly or you made a bad decision, it's like okay. Got a chance to learn from that now. Play a little bit better next time. Go a little bit longer. But as of late, all of my deaths seem well, except like exception being the sprinter ones, because that's still skill issues on my end. All my shambler deaths, they're just all silly things like I'll tap myself out of the game. <laughs> or I'll sneeze. <laughs> Like something silly. It's hilarious. I want to see Louisville, damn it. Well, I will show you Louisville. I'm not going to tell you when, but eventually we'll go there. It is inevitable. I use weapons like guns oh like firearms um i do sometimes but not for functionality just for fun so guns in the game aren't useless they're still good at killing zombies but on the settings that i normally run it's very short-lived so we don't ever have enough ammo to really use them full time so if I have a shotgun, I'll normally, like, just collect all the shotgun ammo I find from zombies for a long time. And then when I build up to about, like, 200 shells or so, like, something around that mark, I'll go on a big shooting spree, and I'll have a bit of fun with that. But it's, um, it's always slower than just using my main weapon. Like, on it, like the only thing it's better at is just not using stamina. That's it. <laughs> but... In terms of, like, how long it takes to kill, like, a thousand zombies, it's faster just to use melee weapons. But you cannot argue, they are definitely fun. first rule of Louisville is you pronounce it properly. See, I used to call it Louisville. That's, that's how I thought it was pronounced. Yeah, apparently it's pronounced Louisville. So, oh, fair enough. I am too European for that. Weapons can only be used in low pop. I mean, you can use them on high pop as well. It just depends on your loot settings, really. You know. Like, like the main issue with the guns is, it's not like, it's not because they're super loud or anything like that. It's just because eventually you're going to run out of ammo. And unless you're running mods specifically for, like, a firearm type game, you're not going to be able to craft ammo. So eventually you're going to run out completely. And you can still find the ammo on zombies, but you won't find that much of it, you know? It takes a while to build up a small stockpile of ammo from those guys. Um, so it's inevitable that you're gonna run out of your, well, your preference, you know, but the entire thing that you're playing your game for, which is to use firearms. 
But if you're running on, like, loot settings where you've set, like, the firearm, loot, or the ammo and such to, like, abundant, so there's ammo fucking everywhere, oh, you can make it last for, like, a, a year or so, if not longer. And that's, like, using guns, like, not as much as we're using spears now, but, like, fairly often. Like, you can still kill, like, thousands of them before you'll run out. <laughs> LMG go brr. <laughs> It's not Louisville or even Louisville, it's... It's Louisville! It's Louisville! <laughs> yes, I do love me some Louisville. I uh, probably kind of balanced it. Kind of. I've heard it got, it's gotten a lot better. It used to be really OP, like, back in the day, like, years ago. And that's the last time I played with it. That was, like, 2018, give or tank. And back then, there was no, like... You couldn't customize the mod, so you couldn't balance how many guns or how much ammo you had in the world, so you either had everything at your disposal or nothing. <laughs> but I've heard they've added a lot more options now, so you can actually tweak how, like, how much ammo you have in the world with that mod. So, I need to give it another try at some point, and uh, try it out. It's been years since I played with Britters. And I remember playing with it. It was really good fun. Like, having all those extra types of guns and all the different ammo. Like, all the, like, sub-variants of ammo. It was a, um... It was a really good mod back then. And no doubt it's just gotten much better since. Brick. Brick balanced cap. Same as always. Depends what settings you have. But... I've heard, like, I, I can't say for certain because I haven't played with it recently. But I've heard you can balance it now. You can choose how much ammo you have with the modern, you know, what guns you have, what type of guns you have, what ammo types can spawn, like, kind of stuff like that. How true that information is, I don't know. I'm just repeating what I've been told. But, uh, yeah, I'll definitely have to try it at some point. The only thing I don't like about it is it's the same as all the other firearm uh, mods, there's one thing that they all add that is just objectively overpowered almost every single time, and that is the silencers. If you add a silencer to a firearm in the game, very overpowered. Being able to kill zombies from range and not attract anything extra, well, that is very unbalanced. But it's still fun. <laughs> and that's all that matters. But I wouldn't run that in my game, personally. Like, there has to be some downside to using a weapon that's that good. And the only real downside that the firearms have is, you know, finite ammo, and they're very loud. Those are, like, the two major downsides. Welcome in Aquatic as well. Hello, hello. And welcome back, Razor. I'm trying to make Cod out of PZ for the weeks. Nah, that's fair. <laughs> uh, I've been playing Brewer's Advanced Trajectory. I don't think I've ever tried that one. It's great fun. Too easy, but great fun. I might have to have a look at that one. What is that mod? Like, you have to jog my memory for it. What does that mod do, like, in particular? No, yeah, they're not completely silenced, but the range is so small that it becomes irrelevant at that point. It's like, it's like, oh, the gun technically still makes sound, but it's like, if I'm using a gun and the sound radius is, like, out to about here, it's like, oh, so it, it might as well be nothing. It's the same as a melee weapon. I wonder if they have extra options for that as well, then. If you can, like, tweak the silencers to be, like, less, uh, suppressive. Are we god yet? We are not god. I am not a king, and I am not a god. I am what I am. I'm a different caliber. I'm something else entirely. <laughs> I am a spear boy. 
I don't fit your categories of gods and kings. <laughs> we found a new platform. We have been elevated. Yes, I am a lamprey. I am a fish. <laughs> the evolved one. Uh, makes it so you aim with the mouse. Okay, so you just have to be more accurate with your aiming then. I guess? Fair play. That doesn't sound too bad. That sounds interesting. Yeah, the mod that just the mod might just fail under heavy CPU load. Fair enough. Mr. Thanos UK, exactly. I'm gonna snap half of the fucking Kentucky into dust. <laughs> they know what they did. <laughs> poor Batman. I am poor Batman. I'm budget Batman. Are you not sick right now? Oh, I just haven't been here long enough. So, on a... Oh, there you go. Quiz your... <laughs> just literally as you mention it. Um, but no, on most of our games we get sick quite quickly, but we normally run the decaying health impact of dead bodies on the higher setting, so we get sicker quicker. But this is just the default setting, so... The default setting, you really don't have to worry about it, honestly. You can spend almost your entire day uh, by the zombies and be fine. Sicker quicker, fucking rap god. Eminem wishes he could rap like me. Yes, I choose not to rap just because I'm just- I'm too good at it, so I just choose not to rap. I've lied to Tube. No oh, one? Uh, I thought you have it turned down on really high pop for servers. Huh? For servers? For co yeah, but what do you mean for servers? I don't have any multiplayer servers. What do you, what do you mean by the server part? More people killing evil cause more corpses. Wait, I thought you- Oh, you thought you have to turn it down. I'm really- Eh, not really. Like, even on, like, servers where you have people killing- like thousands of zombies each, like every couple of days. Most people run servers that have like the like the, the zombie corpse, like uh, what would you call it? Like the like uh, what's the fucking setting called? Decomposition of the bodies. They normally set that lower, so it's not like nine days for the bodies to disappear. It's normally something like three or sometimes less. So you never really get like a tremendous buildup of dead bodies in one area. Uh, normally. Because all of these guys, like, it looks like there's a lot of zombies. It's like, wow, this guy's killing a lot of them. And I am killing a lot. But this is, like, over the course of nine days. Like, so they hang around for quite a long time. So that's, like, nine hours in real time. Um, slightly less if you include all the sleeping and all that stuff. But yeah, on multiplayer, most of the servers I've seen, they normally run it lower. So it kind of solves the problem itself. You don't really need to tinker with the decaying health impact. Although some people do, but if they turn it down, you just kind of remove the entire mechanic, because 
there's never enough dead bodies to make it an issue. But I think uh, most people don't like it anyway on multiplayer just because it gets a little bit tedious if you're getting sick constantly. Just because, like, in single player, like, you know, we, we, we can fast forward time when we're recovering, so I can get rid of this almost instantly if I want to. But on multiplayer, it takes a long time for it to disappear. And that does get a little bit boring. You know, same issue with, like, fatigue and such like that. health impact on medium. Yeah, if you just leave it on like the default setting, it'll be fine, you know. But it it depends who you've got playing on that server. Like you you want to play it by ear really. Like it's not like a definitive like yes or no on what you need to set the setting to. It depends how sweaty the players are. Like if you have a bunch of people on the server who are like really passive and they're not killing that many zombies, oh, you might want to put like even turn it up. But if you have, like, a bunch of average players who are like, they're killing a lot, but they're not killing a tremendous amount, it's like, no, you can just leave it on the default. Most of them will never get sick. But then if you have, like, a group of, like, super sweaty people, and they are really sweating the server, and they're killing everything they can, yeah, maybe it'll become an issue then. Maybe. But you just have to, like, let them, uh go at it and just see how things progress <laughs> you know, like just see how bad it is and then fix things afterwards serve uh killers but the difficulty is super high so i don't think anyone's gonna be able to slaughter like shambles oh if you're doing like sprinters yeah the decaying health impact won't be an issue at all you're not gonna kill that many of them yeah <laughs> Like, it'll, it'll, it would become an issue if you set it to high, but if you've left it on the default, like you've set it to medium, um, you're not going to kill enough sh sprinters for that to ever become an issue. Unless you start killing them inside your base where you've spent every minute of every day. Or uh, if you've just turned the decomposition of bodies off so they never disappear. Like, that's the only way it would actually become an issue. I have introduced myself. You have introduced yourself. This is a very hey, nope. good conversation. It's a very good conversation. Welcome on back. But yeah, if you're running it for like a, like a server for killers, then... Yeah. Might... Might happen. You just have to see how good they are. <laughs> So the nice thing about it, it's one of those things that you can change, like, on a dime. It, it doesn't take any, like... Um... It, there's no complexity to it. It's either low, medium, or high. Nice and simple. Really easy to change whenever you need to. It's not a matter of how good the players are. I mean, it kind of is, because, I mean, if they can absolutely slaughter things, then you're going to build up a huge pile of bodies. Shit's insane. Oh, so the difficulty is just like, it's that bad, is it? Yeah, it won't be an issue then. Yeah, cause I'm assuming you're running it on like, like, if you're doing like a super hard server, I'm assuming you're doing all sprinters and stuff like that. It's varying sprinter thing. But with vaulting... Oh, yeah. No, if you've got, like, vaulting sprinters and all of that stuff, yeah. You don't even have to think about decaying health impact. <laughs> yeah. No, decaying health impact is, like, when you're suffering from success. When you've, you're you're doing so well that you have too many dead bodies. Yeah, that's not going to be an issue. No, you'll be fine on that server. You know, you'll have uh, far worse things to worry about <laughs> by the sounds of it.
still wondering why there's no terrain like hills and mountains. Uh, well, the mountain part, I think, is pretty easy. I'm almost certain there are no mountains in Kentucky, so that's an easy, an easy answer. Um, <laughs> uh, but for hills and stuff like that, there's no in between for levels like i don't really understand like i'm not a game designer so i don't know the technical terms for it all but there's no in between for like the ground floor and the first floor so i can't be like halfway in between on like on the ground i'm either stood on the ground here or i'm going to be stood on the ground like above where i am now on the next floor up but there's nowhere in between really like you have the stairs as an exception but I don't think they could do anything with that, like, with vehicles. Or to be able to move from, like, walk up the stairs, like, in this direction here, and then walk over to an adjacent, uh, adjacent tile next to it, like, onto another staircase or something that was, uh, on a slope. I'm, like, there's got to be a good reason for it. It just seems like a limitation of how they built it. But yeah, that sounds like a question for a developer to answer. <laughs> I'm underqualified for that. Is that a hunting knife spear? Uh, I think it's a pair of scissors, I think. Yeah, a pair of scissors. Yeah, we found it on a, a zombie. So I'm just making, uh, making use of it. It's like a sheet of white paper with trees. It's baby smooth. Uh, if there's seems to be issues with elevation... Yeah, it'd also be really difficult as well. Like, imagine if you were, like, looking at this direction and there was a slope that went from th here and then straight up, like, northwest, it went down. Like, that perception is going to be really difficult to, like, gauge how high up you are. <laughs> and God forbid you go behind a hill as well. Like, fuck. That's going to be really awkward to see things. Yeah, stairs are uh, very funky. Yeah, who knows? Maybe, maybe it'll be something that comes in the future, but I doubt it. I've not heard or seen anything regarding uh, different types of terrain like that, like different elevation. Also, hello, Nox. Hello, hello. And Tiniest as well. Hello, hello. Hope your day is good. Yeah, it's all nice and chilled out. We had a little bit of a hiccup at the start of the stream. My internet was having a little bit of a seizure, but it all seems to be working now. And we are back to chilling and killing. Let me moving up the hill. Wouldn't be able to see up it, yeah. Purist, it should be real, we'll be upset, yeah. Counter argument. It's a video game, and there are hardware limitations. <laughs> I thought we'd agreed. Never to lie See, to each other. Oh, yeah, empty high slope, and there are zombies hiding beneath it. Yeah, just waiting to ambush you. Like having staircases everywhere, then. What a time to be alive. Uh, you want the ambulance again? No, <laughs> quick, set the siren. No, I refuse. I'm not gonna touch it. That ambulance is cursed. Anytime I try and touch the ambulance, I get ganked. <laughs> I must leave the ambulance alone. It is not time yet. Not. We're not ready for it.
Uh, still playing with runners? Nope. No, we're back onto the time 16. Shamblers with pinpoint hearing and all the integration and such. So we are being bullied by helicopters and copious amounts of zombies. Because all of these guys are from West Point. And as you can see, we are nowhere near West Point. <laughs> so it's very spicy, but it's good fun. <laughs> the ambulance wants your touch. I'm sure it does, but it's forbidden love. Our parents would never approve. Look at all those zombies despawn. Uh, is the game also 2.5D? Seems like the camera angle is PZ. Uh, seems like the same camera angle as PZ and League. Mm, I don't know. PC is like a house of cards. I mean, most of the things in the game are 2D. The only things I can think of that are actually 3D are most of the models now for items. Like, they're all three-dimensional. The player character the zombies, and then the vehicles, but everything else, like all this grass texture, the trees, all the buildings, like all the houses, all of that stuff, they're all two-dimensional, um, supposedly, so. Like, if you were gonna, if you tried to fuck with the camera angle for the game, like, let's say you move the camera from where we currently are, so it wasn't fixed anymore, and you put it where my character's head is, he would be able to see all the way, it would literally be a flat earth, he'd be able to see all the way to the end of the map and uh, see Riverside and everything. But there'd be no buildings. It'd just be a flat plane. It would just look like a wall of zombies all around me. <laughs> That's all it would look like. <laughs> it just looked like he has zombies all around him in a big old fucking circle. That's how I've had it explained to me, at least. Whether that's true or not, I don't know, but that sounds right to me. Yeah, the world is flat. It's a flat, flat world. <laughs> the Flat Earth Society was right in this universe. Yeah, you can turn off the 3D items, yeah. They're showing 3D, but they are too- No, they're all 3D now. Like, these are all 3D models. You can turn them off so they go back to being two-dimensional, but... Um... It's on the display, isn't it? Where are you? Uh... But yeah, while they're rendered like this, they are three-dimensional items. Yeah, where are you? Uh... Display 3D items. So yeah, if you run that setting, like all of this, that like that's two dimensional now. So if I was in the world and I had my camera there, I wouldn't really be able to see that spear on the floor. It would be perfectly flat on the ground. Oh, same with the glasses as well. God, I forgot. I forgot how fucking big they were. <laughs> I forgot how big all the clothing items are when they fall on the ground. Yeah. It's another little thing. It's a bit of a pointless tip, but if you're ever struggling to find car keys on the ground or anything like specific like that, if you change them to 2D models, the icons are fucking massive. So finding like car keys on the floor or in the grass, it is so much easier when they're two-dimensional like that. As opposed to being like this. People hate Age of Empires. The game is wicked. I haven't played Age of Empires for a while. I am, uh... I'm... <laughs> very average at the game. <laughs> yeah, I can't play Age of Empires online. The only people I tend to find on Age of Empires 2 anymore are absolute sweats, and they... can kick my ass constantly. Because it's the only game they play, and they are very good at it. Like, they know everything. <laughs>
Uh, I still got a little bit of time left, so let me grab another group. And then we'll start running back home. Uh, Age of Mythology. I don't think I... I don't think I ever played that one. I don't think I ever looked at it. Empire Earth? Nah, I've not heard of that one. I'm not familiar. Too shabby. So yeah, we'll finish up these last few, I'll have a rest, and then we'll make our way back home. And I'll try and get back onto a semi-normal schedule. Now I'll try and wake him up nice and early in the morning. Yeah, maybe if we sacrifice enough zombies to the like, to the gods, maybe we'll lift the curse on the ambulance. <laughs> yeah, I do want to use the ambulance, but like the whole point of using the ambulance is to attract all the zombies to one area. But if I can keep finding zombies in this area, well, I don't need to find any more zombies because I've already got to deal with this problem first. But we are getting there, and it's getting a little bit thinner around this area now, so it may be on the table, I may use the ambulance soon. So I still think there's a lot of them hiding in those trees down there. Like, because every time we go down that section of the road, they always come from the tree line. So I kind of want to try and lure them out. And, uh, the last time we went fishing, we ran into lots of them down there as well. So I should have plenty I can grab from that direction. Age of Empires 2 is still one of the most popular RTS games in the world today. It's because it's not super complicated. Like, that's the best thing about it. Like, there's so many different ways, like, avenues you can take to win the game, but it's not super complicated. So, like, the entry level is really low. Like, you don't need to learn that much to actually know how to play the game. But, uh, yeah, playing it at, like, a very high level. Oh, some of the shit they do is hilarious. I think the funniest one I saw, it was like a... It was a competitive match between two pro players, and it went on for something like 30 hours, like something ridiculous. Because they basically just burnt out, they had no resources left. But they both had like, I think they both had a castle in range of their town hall, so they had a really good defense. They had no resources left for, uh, for armies. And they pretty much fucking destroyed the entire map, so there was nothing left to harvest. And I think they had the exact same relics as well. I think. One of them might, may have had, like, a slight advantage. But, um... Yeah, they were pretty much just in a stalemate. Like, they just couldn't 
kill each other's castles. And if they lost their, like, their units, that was it. It's like they had nothing left. <laughs> so it's like, fuck. That's hilarious. I think they both conceded in the end, but they were just like... They both held out for, like, an entire day or something like that. Uh, could the Riverside Zombies waddle over? No, it's it's out of range. They they won't be able to hear from there. Like, some of the ones from Muldra and Ekron might be making their way out, and Dixie as well, on the highway down in that direction. Maybe they might just be in range, but Riverside's too far. And even if they can hear me, like, very... Let's just humor it and say, like, hypothetically, let's say a few of them on the east side can hear me. They won't make their way around here because the river's in the way. Like, they'll, uh, they'll run east and bump into the river, and that's just where they'll stay. Because there's nothing to divert them south first, and then loop them back around east afterwards. So they'll just end up stuck on that riverbank. And that's fine with me. Some mind more visping gas. Yeah, they probably could have finished the match early if they just constructed additional pylons. <laughs> yeah, lots of customers testing your yeah for the spear testing. Yeah, they are testing whether or not we have level eight spear, and I think they are correct. I think we may have level eight spear, maybe, possibly. Yeah, so. We might be able to push for level 9 maintenance today, but level 9 spears is not on the table. But if I can get about halfway, like if I could get to about 3700 experience, more or less, around that, around that mark, I'll know that tomorrow's stream will definitely hit level 9 then, but I need to cross over that threshold, like get to that halfway mark. Modern l lurkers from StarCraft. See, if we're going to go down that road, I want to be playing this game, chilling out with my lovely slow shamblers, and then have a Zerg rush just absolutely fucking destroy me. So I can flame in chat. Four hundred and sixty-seven kills today. Very nice. We're going to Louisville. We'll be going to Louisville eventually, but... There may be a tad few zombies in my way first that have to be dealt with, but eventually. So once we're done with West Point, we're not going to go around to Riverside like we did last time. We're just going to go straight to Louisville on this one. Let me make some more spears really quickly, because I'm a little bit low. I'll just leave them... Yeah, I'll leave all of you here for a minute. That to be fair, I'll leave that one there. Let me sort out my hunger. So that should be most of my hunger dealt with. 
Happy days. And it is a little bit chilly, so let me just throw my... Throw my shirt back on. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, you were asking about terrain, so I'm thinking Zomboid with Dark Souls difficulty. Depends what you mean by Dark Souls difficulty. No, I don't think they've. I don't think they have anything planned with the terrain in terms of like elevation. Maybe though. But I've not heard anything. I don't even know if it's possible or not. That is beyond me. I have no idea. Just dodge rolling everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, there's too many zombies. What are we gonna do? Ominous man who's completely naked walks out from the shadows wearing a fucking cauldron on his head. Let me solo them. <laughs> like, oh, it's the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> He's gonna solo them all. Fantastic. Ah, so let me... Just gonna put that chair down here for a second while I move all these logs into place. So I just want to make a nice big pile of spears so I don't have to do this again for a few days. Uh, since y axis is meaningless, it means of sound. Oh, if this y is meaningless, it means of sound, zombies, fish. I don't know what you mean by that, but they can still hear you and see you. Like, if you're elevated, like if you're above them, they can still see and hear you. And then vice versa if you're below them as well. Uh, for corpse sickness, though, no idea. But yeah, this should be about somewhere between 30 and 50 spears. So it'll be enough for about a week, give or take. Somewhere between like five and seven days. Game time. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be over 50. Well over 50 spears. Very nice.
Alright, so we'll use all well use some of those knives now. That we've been collecting for a while. Make some spears. It wasn't the log lady in Twin Peaks. I don't know who that is, but how dare you. <laughs> I don't imagine someone gets a, like the nickname Log Lady from uh, doing anything very good. Alright, so that's 60, 66. Good stuff. So we'll make 66 spears now. Let me just throw away these tree branches, or twigs rather. And we'll use up all the kitchen knives first, because they are the most useless. Ten knives should do. Yeah, sixty-six. Golden, right. And let me just try and tidy this up a little bit, because I got broken knives all over the fucking place. <laughs> we have gone through quite a few while we've been making all of these spears. Alright, so yeah, uh, we're all caught up over there. That's all good. Let me grab my spears for the day as well. Yep, fully rested as well. Fantastic. Should be able to take you off now as well. Right, before I carry on though, let me just quickly throw those spears on my counter before I forget. Um, so yeah, 66. So we are going to be on 601. Nice. Let's make sure I'm on the right counter first. Yep. And yep, 601. Nice. All right, let me catch up with you guys. Uh, yeah, the first one, the log lady. You should totally have a gif of her on your stream. I don't know who the log lady is. I don't know who that is. But if it's funny, throw it in the suggestion tab of the Discord and I'll have a look. What's your favorite project? Eh, I don't really have a favorite project that I'm working on at the moment. I view them all the same. Do you have a rubbish, uh, or a rubbish bin for the knives? Probably, but I'm not gonna go looking for it. It's, it's not really, like, a big deal, you know, I'm just gonna leave them on the ground, because... It's not as if I'm, like, making a nice base here, so I don't really mind if it's a little bit... Uh... A little bit... Horrible looking. 
as long as stuff is like organized and you know I can find my equipment easily that's all I really care about personally And I've got enough food for later as well. Or well, tomorrow morning at least. So tomorrow we'll do some fishing, but for now, let's go and kill some more zombies. And before I run any further, let me just quickly check something. Yeah, we're all fine. Uh, but yeah, today we'll we'll head out more or less to the same place, but I'll go a little bit further south this time. We may end up trying to grab the ambulance and moving that one into place, but I'll have a look at the field for the time being and just see if it's looking empty or not. If it's looking quite barren and there's not many zombies there, I'll just, uh, I'll pull the ambulance into place so I can try and lure out any of the guys hiding in the woods. So they are the the most awkward ones to grab. I thought you were on, like, <laughs> on about, like, personal projects. It's uh. fine. You have lots of liquids, right? Me? Yeah, you know, always, always very hydrated. I am a hydro homie through and through. This is all still looking very clear, though. Fantastic. So I think today I'll... Yeah, I'll go up this road now. We'll get to that T-junction. I'll go further west here, and then we'll go north, just to try and clear out this section first. Oh, you're on about, like, real life? Oh, I was talking about my character. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, my character is the only one that matters. Real life? Pfft. As long as I have a pulse, that's all that matters. Now I have copious amounts of coffee. That's all I need. How much time in real life this runs so far? I well, I think this is the sixth stream of this run, so maximum sixty hours, but realistically, it's probably closer to about fifty, more or less. It'll be somewhere in that ballpark. But if you want to get the exact number, you can go to the VODs channel on YouTube. So if you type in exclamation mark VOD, so VOD, and just look at the few videos that are on there, and just add up that the time on those videos, uh, that'll pretty much give you an exact number of how long I've been playing with this run in particular. But does the command not work? Rip. Let me just check that, because that should work. So I remember adding that on. Let me just check my command for that. No, he's not working. Well, let me get that one. I, seeing as I just advertised it, let me just fix that one really quickly, because that'll only take two seconds. Let me just grab the link. So I know it's on the about section of my Twitch, but I thought that with the command... I mean, the command's there, it's just not working. <laughs> let me fix you. And let me just change you, so you should work now. Yeah, 
and I'll fix that later. Just have a look and see if it works for the time being. If I can spell fucking three letter word and I can't spell. Yeah, there we go. That is good enough. I'll polish that later. It's hard enough, fucking. Three letter word, fucking hell, I'm struggling over here. Someone please send help. <laughs> Hold on, what is that? Oh, that's fine. I just, I saw my phone out of the corner of my eye, and I, I saw a text message, and the first line was, your monthly payment of, and I was like, hold up. <laughs> there should be no payments, I make no payments on the first, hold up. Who's trying to get money out of me? <laughs> right, this is all looking very clear, though. Well, let's go all the way west then. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'll just I'll kill these guys and I'll carry on going west all the way over to the tree line. And I'll see what we've run into. And see if it's worth bringing the ambulance down here or not. As long as we keep running into zombies, we don't need the ambulance. Quite a few of you, so let me run back, have a little sit down for a second, and let them catch up to me. Uh, do you want to die to the drag down animation, men? Oh, rip. Sometimes being animation takes so long, the zombies hug me, and sometimes I misclick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I die, no hunger or bite, or any of that shit drag down. You're so bold to use for I mean, it's because it's predictable, I wouldn't use it if it was random. So, there's a misconception that people have regarding the spear, and they think it's complete RNG, and to like a certain extent, but they're not wrong entirely. So you can't choose when you do the stab animation, but you can choose when you don't do the stab animation, if that makes any sense. So, if the zombie's on its own like this, depending on how much damage you're dealing, like, uh, so the higher your strength and the higher your spear skill, the higher the chance that your character is going to do that thrust animation. So this one's likely to be a one-hit kill because I am level 8 spear. But that's because he's on his own. And the same with this guy here. He's on his own, so he should be a one-hit kill. But all of these guys, they're all grouped up very closely to one another. So they're all going to be slash attacks. And it's guaranteed. There's no... like, randomness with it, you know. I don't have to worry about attacking one of them and then... The second one I attack is going to be a, a one-hit kill, and I'm going to lock myself into that anima animation. So once you understand that part of it, spears become a lot easier to use. Yeah, because now you won't... Like, you shouldn't trap yourself in that animation as much anymore. Um, so once you learn the timing with it, you can carry on stabbing them whenever you feel like it, because you know how much space you need to recover. Um, but if you don't want to play that risky with it, rule of thumb is just keep them all grouped up together. Like, if they're all on one side and they're all right next to each other, it's nice and easy then. You don't have to put any thought into it. You just slash away normally. 
Just try not to hit any of the ones that flank you from the sides or from behind, and you are good to go. Where do I disable that animation? You can't. It's, it's in the game. You can't turn it off. Uh, someone in the other line said, Hey, Grandpa, it's your oldest grandson. I'm the oldest grandson. <laughs> I mean, I like to imagine, like, you weren't concerned that someone was trying to, like, steal money from your grandparents. You were just really livid that someone tried to steal your title as old oldest grandson. Hey, <laughs> no one's gonna replace me. I'm the oldest. I am the elder. <laughs> you can't take my title from me. Those are fighting words. Grab all of you as well. I'm the ancient one. Uh, you made a zero to hero challenge, uh, like you, in a server. Weak, unfit, very on the way. I think this is easy to farm, because no agony. And... If you want to use... Oh, squad spam. Yeah, like, you. if you max out your regularity with squads, you'll never go all the way up to, uh up to agony so yeah you can do that in that one indefinitely and strength comes level 6 easily yeah just by yeah strength always pulls ahead of fitness just in combat because you always gain twice well not always but most of the time you'll gain twice as much strength as you do fitness when fighting zombies so you'll always get like two experience to one fitness um every time you hit a zombie so yeah it levels up very nicely so yeah, you do it the same way I do, like, most of the time. Like, I stick to squats, uh, usually. Unless we've moved beyond the, uh, the fitness part of the early game. What's your favorite Rod Stewart song? Hey, nice. Happy days. He's definitely the oldest grandson. <laughs> Alright, but let's carry on heading west, and we'll head further and further out to that tree line. Doesn't mean it's better to take Athletic over Strong. I mean, I would say so, but... It depends on what you want to do as an individual. Like, what is what are you struggling with in the game and what are you going to be focusing on? Uh, but if your goal is to, like... You want to try and start at, like, a higher fitness and strength level and your goal is to, like, max both of them out, it is objectively easier to max out fitness spending points on traits than it is to max out strength and then try and grind fitness. You know? Because fitness... It, like, fitness and strength both take a very long time to level up regardless, but strength is always significantly quicker just because, well, just by virtue of it gaining more experience with combat. Um, so yeah, if you're going to max one of them early out, uh, early on, yeah, fitness would be preferable. Uh, but I have some s seen some people disagree and they'll say that strength is better, but that's because they like getting the early damage, like, straight away. They like getting that little bonus at the start of the game and not having to find a bag to carry quite a lot of items. So, come down to who you ask, really.
You never pick those, my man. <laughs> Candles only for suffering and rising from the ashes. That's a fair assessment. But yeah. Objectively, the strongest character you can make on day one would be running athletic and they would also be running strong. <laughs> Just objectively, because they... Those two skills have such a huge uh, huge impact on everything in the game. But they are very expensive. So for a long-term run, I always go zero and then work my way up. Because so I can buy more positives that way. So my, uh, my early game is always weaker than someone who's starting with... Well, either base stats or starting with strong and athletic. But my late game is always significantly stronger. Because whereas they'll have maxed out stats and I'll have maxed out stats... I'll have a lot of positive traits that are giving me passive uh, benefits. So light thirst, low, well, low thirst, light eater, wakeful outdoorsman, like all of these little things that save me a lot of time and effort. So late game, I'm always a powerhouse, but it does take a long time to get to that point. It's like multiple years to build up to that stage. But it is definitely good fun doing it. You sound like the most British person I've heard. It's because I went to school and I've got all my teeth. <laughs> Yes. I don't want to brag, but I do have it written at the bo bottom of my CV that I speak mostly in full sentences, and I, uh, at the very least, attended a, at least one year of school. <laughs> you know, yes, I am an educated British man. Make sure a nice British accent like yours. Just fake it, then. If you want it, just fake it. <laughs> just just watch a lot of BBC shows and you'll be fine, then. Watch all the shows that have London presenters and you'll be fine. The Welsh, uh, the Welsh, uh, the Welsh schools and the Irish don't sound British at all. Uh, you know what's worse than that? If you tell them they don't sound British, they'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> if there's anything the Welsh, the Irish, and the Scottish hate more than anything, it's being called British. They, uh, they are not fans of that. God forbid you say they're English, Jesus. Those are fighting words right there. Tried faking it. Uh, do you have some British pronunciation habits? It's like the letter T. Just forget that exists, you know. T belongs in a mug, not in your mouth. Like, not in speech. And letter T no longer exists, so just forget that. Just bottle of water. Bottle of water in it, mate. <laughs> So yeah, that's my... Those are the, like, the two accents you'll hear if anyone tries to fake a British accent. It's either they sound like they grew up on a council estate, so they go, Oh, wog one, you are fam, in it, blood. Like, they'll talk like that, or they'll be Dick Van Dyke. You're like, oh, chip chippery chiru. Hello, governor. <laughs> oh, it's bloody hot out here, innit? <laughs> it's like, those are like the two fake British accents you'll get constantly. Like, you sound like a cartoon character, my friend. He lives near London, but he's a scouse for... Oh, yeah, what's that, um... What's he called? Paddy. That, n like, newish UFC fighter that everyone was, like, I have swooning over for a while. You have introduced yourself. And he's, a uh, he's a scouser. And he kept getting mistaken for an Irishman, because obviously he called himself Paddy. And, uh, he talks the way that he does. <laughs> so, no, 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 no fucking Irish, me. Oh, I'm fucking Scouser, there. And it's like, what? What are you saying, my friend? I'm fucking Scouser, there. Yeah, I'm not fucking Irish. <laughs> it's like, mumbles all of his words. 
Howdy's great though. He's hilarious. The West Country accent. Oh yeah. Thanks. I am a country boy myself. I'm a farmer. So down where I live, we all talk like this, we do. We're all farmers, we all like our fields and planting our taters. There's not supposed to be that many of us who talk like this. Well, not talk like this, but talk how I talk, you know, proper. <laughs> it's all farmers down here. Slurring our words and not, not knowing how to take deep breaths. Oh, you are, you are. She ain't the follow cami. Happy days. That's number 164. Which didn't work for some reason. Why are you not working? Yeah, let me just fix that. He seems to have broken himself. There we go. Uh, why zombies have no loot, as I see? Like, no knives, no how much? Well, no machetes. Oh, so it scales with how old your world is. So... The longer your world exists, the more weapons you'll start seeing on zombies, and the more, like, higher tier stuff you'll see. So on day one, you're only gonna th see things like screwdrivers and hand forks and butter knives and all of that type of stuff, like... The really, like, low-tier stuff that you don't really care about. And then after a couple of, like, a week or so, you're gonna start seeing kitchen knives and stuff of that variety. After two weeks, you're gonna start seeing machetes and things like that. And then after, I think it's two months, you'll start seeing katanas. Um, but it takes a little while for it to start, like, building up to that stage. Uh, but it's not based on your survival time, it's just based on how old the game is. So if you want to get weapons on day one, um change your sandbox settings to be 12 months later and you'll have everything instantly. It's why a lot of people play with those settings. Hey, turn it off? Nope, can't turn it off. Not that I'm aware of, not unless they've added that setting recently. Three spears didn't last long enough. The RNG, like RNG gods have forsaken us. Ah well, we don't need them. We need no gods. We got inside the plague mask. Oh, just nothing but herbs and spices. OG plague doctor. I'm gonna tell everyone that the only reason I'm alive is because I just, I always keep my beak filled with spices. That's what kept the plague away from me. That's how you survive a bite in the game. You gotta uh, just sniff herbs and spices constantly. Did find a katana yesterday? Yeah, we got two. Of, we found two of them yesterday. Yeah. But I got a little bit of time until I need to sleep, so let's go kill a few more. But I still have three spears. And then we'll start making our way back home then. <laughs> where are you from? Yes. <laughs> People interrogating you. You don't sound local. Where are you from then? See, I used to get it all the time, like in like 
in the peak season when this uh, where I live gets filled with tourists because it's a very it's like a seaside area, so you always get a lot of uh, a lot of those city folk come down here on on holiday. Right. If you'd bump into them, like they'd always like if you struck up a conversation with them, they'd ask you where you're from. You're like, oh, I'm local. It's like, oh, you don't sound local. It's like, what am I supposed to sound like? Am I supposed to talk like this, am I? I bet you all think we're farmers down here, don't you? You all think we are all slow and stupid. <laughs> I don't like fields, I tell you. I don't like tractors. I don't like farming. I mean, I work on a farm, but it didn't mean I like to be a farmer. <laughs> I like that sentence. <laughs> we don't need any gods. It's like that really depressing scene from, uh... Oh, what was it called? It was that Liam Neeson movie. Uh... Grey, I think it was called? It was, it was something like that. It was the one where Liam Neeson fights a bunch of uh, wolves after their plane crashes. And he's like, he's having an existential crisis because everyone else has like died and he's all on his own. And he looks up to the sky and he goes, Yes, yeah, like, you gotta prove it. Not later. Not tomorrow. Right now. Prove to me you're real. And then nothing happens. So he gets really depressed. He just sniffles and goes, fine. I'll do it myself. I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. We'll do it live. <laughs> It's like, yes, that's the mentality to have. Fuck the gods, I'll do it myself. <laughs> I don't need no, like, fucking higher power to save me. I'll solve my own problems. We need a nuclear physicist. Oh, yeah, nuclear physicist communicators with Cockney accents. The Grey, yeah, that was it. That was the movie. Yeah, good film. Good film. Very, uh... I know people got, like, a little bit shitty at the endings. They, they they had the ending in the trailer. But it looked like it was gonna be, like, a really cool fight scene. But it's like, no, it's not even in there. <laughs> like, it cuts to black before it even happens. Like, oh, wow. You blue-balled me. I thought I was about to see, like, Liam Neeson fight a wolf with his hands. With his bare fists. I thought that was gonna be badass. Why they were blindsided by locals, yeah. <laughs> how you get so how you get so good at accents and well, it weren't cause I used to work on a bar fuck master. It's cause I used to be a voice actor. <laughs> With my little farming job and all that good stuff. They just send him, just, just, just airdrop Jason Statham in the woods. They just, there's, there's, uh, like the animals are getting a bit rowdy, you know. The wolves have been breeding too much and they're killing all the, uh, they just, they're throwing the ecosystem out of balance. What's the solution? Just airdrop fucking Jason Statham or Liam Neeson into the woods. You know, give him a bottle of whiskey, he'll sort it out. He'll be fine. No. What are they gonna do, kill him? Pfft, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's Jason Statham. The mic sounds nice. What are you using? I am using an Audio Technica 2020. Um, it's not like a super high-end microphone, but it is a bit on the pricey side if you've never bought a XLR microphone before. But it, it's like a pretty standard one, really. It's not like super expensive, but it's not super cheap. Um, but because it's an XLR microphone, you do have to buy an audio, audio interface as well. So, I haven't updated my audio interface in years. I'm still using an Audiobox 96, I think. 90 bucks where I'm at. Yeah, it's definitely worth it, though. Um, but if you want to do, like, just streaming or YouTube videos or anything, like, non-professional, you don't need an XLR microphone. It's overkill. You can get away with, like, a Blue Yeti or a, um... Oh, I forgot what they're called now. USB 96 or something like that. I can't remember what they're called. But, um... Yeah, you don't need a uh, an XLR microphone for anything, like, just standard and normal. You can get away with just a regular USB microphone. 
and just a little bit of a doing a bit of sound quality control in your room. So if you ever if you ever want to make your microphone just sound a little bit better, um just remember that your room is like the bulk of it. You can have the nicest microphone in the world, but if you're in a really shit room that has terrible acoustics, it's gonna sound like shit. But if you have one of the worst microphones in the world and you put it in a really nice sound-treated room, it's not gonna be horrible, and it's not gonna be the greatest, but it'll be better than, you know, in a tiled room where the sound just fucking bounces off every surface like 20 times. So that's all ready for tomorrow. Happy days. That's 165. Appreciate the follow as well. Uh, yes. Happy days. So it's minus 10. It'll be enough to, like, get me down to Peckish, but we'll do some fishing tomorrow morning. Just make sure there's no zombies coming down from that jet. Uh, there's a USB version for the, AE, or the AT2020. I mean, yeah, if you're only using it for, like, just casual things, yeah, USB microphone will just be fine. Like, an XLR microphone is just overkill for like a normal person because if you if you spend like if you spend like 90 bucks by the, buying an audio technica 2020 you're also gonna have to spend like another 40 or 50 bucks on an audio interface as well like you can't have an xlr microphone without an audio interface uh but the usb mics you can just plug them straight into your desktop or your laptop or whatever it is you whatever you happen to be using like there's no extra hardware that you have to buy uh, but XLR microphones, it's... Uh, like, the reason why XLR microphones sound better than USB microphones is just because... It's just how they convert uh, digital information. So... When I'm plugging my XLR microphone into an audio interface, so my little audio box 96, it's just a much better way of transferring data, like audio data, than having it for a USB. So it has more information to work with, so you get that much cleaner sound to it. And we're condenser microphones as well. Condenser microphones pick up everything, so it's always good to have that. Uh, but like I said, if you're not doing anything professional, like you're not being paid to do a job, you don't need that level of audio quality. That's, um... Like, nobody's gonna be impressed on Skype if you, your voice is very crisp, you know, in a meeting. <laughs> you don't need that. It's a, a lot of money for no, uh, no benefit. Can you say bastard like Sean Bean? I don't think I've ever heard Sean Bean say the word bastard. Maybe. I don't know. How does how does he say bastard? Does he go bastard? Bastardy. Or does he just go bastard? You're a f you're a fucking bastard is what you are. You silly cock. <laughs> you fucking radish, you. I got no idea how Sean Bean says bastard. <laughs> I can't remember the last thing I saw Sean Bean in. Right, let's give you four hours. And seeing as it's raining again, let me throw on an extra layer. But yeah, we'll go off and do our fishing today. Oh, good stuff. Ned Stark, the Jon Snow, haven't watched Game of Thrones. I think that might have been the last thing I saw Sean Bean in, actually. Either that or, um, uh, The Martian, where, um, 
fuck, not Brad Pitt. Uh, fucking Matt Damon. That's the last thing. So he had like a minor role in that one. It's like one of the few movies that he doesn't die in. Yeah, don't fly around a condenser microphone. Exactly, that's life advice right there. Don't, don't breathe. Don't do anything around a condenser microphone because the condenser microphone hears everything. It knows all. It can smell your fear. It knows your secrets. Radish, the worst crop, I know. Scandalous, horrible insult. You fucking radish, you. <laughs> There's a Sean Bean bastard compilation on YouTube. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? <laughs> One of your go-to bits. I'll have to have a look at that. And I just want to quickly go check something. Just having a look at something to see my, if my internet's going to go a little bit off again. Give me less than a few seconds. Give me 40 seconds. Right, and I'm back. He says bastard a lot. I can't... I don't know, maybe he does. I can't remember Sean Bean ever saying bastard. <laughs> it's the second thing that comes up when you type in Sean Bean, fair. <laughs> I'm assuming the first one is Sean Bean deaf. Like, death compilation or anything referring to his character deaths. Like, how many times has Sean Bean died in movies? But yeah, we'll try and go just straight out to the river today. And we'll do a little bit of killing around this area. And I may... Use the ambulance today, maybe. I don't know if I'll do it on the way there or on the way back. It depends on where we run into zombies. But I'll get my food sorted out first before I pull the trigger on that. Because it's either going to go really well or it's going to go really poorly. There doesn't ever seem to be an in-between with those type of things. First result, interview. Eh, fair play. Good stuff. I would go poorly. Literally park it someplace, make a big ball of zombies. Yes, what could possibly go wrong with that? <laughs> yes, grab that car, move it into the field maybe. We'll park it down here or up there, set the sirens off. Oh wait, it turns out there are zombies fucking everywhere. Oh no. How could we ever see this coming? <laughs> 
Yeah, no thank you. I will take my chances not doing that. Yeah, I have to break that. I'll break one or two spears. Just to get rid of that encumbrance. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Just gonna leave you there. Just leave two of them there behind. And I'll pick them up later. But I don't want to be over encumbered because it's just unnecessarily draining my stamina. This is all looking very clear so far, though. We'll probably run into a few, at the very least, past the T-junction, because we normally run into a few down there. Just seems to be where they filter from the north to the south. Predominantly. Wonder how your skills is now? Oh, you can have a gander. Now, the next thing to level up will likely be my carpentry, making spears, or my maintenance level. One or the other. If I was a betting man, I would put my money on maintenance, seeing as we don't make, we don't make spears that often. So, I think that's going to pop to level 9 before anything else. Just have a quick look around this area and see how bad it is. So it's not looking busy at all. Yeah. That's good, though. But I don't want to set the sirens off over here, because obviously it's my, it's my little bridge out towards the river. I don't want to fill it up with zombies again. Uh, reading a single book made it to six cup and two. Yeah, it's because we have the handy trait. So with handy, I have a plus seventy five percent bonus to my uh, my experience, and that plus seventy five means I have an extra three hundred experience, uh, three hundred percent experience on top of what I currently already have. So it levels up very quickly. stuff. Uh, so you learned something neat about the trailers that you didn't know? They spawn cubicle walls? Oh, there's a few of them that have that, yeah. In the bedrooms. And there's a few in Mulder that have that. And I think there's a few around the riverside trailer park as well and dixie yeah it's not like a tremendous amount but yeah if you're playing with sprinters and you like the cubicle walls you can uh go to those areas uh cubicle walls yeah it's just a a fence that never gets destroyed basically so uh office dividers you like you might recognize that name so if you work in an office or any type of building like that You'll have like a cubicle, just like a little area where your desk is. And then in between everyone's desks, you have those office dividers, those little portable walls that you can move around freely. Uh, they're in the game and they work like functionally. They 
are very similar to the fences in the game. But they don't have any destruction mechanics or anything like that, so they can't be destroyed by zombies jumping over them repeatedly, unlike the regular fences. So if you're playing with sprinters, it means you can set up little kill boxes around the area, and you don't have to worry about zombies destroying... Uh, like your failsafe, your backup plan, your little area that you're running back to to trip them all over on. Yeah, they, they are really good. They are really good for sprinters. Bit of a pain in the ass to move around constantly, but they are definitely worth it. Like, they are worth that extra effort if you can get set up with them. Too bad. And I'll have a little rest here as well before we run any further. There's probably not that many more zombies like ahead of me uh, where we're going, but it's always better to be safe. Because you never know, I might run into another group of like 50 or so. And I'd rather be ready for them. Uh, when you start zero, raise your maintenance to level three. It may be 10, 15, uh, 10 to 15 minutes of just hitting zombies with, but I'll oh, use that method. That's fair. Yeah, one by one. It's faster than crowbar and cheaper. Yeah, I personally don't like using that because I don't think it's very well balanced. You know, the fact that you can, you can do it indefinitely without ever breaking your weapon. Um... Oh, if you mean, like, hitting them with the weapon itself, well, yeah, you could do that. I prefer going for kills, but yeah, you can do that. But you used to be able to stomp them, couldn't you? I mean, that was for strength, but... Yeah, you can still shove trees and doors, I think, for maintenance experience. I try to avoid doing that. Now, the woodland critters get a little feisty this time of year. They do indeed. Little gremlins. They're all hungry. Alas, I have no food for them. Yeah, that's fine. You guys can chase me out. But I'm just going to run on ahead so I can start my fishing in a moment. And then I'll fight you afterwards. Uh, go to a slaying prospect. Oh, yeah, you won't. Yeah, no, I don't do that. I don't like doing that. <laughs> no, I won't do it. I'm not going to do that. It's, it's a little bit cheesy. But no, it's more productive just to kill them normally. But if you're 
if you're really desperate and really adamant about not fighting zombies and you just want to grind your maintenance or whatever you're doing quickly, yeah, you can do that. For those of you who don't understand what he's talking about, you would just get a zombie like this on its own and then you would just push it to the ground and then you would just stand on top and target the feet. So you'll do basically no damage. And you just stay here like this. So it'll take the zombie a lot longer to die and you can level up a little bit. But the downside to it is you're not going to be making any progress like in your world like killing zombies or anything else. But it is a good way to level up. Yeah, very cheesy though. <laughs> You get fatigued. Yeah, you can always sit down on them though. Like, it ain't easy being cheesy. Like, if you like really wanted to sweat it out, like really sweat it, I'll I'll show you how you can set it up. But um, it'd be a lot of effort, like <laughs> to do. I'll, I'll show you the simple method. Actually, I'm not gonna do like the super sweaty one. I'll just do the simple one. But yeah, let me grab one zombie I'm on his own. Yeah, one zombie. So yeah, like if I had just been stomping this guy for a while and I was like getting a little bit exhausted and I wanted to have a quick rest, then I should just sit down on them like that. And you're still technically occupying the space on top of them so they can't stand back up and they can't do anything to you. So you can just stay what here. What the fuck was that? I know, cheesy. Super cheesy. <laughs> Would you ever do a pacifist run? No, they're very boring. For me, personally. I'm, um... I like killing lots of zombies and I like leveling my skills up. Doing a pacifist run is, like, the complete opposite of how I play the game, so I would get very bored very quickly. <laughs> I wouldn't find it fun, personally. High spear skills OP? No. I mean, they are really good, but it's well earned. There's a reason why you don't see a lot of people using spears. It takes a long time to max them out. So, I mean, we're level 8 currently. Like, we've just hit level 8 and it's taken us 18,000 kills. Like, there's a reason why you don't see many people with maxed out spears. It takes a very long time. Like, there's only, like, a small minority of people who go for kill counts this high. There's fewer still who do it, and they use spears at the same time. But yeah, they are definitely worth it, though. Absolutely. They are the best weapon in the game, in my opinion. she could shoot you there yeah maybe they'll change it one day that'd be a that'd be a hilarious like shadow change like if they just if they change this to zombies on the ground that you're stood on top of have a chance to trip you over or bite you or grab you or do something but they just never told anyone about it and then you have someone who's like using that tactic and then they get bitten on the leg <laughs> i'd be so pissed but that would be hilarious all of the weapons like that. Yeah, like, all the weapons are good at level 10, but... I understand why people call spears overpowered, but the thing is with it... The reason why that one, that caught on, and a lot of people call spears overpowered, is because most of them don't use spears. And it's like, it's fair enough. Like, when you see spears at level 10, if you haven't played with spears and you don't know how long it takes to get set up, it does look really fucking overpowered. Because like, fucking hell, you are dominating these zombies, and you can make as many of these as you want? That's, that's so overpowered. It's like, I guess. But I also had to be, like, in the top, like, 0.1% of players in terms of kills just to get it set up. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> that's a lot of effort. Like, that is a considerable amount of effort just to make the weapon good.
You know, like a gajillion. Yeah, it's it's the thing that it's like one of the main things that balances them out. Like if the spears were very high durability and they'd last a long time. No, I would agree with everyone. I'd say they are very overpowered. But because there's no skills or like there's no occupations or traits to level them up quickly. So you're going to need a minimum of 25 to 30,000 to max out that skill. That's already one of the worst things about the weapon. Because not many people get kill counts that high to start with. So that's a huge ask already. But then on top of that, you all... Well, on top of that, they're also one of the most fragile weapons in the game. In, in terms of, like, the weapons are actually good in the late game, they are the most fragile. And then after that, it's only a minor thing as well, but it's the only weapon that requires that you level up a crafting skill to make it so they're not damaged when you make them as well. You have to be... You have to be carpentry level 3, so they're not damaged when you craft them. But, uh, yeah, like I said, though, they are definitely worth it, but... I'll always disagree with people who call them overpowered. Always. <laughs> but I am very biased. They are my favorite weapon. But I think I'm fair enough with all the other weapon types that... You know that I'm not being dishonest. Throw you back there. Golden. All right, so now we have sixteen hours of fuel. Fantastic. Have you ever seen a Kitar at level 10 Longblood? I have, and it's hilariously underpowered. <laughs> but I mean, it is a Kitar. Very underwhelming, but it is funny. Uh, you know, spears are good, love them, but what makes them the best of a new... Uh, the best... Oh, well, it just makes them the best overall, so... It's personal preference. It depends on who you are, so they're going to give you different answers. But late game, I like swing speed. Well, I like swing speed. It has to be able to one-shot. It has to be pretty good with its stamina efficiency, and it has to be either readily available or it has to be renewable. Spears are the fastest weapon in the game with their attack speed. So that already makes it the best overall, uh, in my eyes. But it's also one of the easiest to craft. So with renewability, it's the king as well. So you can get, make the most spears out of every weapon. Or make the most weapons of any category. And then um, durability is a little bit lackluster. And the stamina efficiency is not the best. But it's better than axes. Uh, stone axe being the exception. Um, but it's okay. So it's, it's below two. So it's like it's efficient enough that I don't have to rest constantly. And... Um, and then, yeah, it can also one-shot very early on. From, like, level 7, really, you'll start seeing considerable one-shots. And then level 8 plus, like, most of the hits you make will be one-hit kills. So at level 10, um, like, every single attack is a one-hit kill. So they are the best. And I've done all the tests with it. They, they have the highest ceiling for how many zombies can you kill in a single day. So if you played Pixel Perfect and you made no mistakes, you could kill up to 3,700 in a single day. Like, it's unrealistic, because obviously that's playing like a computer, but they have the highest ceiling. The highest cap. But, um... But yeah. Like like I've said in the past, though, it's personal preference. You don't have to min-max your weapons to be... Getting... Uh, to be good at getting kill counts. You can use whatever you like. Like, every weapon category is good and bad at different things. It just happens to be that the spears are very easy to craft, and they are... they have the best DPS. It just happens to be that's what I like. <laughs> and that's why I use them. Uh, I think in terms of overpowered axe fits the bill. Yeah, I mean, I don't really consider any category to be overpowered. To refer to something, like, to refer to 
something in the game is overpowered implies that it's it's too powerful and it needs to be nerfed. There's nothing like that in the game, really. There's no weapon, like individual weapon or weapon type that's so good and so out of balance that it needs to be nerfed considerably. Like, there are really good weapons and there are really bad weapons, but there's nothing that's like... There's, no, there's nothing I could throw in the hands of a newbie and he would be just instantly good at the game. There's nothing that's like really out of place. Hello, hello. Uh, Axeman is essential to keep up with spears. Yeah, so even if you run Axeman, you're still slightly slower, but you can almost catch up with them with attack speed. And with stone axes, you'd be more efficient with your stamina as well. They are, like, the stone axes weigh 1.2, and the crafted spear weighs 1.7. So you won't have to rest as often if you're using stone axes. Downside to it is, they're more time consuming to craft. And they cannot hit every single zombie with a, a one-hit kill at level 10. But the overwhelming majority of them will be. But I like perfection at the end. I like every zombie to die in a single hit. <laughs> so I'm a little bit more picky. A category. Yeah, the Keytar needs its own category. We need, like, just comedy weapons that have an entirely different section. Uh, Stone Axes are mostly two-shot, aren't they? I mean, at level 10, they can one-shot pretty well. It's just not not every single zombie is going to be a one-hit kill. But uh, the majority of them will be. So as long as you're, like, as long as you can settle for almost perfect, like, almost, uh, almost, well, almost perfect in terms of, like, damage output, when maxed, uh, yeah, they're fantastic. You'll just have like the odd one or two zombies that just will take an extra swing. So it's not like a it's not like a huge game breaker, like a deal breaker, that is. Um, it's just something that I'm not keen on personally. That's why I don't use them. But it's mostly because they require extra effort to craft. They're more time consuming, and that time I spend crafting them is time spent not killing zombies. Uh, if you had to rank every weapon type from your favorite to least favorite, how would you rank them? Uh, the goat. Spears number one. Pure blades level uh, number two. Axes number three. Long blunts four. Short blunts five. Long blades six. That's the order I would put them in. And that's for late game. So I know, I know there's someone who's going to be like, but these weapons are better in the early game. Like, I don't care. <laughs> the early game, don't give a shit about. Mid game, don't give a shit about. Late game is all I care about. <laughs> so once you're level 10 in the skill, and you're just killing zombies. That's the only part I care about. So the spears, obviously, like what we've already discussed, they have the best DPS and such, so they'll be able to get the most kills per day later on. And then, short blades at number two, because if you were running Lumberjack, you'd be able to get more kills per day using stone axes, as opposed to using hunting knives. But that does require that you run Lumberjack with every single character that you make if you're using those weapons. So it, it pigeonholes you into using a specific occupation every time. Uh, so hunting knives would be my second choice. Uh, third choice, I would go for Lumberjack, just because they are very fast then, so I would be making stone axes. And then long blunts, because I hate knockdown and all of that stuff, and all the blunt weapons, and there are no good craftable long blunt weapons or short blunt weapons. Uh, but long blunt is better than short blunt, in my opinion. And then finally, long blades. And long blades are fantastic, but the thing is, you can't craft any of them, and they don't last very long. And it relies completely on luck on when you actually get to have them, so... Um, it, that's more of a novelty category, really. It's kind of like a, oh, this is neat. And it's very short when like short lived, it doesn't last very long. <laughs> Unless you're playing on um settings where you have like 
a ridiculous amount of, like, duct tape and such to repair your machetes constantly. To be fair. Back to gaining weight, good stuff. We're still going to carry on slipping with our weight for a while, I think, but that's fine. As long as I can delay my weight loss a little bit, that is good enough for me. now i'll try and eat what i can on the way and you know if i have to i'll drop uh, i'll drop a lot of them Guess we're coming back for these another time. That's fine though. Yeah. Well, let's run back now so I can go get some sleep. And then we'll come back and do some fighting around this area tomorrow. So we're definitely winning with it now because we can get back to the river consistently now. Like we're no longer having to run around and find some niche path to skip through them all. fish there so I got enough for like a day or two that's fantastic but yeah I'm wondering what weapons they're going to make for build 42 though that's what I'm curious about they've already they've shown a few of them like a little I think I've, there was a fire poker that was one of them and I'm wondering if they're going to add any like new strong weapons anything that's going to be game changing it's like the spears were game changing from build 40 to 41 that was a big one you know but that was a whole combat overhaul reworked everything i'm wondering if they'll add like a new category of weapons or at the very least they'll just add new weapons to the existing categories and there'll be new types of spears maybe maybe new types of axes and there's probably going to be a shit ton of new long blunts and short blunts because the blunts always get all the fucking weapons. <laughs> Just because literally everything can be used as a weapon if you're angry enough. Alright, but let's have a little rest on this corner and then we'll carry on going. Yeah, this is looking very good though. Very good. I think tomorrow we'll try the ambulance. I'll move that one into position now. So we are not seeing a soul down this way. Mm. 
And yeah, we only did 171 kills today, but that is expected. We're tired. Rip. Yeah, good stuff. Nice that the bodies down here are despawning, though. That's good. Still a few zombies in there. At least this road is getting cleared out, though. Less corpse sickness for me. Yeah, I get, yeah, looking forward to not having to jog this every day. It does get really tedious at times. And uh, you know it won't be for a while. I don't know, it might be quite soon that we can stop doing this. I am still thinking about moving into that house down that road there, that little farmhouse. So it's a lot closer to the river, but um, like every time we run out like in that direction, we always find zombies by that tree line. So if I can clear out whatever's gone down to that cell and that house can be emptied out a bit, it wouldn't be a bad place to move in. It would save me probably like an hour game time of running. But yeah, we are doing very well. And we should be about a third of the way through West Point now as well, in terms of their zombie pop. Yeah, we'll bother resting. Just not exerted yet. You know, everything's going everything's going quite well. So I'm surprised that we didn't get pushed any further back from this area, honestly. I thought I was gonna have to run further east again. I mean, yeah, we managed to hold on, though. It's not too bad. Yeah. Might have to make use of that car as well. So I think that one... Yeah, that, that one's got engine parts. Has no fuel, though, so I'll have to... Siphon the little gas from the ambulance and then put a tiny drop in that one. Um, Not to drive around constantly, just to move it into a better position so I can use the sirens. Just as a decoy. How many Zs on West Point? Uh, reach 50k, still in the middle of the city. Yeah, it's a. If you're playing on time 16, you're looking at about 50 to 70,000. Um, it's not a like a static figure. It does change from game to game, even if you're playing on identical settings. Uh, but with all the fluctuations, like from the highest to lowest, it is a, in the 50 to 70,000 range. Uh, so it's, it is a bit of a big difference. But it also depends if you're playing on, like, pinpoint hearing or not. If you've got pinpoint hearing on, that number's gonna be, ooh, I might even go over 70. If you include all the zombies around West Point, like, on the outskirts. <laughs> but, yeah. The good news is, if you've already done 50, like, you should be very close to finishing. You shouldn't have that many left. Right. Mm, yeah, that should be enough time. Let me grab a little bit of breakfast, and then we'll run on back. Well, to be fair, I'm not even hungry yet. I just have the one, then. And I'll leave the rest here. And we'll have enough food for, like, a day or two. So that'll be fine. So how much do I have? 
Oh, to be fair, I have enough for like three days ish. Not enough to maintain my body weight, but keep my hunger in check at least. Right, off we go. Hey, Ruffian. Hello, hello. Welcome on back. Alright, before I start running, I'm just gonna pour myself another coffee very quickly from my thermos. Go on the stream, see 55 spears on the ground. Oh, yeah, we made like 70 of them, like straight away. That's like, how many spears do I have? Three. It's like, oh, let's correct that. So, yeah, we've, uh, on this run so far, we've made 601 spears so far. It's been very good. And we've killed about 1,300 zombies so far. And we've been going quite lax with it, like, pr pretty chilled out. But we're about to go and try and get the ambulance moved into place today. Because, uh... The... The road out to the river is, like, nice and quiet. So I want to move that ambulance and try and pull the last of the zombies around that area in particular. I want to try and pull them out of the tree line. Uh, further southeast, away from the river, so I can fish in peace, and I can try and clear out that cell. It's your first time getting this many kills. Oh, good stuff. Got inspired by you and some others. Try to try out. Oh, fantastic. Another one joins the prestige. Yes. Goobble gobble, one of us, one of us, one of us. <laughs> He's a murderer. He's a genocide warlock. He's fantastic. Give that man a weapon. He's going to murder the world. I'm getting very hot today, so I'll leave my... I'll leave this leather coat behind now. Now, I'll probably... I'll try and pick it up on the way back. It is in nice condition. But let me leave you here. It's no longer raining anymore. I'll just kill, just carry on killing normally for the first part of the day. I want to wait till this fog blows over first so I can see what's in front of me while I'm driving that ambulance. So we'll do the same as last time. We'll go down this road, head west, do a bit of killing around there. And then about midday, the fog should be gone then so I can drive that ambulance. Uh, unimpeded. Right, so reveal yourselves. Where are you hiding? Thanks, who knows? Today we might even start pushing up north again. Maybe. Depends how many there are around this area. Because this road seems to be fine. This road seems to be fine. We haven't really gone beyond that T-junction north, so... There could still be a few of them lurking around there, but we always do a bit of shouting around that area, so at least the tree line is clear. We do run into quite a lot of them down here, and they do tend to keep coming back, so there should be lots of them in this woodland. And last stream, there were a lot of them down here. Whether they're still there or not, I don't know, but we'll find out soon. Yeah, it's a nice heavy fog. We'll live in the dream. Oh, how I do love having my visibility set to nil. <laughs> ah, well. It's not winter yet, so it won't last the entire day. It'll only go on until about the, well, about midday or early afternoon. So, somewhere between like 12 and 4 o'clock, it'll be gone. So, three, three to seven hours game time. We'll be good to go again. And we gotta head out this way anyway, so we're still going in the right direction. 
I just don't fancy my luck driving the ambulance in this field. Amongst all the zombies, all the trees, and with the fog. That's the only, only reason why I'm waiting for it to go away. <laughs> and now the jets as well. Yeah, appreciate the follow as well though. Happy days. That's number 166 for the game. Uh, Alice Al Alcy Joe? I'm assuming that's how you want to say your name. Big ol' number, yeah, that's why we didn't want to come down this way. That's a fucking big ol' number. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. I'm definitely gonna have to run away from this. It's actually gonna have to make my character panic for once. Yeah, we haven't panicked for a while. That is spectacular. Yeah, we'll definitely be parking the ambulance down in this area, I think. just found your first ever katana. Hey, congrats. You are officially a weeaboo now. Welcome to the club. <laughs> your character now has Jap Japanese ancestry. It's fantastic. and have a quick rest. Nimble 5... Sh yeah, it is nice. It's very nice. Yeah, level... Getting level 5 nimble is the point where you... You become faster than the zombies when you nimble walk. Like, you'll still... You'll, they'll still catch up to you if you swing too much, because obviously you have the delay when you swing. That slows your run speed, or your walk speed. But, uh... Yeah, if you just walk back normally, you should be slightly faster than them. Hopefully that fog will disappear nice and early today. There they are.
I just throw you on the ground so you don't despawn. Who knows? I might come back for those in the future. I don't think we'll do it, but we may end up getting to that stage where I get really bored. I'm like, I feel like maxing out all of my weapons now. And I'll just go around and collect all these old axes that I've left behind. And we'll max out all our combat skills as well. Another hand axe up already. Spy, you see. Another hand axe. Three for three within the last, what, 60 seconds? <laughs> Hilarious. We live, we do live, Smirk. With living the dream. Still chilling and killing, and the fog is about to disappear. I can see it's lifting. And yeah, we're all, we're all, all good. We're already up, already up a thousand kills today, uh, which is very nice. And we're like really kicking the shit out of them at the moment around this area. Like, I still think there's a good number of them lurking around in that woodland and around these fields, because we keep running into, like... Like, we'll walk around for a while and we won't see anyone, and then we'll just run into a massive group. <laughs> so I still think there's a good... a few hundred, if not more, to kill around this area. Well, we might be able to start pushing north or further east today. Back towards the town itself. And I breeze past your current PB run count. Rip. My apologies. <laughs> no any significance to no oh, of, sig of significance to no one but yourself. Well, at least I can take that home then. Successfully demoralized into smirk. I'll take it. Right, but yeah, we're all good down here. So let's go up to that ambulance now. And I'll see if I can pull the ambulance down to the field over here. Even if the sirens only last for like a few minutes. At least I can get rid of some of the guys hiding in the woods then. Or at the very least get in the counting of how many there are. Like a rough approximation. Inevitability was the only option. You can't fight fate. I am inevitable. <laughs> Let's grab anyone around this area. So this is more or less where we'll be 
bringing the ambulance in a moment. Very good numbers. do I have left? Quite a few. Yeah, I'll definitely need to have a rest. I'm not going to be able to finish all of them before I go through my high exertion as well. <laughs> Don't flip the ambo. No promises. You can't tell me what to do. Those style points aren't going to earn themselves. <laughs> do a kickflip. That's a fire axe as well, spicy. Good stuff. And we are fully rested. Now, before I run back in that direction, though, I'm just going to make a quick trip to those two cars, because I left a couple of spears in the trunk yesterday, because we were over-encumbered. Just going to pick them up. And I'll probably run around to the ambulance from this way as well now. Now that I've thinned out those zombies quite a, like, quite a lot, I'm content with that for the time being. Right, so yeah, make our way west, and we'll go grab that ambulance, and we'll see how far it gets. I will check the engine again, though, just to have an idea how long it's going to last. I know it's got a little bit of fuel, but I don't think it's got a lot. But it is percentage base, so it's relative to the size of the gas tank as well, so... I know I never checked how big the gas tank was. <laughs> so it could be a big one and it could have a lot of fuel, it could be a small one and it could have basically nothing. But 
Yeah, all of this is still very clear though. Good stuff. And we're pretty much there. So before I drive any further though, let me just grab anyone who is hanging around next to it. So I don't think there'll be anyone really. Yeah, like one or two. There's a few actually. Wasn't expecting as many. Still not too bad though. Yeah, I mean it wasn't even enough to drive me into moderate exertion so it wasn't that bad. So yeah, let's check him out. And then we'll drive drive him just south, close to the tree line. Just to try and lure anyone who's in here out. And when I get closer to where I want to be, I'll set the sirens off. And then we'll leave him. So they'll probably just, like they might destroy the sirens like immediately, but still. I don't plan on using it in the future. If you know, even if that happens, so it's fine. But yeah, 7% gas. Small gas tank. Okay, so it's, you know, 1 out of 14. So it's basically nothing, but it'll get, should get me to where I need to be. And then, yeah, 9% engine, 9% hood. And what's the light bar on? 13? Yeah, 13. That's not too bad, then. Alright, one last thing as well. Fucking idiot. <laughs> I keep going back and forth. Let me just check the engine quality. Am I ever going to come back for this? Maybe. 96 engine quality. That's a really good engine. Um, you're a solid maybe for the future, but that will be months away. Uh, looks like there's a small T... A small TV, small table, lighter. Looks like there's a small TV, table, lighter than the plastic chair. I... If I, if I think you're talking about Rebecca, the piano stool. <laughs> How can I even reach the light bar? It's just, it's all the seven foot tall zombies, all the Giga Chad zombies. I'm away, fuck boys. 
Uh, fucking excuse me? <laughs> what? Wait, hold on. What? Did the vehicle trip me over? That's a new one. I want to see that again now. I've not seen that before. What tripped me over? I think it was the- I think it was the car, cause it like, it bounced back a little bit. Yeah, fucking eject the seat. <laughs> We're surrounded quickly. Eject What Robin. the fuck was that? Oh, that was a bit spicy. Let me have a look. Yeah. Uh, uh, made my heart sing for a moment, then I was like, wait, hold up. This wasn't part of the script. Let me find... Very calmly, very politely. Tell the risk assessment quite spicy. Really <laughs> I'm gonna pu I'll pull it up on screen so you can see it as well. We'll pull it in slow-mo. I think it was the car. But yeah, I've not... I've not seen that before. I have introduced myself. You have introduced yourself. This oh, is a that very thought? good conversation. It's a very good conversation. Yeah, let's have a quick gander. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't need to hear myself. But yeah, streamception right now. <laughs> don't think I had stopped. No, because the cars have to stop. You can't jump out of a moving vehicle. Yeah, let me just speed through this. So I jumped out because the engine cut out because, you know, I didn't want to try my luck restarting it. So it's right here. Let me put you in slow-mo. So I think, like, I swear I saw the van jolt back just slightly. Because, yeah, it's, all, it's leaning to the side at the moment. And then it, the engine cuts out. I get out of the van here. Yeah, is it, it fucking bounced and it slapped me. <laughs> it's like, whoosh. This is what you get for abandoning me, you fuck. <laughs> it gave me, the, the ambulance gave me a slap on the ass as I got out. That's hilarious. Oh, let me just watch it one more time. Uh, 8.50, more or less. That's hilarious. Yeah, it's because, um... The engine started as I got out, so... When... When the engine is turned off for a vehicle, it kind of just... Like, whatever is happening with your suspension at the time seems to stay, uh, like, static. It doesn't change. But as the ambulance... Like, as it starts the engine, as I get out, the engine turns on, so the suspension is, like, activated again. It's, like, dynamics, so... It corrects itself and goes back to normal. So it bounced back as the engine started, but I just happened to get out at the same time. And it bounced. <laughs> it fucking slapped me. That's hilarious. I've never had that happen before. Cursed. Yeah, we said earlier that this fucking ambulance has been cursed from day one. Yeah, the curse is still alive. Even though we got to the ambulance and we started it, it's still cursed. You're getting subs while still being... Wait, you're getting ads while still being subbed. Hello, Twitch. That's not right. You shouldn't be getting subs. I have sub viewing on, so you shouldn't get any, any of those advertisements. Good thing it wasn't in- oh god, could you imagine if I died instantly? Oh, that's the thing actually, how much damage did you deal? I wasn't paying attention to my health. Oh, you actually- he dealt damage to me as well. I'll check my health in a second, I'll see how much health I lost. It's only minor damage, so it'll be like less than 25%. But still. That's hilarious. Yeah, it, it, it actually dealt- like, I ran myself over with my own car. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> How good are you at the game? Well, I'm not saying I'm the best driver in the world, but I can literally run myself over if I need to. <laughs> That's so dumb. Oh, well, I've, I've never seen that happen before, though, so I'm not going to pay it much mind. But still, that is, um, that is quite the experience. Because I took a very long time to stand up. Yeah, so we took, a, we took moderate damage, not even minor damage. I lost about, like, just over 25% of my health. <laughs> Dying from an ambulance. Gosh, if the ambulance killed me, the irony would end my career, I think. 
run myself over with a stationary car. What can I say? My skill level is on another level. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure the engine is still running, though, but that's fine. I've got it more or less where I want it to be. But I'll kill these guys. And I'll move it in a second. Or at the very least, I'll start the, uh, the sirens. Yeah, that was, um, that was quite the experience, though. need to sell. <laughs> I need to try and get my character killed just to make things interesting. I am literally my own worst enemy. Funny way for the the run to end, though. <laughs> I don't even know if I would have used the backup save after that. It would have been too funny. My gosh, I can't rob it now. The ambulance got me fair and square. <laughs> Darwinism at its best. Oh, I'm gonna fucking save that clip, though. That's hilarious. And a zombie stuck behind the stairs in the fire department in Rosewood, so I kept thinking there's a, a zombie nearby now. Ah, oh, yeah. I always hate those staircase zombies. The good thing is you, you can get rid of him without having to demolish the stairs. You can use guns. The guns will travel through the stairs, so you can't just shoot him. But yeah, really annoying when they do that. <laughs> Appreciate the follow as well. Uh, uh, Andreas as well. Happy days. That's 167. Yeah, let's go see how many more are, are waiting around the car now. So if the engine is still running, it's probably run out of gas by now. There wasn't that much left in there. The ambulance is going to hunt me down in the end. <laughs> it probably has a soul and a temper. See, so yeah, I'm going to be in my bed tonight, in my house, tucked away under the covers. And I'm going to hear, like, the slow, ominous rolling of tires on gravel. And it's going to roll up to my bed bedside window. Like a fucking drive in drive through window. It's just going to stay there, just waiting. <laughs> I think that ambulance may be the end of me. It's been cursed since the moment we saw it.
Christian ambulance. But I have a little bit of time left, so let's go check on the ambulance one more time. And see if it still has any fuel left. If it's still got a little bit, I'll try and move it into a, a little bit of a better position. It's not in a horrible spot right now, but it's right next to a bunch of trees, so... Let's try and move it a little bit, but... We'll have to see. Um, yep, yeah, still got 5% fuel. That's okay. Yeah, less than... Less than one unit. <laughs> it's good enough, though. Um, and to be fair, I'll probably just leave you here. So I'm just going to leave him running. I'll come back tomorrow. Um, it will, like, the ambulance is not going to make noise throughout the entire night, because obviously, once we get so far away, it's going to unload the ambulance, and so it's going to unload the, the audio as well and the sound. Um... Oh yeah, I'll make my way out here tomorrow, and we'll have a little gander at it. Because uh, when we come back in range in the morning, that's when the sound and the ambulance will load back in. And anything around this area, they'll all start making their way towards it. Yikes. You're slowly going over there, so it's got to have a pretty decent range to it. The car the ambulance crashed into was just another one of its victims. I mean, maybe that's how it works. Maybe it just goes around hunting people. And as soon as it kills its target, it just goes dormant for a while. Until something disturbs it. And I was just the schmuck that happened to, like, have a look at it. I popped the hood. I looked at the engine. I saw forbidden knowledge. And now the ambulance has its next target. And now it won't rest until I'm dead. <laughs> And finally, a worthy opponent. <laughs> Jeremy was the driver. Jeremy's probably just pissed off because I haven't found him yet. He's just hopping around out there, looking for a fanny pack to hide in. He's just he's secretly hiding in the engine of the ambulance. <laughs> yeah, oh, good stuff. And tomorrow, game day, we'll be hitting 19,000 next. Nice. There will be 2,000 kills in for the stream. That's very good. Yep. I think we'll do a gamba today, though. I'll do a gamba now, seeing as there's plenty of us here. Uh, we started on 17,000. So let's say, can we hit 20... Can we hit 23,000 kills today? I think 23 is a bit of a stretch. 25, no, 25 I definitely won't be able to do that. <laughs> 25 is too high. 23 though, that's that's more zombies that, we, that we've killed in any other stream so far with this character. So it's raising the bar a little bit higher. So yeah. Let me set that one up. Yeah, can we reach... What did I say? 23,000. Yeah, 23,000 films this stream. And I'll give you guys 30 minutes on that one. 23 you make. I don't know, because we haven't done a stream with this character yet, but we killed 6,000. 
we normally average like 4,000, like below 4,000 kills uh, each stream. And then slightly over 4,000 for like the last one, I think. So pushing it up to 6,000 is in a single stream. It's a, it's a maybe, it's a solid maybe. How much longer will you be streaming? I stream until uh, 2 in the morning, so I've got another 6 hours and 35 minutes. So we're just over a third of the way through the stream at the moment. So I've still got plenty of time. Twenty thousand dead. Yeah, twenty thousand will definitely do twenty twenty k, unless something goes like dramatic, like something really fucking dramatic happens, and I'm fighting for my life, <laughs> and I can't just and I just don't have the time to kill any zombies. But yeah, we uh, yeah, unless yeah, unless the ambulance comes out for revenge again and tries to kill me a second time. So that's 22, and give me one more after once. Minus 10, yes. That'll put me a little bit over. That's fine. Hey, what time is it? Uh, 10, 20. Right. Good stuff. And... I got room for one more spear, I think. Yeah, good stuff. Right, off we go again. Uh, the more packed they are, the more kills per second you can get, as long as you've got the stamina. Yeah, so I won't have to spend... There's not going to be as much time walking from one group to, a, to the next, but... There's... Like, I don't know how many zombies are in that tree line, that's the thing. So it could be a lot, it could be really easy getting kills from, like, for the rest of the stream now, now that that ambulance is in place. But they could, you know, destroy the sirens immediately, making that worthless and redundant. I could get overwhelmed with too many helicopters, so I might get pushed back further. I might lose access to the river as well, so I might have to spend, like, a few extra days trying to get access to that so I can keep feeding myself. There's, like, a multitude of different things that could go wrong. Um, but yeah, as long as things go right, I think we'll, we'll pretty, we'll hit the 23,000 pretty easily, I think. That's if everything goes perfectly. So I'm not 100% sure how large the radius is on pinpoint hearing with that ambulance. <laughs> I appreciate the follow drippy as well. Happy days. And that's another jet. So that's 168 now. Very nice. Exactly, I could hop in. Yeah, I mean, did you see it, Red? Did you see the fucking ambulance try and murder me? Get out of the car, it fucking slaps me on the ass. Sexual harassment in the workplace, I tell you. Ambulance tried to murder me. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Physic bugs with the cars bring me so much joy. Oh, it was just, it was so dumb. Like, so dumb. So, like, the, the things that had to go wrong for that to happen, it's so... It, it's dumb. <laughs> so I had to first steer the car on a tight corner to lean the suspension to one side, 
Then the engine had to cut out while I was doing that so it would lock the suspension in place. Then my character would automatically try and start the engine again afterwards. But while he's doing that, I have to try and get out the car at the same time. But the engine also has to start on the first try as I get out. And all of those fucking things happened perfectly for that car to slap me on the ass. <laughs> like, for fuck's sake. Game, why do you be like this? Yeah, it's a good thing those zombies weren't on the, um, on the southeast side of the car, because they would have had me then. I took so long to stand back up. They would have had me if they weren't, uh, if they weren't on the side that they were. Just wants you inside her. Well, I'm gonna file a restraining order. <laughs> Because that is the worst way they could phrase that. Second time an ambulance outplayed you. If I had a penny for every time I was outplayed by an ambulance, I'd have two pennies, which is not a lot, but it is surprising that I have that it happened twice. <laughs> yeah, ambulances have been confirmed now as the most lethal vehicle in the game. No, you're not walking towards it. Oh, where are you? Uh, it should be, yeah, it should be over here somewhere. It'll be easier to see once daylight kicks in, but I've got an hour until then, so let's just kill what we can for the time being. enough pennies to set one upon each closed eye. How dare you. How dare you, good sir. I'm pretty sure that's where the ambulance broke down earlier, so we should be, like, here-ish. Somewhere over here. Yeah, there he is. I think the light, like, the timer for the light bar to turn off automatically might still be on. I don't think I changed that setting. So it might still be working. Got Thirty minutes until daylight. By the time I finish resting, it's, it should be more or less five. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I can already see it getting brighter. Good stuff. So I'll go set the sirens off again now if they're still working. And then we'll run back for a little bit. No doubt we'll probably run into a few of them as we run away. I'll kill them, have a rest, come back, and then we'll see what we gathered up in this area. I want to give him a few minutes just to carry on dragging them in. Yes, the Wee Woo Wagon. The Wee Woo Wagon is in full swing. Operation Wee Woo is a go. Maybe we're all quiet down here, so let's go have a quick look at the ambulance then. And yeah, it turns out the zombies likely have to be strong. I didn't know that. So, I mean, that was only on 13%. They would have broke it by now. But yeah, uh, fun bit of trivia then. Uh, cause not a lot of people play with strong zombies, but if you set your zombies to strong, they can destroy the light bar. Yeah, but it seems if they're normal or weaker, they can't do that. <laughs> yeah, I thought it like I I thought it wasn't the case. On the last time sixteen game we had, I um I kept having my emergency vehicles have their sirens destroyed. I was like, I don't remember that being a thing. But it's because we had our zombies set to random, so we had a few strong zombies in the mix. A oh, perfect time for a heli. Very spicy. It's 169. Happy days. So I'm going to let that one fly overhead. I'm not going to grab them yet. I'm going to let him fly overhead. And then, um... When he disappears, they should make their way back to the ambulance again. Just so long as they don't see me, it's fine. I can't even hear him. It's just a silent helicopter. It's the new stealth generation of helicopters. What's a helicopter event? I'm new. Uh, it's just a... meta event, so... Like, it, like, the vanilla helicopter, like, it will come around after, like, s like six days. Um, and it'll fly around the character, like, your player character. And it'll go back and forth for, like, half a day, like, several times. And while it's doing so, it's making a lot of noise. So it's going to bring a lot of zombies to whatever, wherever it happens to be flying at the time. Um, so it catches a lot of newer players off early on, just because they don't expect to have so many zombies turn up on their doorstep. Uh, but you can't do anything about it. You can't hide from it. You can't make it go away. You just have to wait it out. Um, so most like people have different ways of coping. Some people hide in the house. Some people go out and start fighting. Some people run away to the middle of nowhere. Where the hell is going to have no impact on them. Um, and all that stuff. But that's what the heli event is. And on vanilla, you only get that happen the one time. But yeah, it's after six days, but before 11, I believe. There's at least 500 of them. Let's bring, yes, we're bringing all the zombies from the woods. Let me grab a big old fuck-off group now. 
a big chunky group. Uh, they did add the Siren Destroy thing before your long last run. Is it only exclusive to strong zombies then, though? Because I haven't fucked around with the settings for this. For the Sirens or anything like that. Is it only strong zombies that can do that? Because that's the only difference between that game and this game currently. That would be... Like, rel... No. Uh, be... Uh... Fucking words. I have introduced myself. Relevant. Very good conversation. Hello, Garfield. Is that, is that the ambulance? Yes, we touched it and we nearly died today. I got out of the ambulance earlier, Garfield, and it slapped me on the ass and it tripped me over. Janky car physics tried to murder me. <laughs> the ambulance is still cursed. Even if it is in a better position now. It's still trying to murder me. Molly would be great right by now. Yeah, I don't like using fire personally, just because it doesn't it doesn't count towards my kill count. But yeah, the Molly would make this uh, a lot quicker. So this is going to take me like several days to get through all of those zombies. <laughs> but yeah, Molly. Oh, it would do it within like 30 minutes real time. It wouldn't take that long at all. I'm just, I'm far too proud to use fire. It's free HP lowering. Red, I already one-shot them. Why would I need that? <laughs> I already one-shot almost all of them. Please, stop. Hello, Salty. Welcome on in as well. It uses less stab. No. No. <laughs> Far too proud to use axes as well. I mean, that one's just common sense. <laughs> oh, we're out of range of the ambulance, so it's turned off. Come, fight me. Fight me, people. But... We got the, uh, we got what I wanted. They don't all have to be in, like, the same area. I just want them out of the woods. So as long as I can see them all now. Beautiful. Because now I can chip away at these guys. But, yeah. Not gonna grab them all at once. <laughs> so I'll let them all spread out, form their little groups, and then we'll, uh, chip away at some... X. I didn't think there'd be that many in the woods, but hey-ho. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Is this game with or without respawn? Oh, for zombies, there's no respawn on this one. So once they're dead, that's it. They're gone forever. And it was totally worth it. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's grab a few of you, though. Appreciate the resub as well. Oh, 
Uh, might actually help me. It's going to stop them from going any further. Uh, any further east. It's number 170. So ideally, I want to get them as close to my house as I can without being, like, right on my doorstep. <laughs> Just to save me running all this way every day. It's a good number. Oh, we just crossed the 19,000 mark as well. Nice. I know, it's a very nice zombie tide, yeah. <laughs> Grab your paddleboard, it's fucking beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, once they all settle down, they'll form their groups of 20 again, and they'll spread themselves out around this cell now. Fantastic. Gonna run on ahead, have a quick rest, and then they'll catch up to me while I'm doing so. Uh, what do you think? Level slower, sprinting or nimble? Nimble, hundred percent. No, no debate, no argument. I don't even think I know. <laughs> like that, that one's not even a debatable topic. I know for a fact, nimble level slower. Yeah, considerably slower. Yeah, nimble is one of the worst skills in the game to max out. It's horrible. Dead storm rising. How goes the endless death march? It's going very well. Yeah, we just made a, a tidal wave of zombies. It looks magnificent. And we are currently riding the wave, so to speak. And we're chipping away at them. Slapping the hell out of them. Goddamn right we are. Slap. 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 Everything must die. Yeah, there's only a few more. Let me just top up my stamina a little bit then. And we're done with these guys, so we'll push back again. And we'll go looking for some more of them.
Oh, good stuff. Right, so I'm going to leave you there for a moment, because I'm going to run back, grab some spears, and then I'll come back in a second. So it's not that far to run. <laughs> you went all in, and you're like, yes, I've seen how many zombies there are today. He's either gonna die, or he's gonna kill them all. 50-50 chance. Fl fucking flip that coin. <laughs> Ah, uh, so even the game is supporting you. All the meta events today. <laughs> they either happen or they're... Yes, everything is 50-50. <laughs> there are no other variables. Just, I like probability. <laughs> either I win or I lose. I can work with those odds. <laughs> oh, that's a few too many. Probability? Never heard of her. Sounds exotic. Sounds French. How many kills until level 10? Um, Minimum 10,000. Well, 11,000. Oh, sorry, not minimum. Maximum 11,000 kills. Uh, but yeah. It could be within the next 6,000. It could be another 11. But it's always around like the 25 to 30,000 mark that you'll hit level 10. Typically. And we are scratching the surface of level 9 currently. I guess we'll just have a nice little slow walk in. Let's grab what we can around here. And we'll work our way back up to the river again. Quite a few of you around, though. Just realized you're clearing that random spot of zombies next to the river between West Point and Riverside. Oh, yeah. And they're all from West Point. <laughs> yeah, pinpoint's not that bad, they said. No. Your settings aren't that bad, Lamprey. I could do pinpoint hearing. Yeah, no, I could play with integration and do all those helicopters with pinpoint hearing. You can't be that bad, you know. You're just leaving West Point because you're overcautious, they said. <laughs> There's no way that many, not like those zombies, could push you out. Yeah. And I'll show you on my map now. I'll show you, like, where we've, like, where we've been. It's hilarious. So, yeah, I mean, naturally we went for the school spawn, as always, to work with the uh, the West Point spawn for time 16, and then we went to the trio of houses, as always. So on day 30, that's when integration got turned on. 
and almost instantly we got pushed from here down to this spot that lasted for like less than a week and then we got pushed all the way back here that lasted for about another week or two game time and then we got pushed all the way back around to this area and then we managed to stay there for like another week or two but at that point, all the zombies from West Point kind of slammed into the river all at once, because they were all obviously filling up this uh, woodland here. So they all slammed into this one. So we got pushed from here all the way down to the houses down over here. And since then, we've just been pushing them back on this little area here. But we should be in range of Mulder as well, and Ekron from here. So they're all coming from like every direction. Uh, but this should be more or less empty now. And this should be... It shouldn't be empty, but it should have far fewer zombies over there. So once I like, get this one more or less secure, I can start pushing north from here, or I can start pushing east up this way. But yeah, we're getting there. But it's just funny to think that all these guys that we're fighting, they're all from West Point. <laughs> like, fuck it, all of them. It's hilarious. Yeah, they have come a mile and a half to visit us. They are very determined to get their Happy Meal. Nearly 20,000? Oh yeah, we're getting there, aren't we? Yeah, less than a thousand to go. Oh yeah, it, it it's the combination, though. So yeah, it's pinpoint hearing on its own. Oh, that's good fun. It's not too bad. Integration on its own? That's not too bad. It's fun as well. When you combine the two of them together, though, fucking nightmare. Absolute nightmare. <laughs> it's really good fun, though. Really good fun. You've almost killed me, like, a handful of times on this run. Where you've, like, spammed helicopters for too long and I just haven't had any time to recover. It's been quite spicy. Are you a happy meal? I'm a Happy Meal that's been left in the sun too long. I'm a very dry and now bitter Happy Meal. <laughs> and that got quite spicy. It's very <laughs> spicy. Don't forget the part we had to run. Oh, yeah, to a random house. She actually nearly starved me out at one point as well. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because we nearly starved to death on this run. Almost died in my sleep to some zombies by the river on this run. Um, I think those are like the two main ones. But yeah, it's been a very spicy old time. <laughs> yeah, next time check the shit for the sword. <laughs> yes, true. It was a very good find.
Yeah, good stuff. Also, welcome back, Odin. Hello, hello. Yeah, not enough time. Be it was fast as lightning. And it was a little bit frightening. And now, if we go again, I'm trying to work out how many days this is going to take now, but. There was at least, there was 500 minimum by that ambulance. So that's a day. Day and a half of killing. Plus all the other ones that we didn't see come in. Let's just double it. For shits and giggles. So we should have about a thousand at least. From that ambulance now. So that's about three days worth of killing. Like non-sweaty killing, just casual killing. Shouldn't take us too long to get this area wiped out again. And at the end of it, we won't have any zombies, or we won't have many zombies hiding in those trees again. And plenty of targets, yeah, it's gonna be e like easily 20,000 before we wipe this area out again. Yeah, easily. And off we go again. Nice and quick. See, so yeah, it's only five o'clock. Still got time to kill a few more. And don't forget to stretch the legs. No time for stretching. Must kill. Only kill. Forget body. Forget reason. Just, just murder. <laughs> right, let's see if we can get down to this little, uh, this little junction before we start heading back, though. Because that'll be a, a good little milestone for the morning. At <laughs> least crazy survivor, yes. Forget food, no farm, only murder, only stick, only spear. No talk, only kill. I 
Are you still exercising at this point? No, no, we've moved well beyond that point now. For the amount of time that it would take me to do like an hour of exercise, like, let's say hypothetically, like if I did an hour of doing burpees, let's say it got me like 50 fitness experience. If I did an hour of fighting, I would far exceed 50 experience in fitness at this point. So there's no incentive to do any more exercise because I can get more experience just by fighting the zombies. For the same amount of time invested. Go this way. I'm making progress as well because I'm actually clearing parts of the map out. Anyone else's Twitch messed up? Was it just yours? Um, well, it looks all fine on my end. Hey, Funky. Well, come on back. Hello, hello. Off we go again. So we should be able to get past that, uh, that little junction now as well, because there shouldn't be that many in my way. And who knows, after this day, it might be a new key P for our characters. We have been doing nothing but killing for almost the entire day. Too bad. Uh, I lost all my recommended channels. Like, it reset for me. It's probably just an issue on your end. Like, refreshing it. Seems okay now. Yeah, that's fine then. Problem seems to have solved itself.
Just Twitch dying. Just Twitch being twitchy. Just Twitch doing its thing. <laughs> also, let me just quickly check something. Just making sure Twitch isn't dying on my end. Um, nah, it looks fine. Looks a-okay to me. You see something. Finally. Did you make the mistake where you, like, blinked too long? I've done that before. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Black screen for like three, four minutes. Rip. Is your computer also screaming out for help while it's doing so? <laughs> How many tabs do you have open on Chrome? This is a good milestone, though, for tomorrow. Oh, I've still got a little bit of time and a few more spears, though, so let's push a little bit further forward. Respawn off. Race bot is off, so eventually they'll all die. Eventually it will run out. Sooner or later. Uh, but it is time 16 pops, so while respawns are off, it is a considerable amount of zombies. And it does take time to get rid of them. So we've been stuck on this, like, this area for quite some time now. But we're slowly getting there. I can't wait for clearing Louisville, same. I haven't been- I haven't been to Louisville for... ...quite a long time. Yeah, I am drowsy now, so that's my cue. Start heading home. And kill whatever zombies I have around my house. Get some sleep. Play with respawn off, not time 16. And it feels like a lot, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, the higher you set the pop, the more fun it becomes when you turn respawn off, because you can actually clear out towns then. You know, even if you're playing on, like, lower pops, it's just sat satisfying to be able to wipe out entire towns. I like, like, I used to have respawn turned on, but it was, like, really irrational. The reason why I used to play with respawn on, no matter what population I was on, was because I liked the fact that I was never going to run out of zombies. There was always going to be, a, like, another zombie to kill. But it's so irrational. Like, if you're playing on time 16, no one has ever killed that many zombies in a single run. You are not going to run out of zombies. <laughs> it's like, in the back of my mind, it's like, but what if? But what if I do kill over 4 million zombies? <laughs> it's like, so irrational. Yeah, the respawn off is really fun, though. Really fun. Uh, length of your day, just one hour, yeah. Standard one hour days. So I think it's the most balanced. So if you make... If you make the days any longer than that, it, be it becomes a little bit too easy, I think. But if you make it any shorter than that, then it just becomes ridiculously difficult. You don't know true pain until you've tried playing on 15 minute days. That is a... not a good experience. What if you do, though, Lamprey? Then I will shed a tiny, tiny tear that will roll down my cheek in silence, and I will smile. For my job is done, and I no longer have a purpose.
choose two hours. No, that's fair. Yeah, and two hours gives you a lot more time to, like, relax and chill out and do stuff. Burned out. Now I'm enjoying Apocalypse from West Point start. Nah, that's fair. Fair blow. Just gonna have to run far from zombies. Exactly. Like they're all on my doorstep now. It's beautiful. Not that not as far to go each morning. Hello, Zarat. Hello, hello. You seem to understand. Welcome on back. Locked in here with you. <laughs> Zarat at his entrance. You're locked in here with me. That's all good. Yeah, what is my PB currently? Very calmly, very politely, tell the risk assessors to fuck still. off. 495 Let's tell all the risk assessors to fuck off. We are experts, we know what we're doing. Let me adjust my alarm though. Still drowsy. Oh, good stuff. But yeah, I'm just gonna have a little run through today and just see how bad that area is now. So they should have all settled down and formed their little groups of 20. So we'll see how far north we can get before it gets a little bit too spicy. Uh, you feel like two hours is too long, one hour is too short. Naturally, 1.5 hours would be perfect, but alas, it isn't an option. Yeah, the shame there's no middle ground. It just goes up in increments of an hour, but... Yeah, like, two hours I feel like is too much. Like, you have too much time to do stuff. So, you, it, it, it's a bit too easy, I think. Um, But yeah, anything less than that is, like, too hard. So, I think one hour is a good time. I think, I think it's good, personally. But yeah. It's, um... It'd be nice if you could set, like, a custom time, not, like, an exact time. Like, I want X amount of minutes per day. But I assume if, it, if that was possible, they would have done it. And before I carry on, though, I'm just going to pour myself another mug of coffee. And maybe it's maybe it not two hours. You don't have to uh, rush to the base. On from... Oh, to a five, so yeah. I mean... Two hour days is just a lot more forgiving. Because you don't need to get uh, as much food in real time. Like, game-wise, it's exactly the same. Like, in game time, you still need to get the same amount of food per day, same calories, same water, all of that stuff, same sleep. But in real time, you've got twice as much time to do everything. So it's a lot more relaxing, you don't feel that pressure to, like, constantly be doing stuff. You can stand around in your house and just do absolutely fucking nothing with two-hour days. And, um, it's not that bad, because, you know, you know that you have plenty of time. It's why you never see me standing around in my game. I'm always doing something. So I only have an hour per day, so I like to be productive and just constantly be doing something. Even if it's just killing zombies or organizing my loot, I have to be doing something. I don't really like standing around doing nothing in my game. It's 70, 80 minute long. Just give me like a tw yeah, just give me that 10, 10, 20 minute like coffee break. 10 minute like smoke break. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we'll crouch run from here, and it'll be daylight in an hour. But I just want to see how far up the road I can get, like how bad is it? So I have another plan that's been in my back pocket for a while, I just don't know if I want to pull it out yet, but it depends on how many is on this road. 
after what we just did. <laughs> there should be plenty of them. We shouldn't have a shortage of zombies anytime soon. Although, maybe. I don't know, maybe. Because I can see some over there already. So what's someone there? Yeah, some small groups here and there. gonna make me fight while I'm over encumbered, you little turds. Um, no, I'm blind. You're literally right in front of me. There you are. Yes, yeah, we'll have a look at the school bag. All migrating south after the last heli, yeah, maybe. They wouldn't have gone that far south, though, so they, they'd still be, like, within range of, of, of me shouting like in that area like down this way now, there might be a few that have gone a little bit further but they wouldn't have gone that far it just depends like this area might be completely clear it just like honestly depends how many were in that tree line because so we know there was like just over 500 minimum um because when you start seeing the zombies uh, turn into like black silhouettes in an area like you know you cross the 500 threshold like that mark um, but we didn't really have any zombies over here. We didn't have any zombies really from the north. It was just the west and the south, really, like around this area. So we might have cleared most of them out, maybe. Or they might still all be waiting in the field again. <laughs> it depends on where the cell border is, because I can't remember where the where the cell ends. Uh, cause at, like, as I always tell you guys, the zombies can't move from one cell to another, so... Uh, they might just be in a cell close by, just unable to come closer to us. Not many of you there. I'm gonna run past you guys and just go further north. I'm just gonna leave all of you for a minute. And they can cross the surf. They're chasing you. Yeah. So if they if they can see the player or hear the player, and then also meta events as well. So at any meta event, and that like includes gunshots, people screaming, helicopter events, anything like that. That's when they can cross from one cell to another. Uh, but when they're migrating around and they're, like, redistributing, they can't cross over that naturally. Like, it's just an invisible barrier to them. It's why every now and then, like, if you're walking around the world, um, like, if we could pretend like this is the cell, like this was a cell barrier, so this is a cell and then this is a different cell over here. Sometimes you'll be walking around the world and you'll see, like, a line of zombies... And they just look a bit out of place because they're all in a perfectly straight line. And it's just because they're 
they're literally right up against the cell ball, and they can't go any further across, so they're just all in a straight line, <laughs> just looking very out of place. Um, but yeah, that's, that's one way that you can spot them, but usually it's just, you know, going into debug and, you know, memorizing more or less where the cells are. But I don't really have a, I don't really have a reason to memorize this area. I don't, I don't really ever come out here, apart from this exception. <laughs> yeah, it's honestly not, not looking too bad, though, overall. It's not, not too bad. Just an office conga line party, yes. Nothing to see here. Move along. Yeah, like, overall, it's not too bad, honestly. It's kind of back to how it was at the start of the stream. So, yeah, we started out, came down, killed everything, moved the ambulance, made a shit ton of noise, pulled zombies in from further away, and they just replaced the old ones. <laughs> yeah, not too bad. I might try and sneak down to that ambulance on the way back later, though. I might try and set the sirens off again. <laughs> Is there any map with the cell info? Was it just in debug? Uh, just through debug. I don't think anyone's ever made a map online. Um, which I'm surprised, because it is really good information to know. It's just, you know, you're not going to really memorize it. But, um, but yeah, it, it, it is good to know, and I don't know, maybe I might make it at some point, because it wouldn't take that long to make, honestly. Can you see the grid when pressing the map? No. So, when you have your map open, I... Zooming out doesn't do anything. Zooming all the way doesn't do anything. But when you have undiscovered areas, you'll see there's like a lot of squares all over the place. Uh, that's just like a fill-in texture. It doesn't actually relate to the cells themselves. It's just there for the sake of being there. And you see that the online map has a grid overlay. Does it? Let me have a look. If it does, I've never noticed it, and that's really good if it does actually have that. Because that's really important information to have. Like, for a new player, it means absolutely nothing, but once you get into that part of the game, it's like, it's really good to know. Let's have a quick gander. Is there a grid overlay? Uh... Oh yeah, overlay grid. It... Doesn't seem... Oh no, it does do something. Oh, that is yeah, fuck that is faint as hell. I can't. I can barely see that. Uh, let me see. Are you accurate? Uh, it looks accurate. No, that is accurate. Yeah, no, that's fair. I recognize. I'm looking at Westport at the moment. I can see where the cell for the river, just it just encompasses a very small amount of the riverbank. That's accurate. No, fair enough. Oh, seeing as I have this map open, then let me have a cheeky old gander at my area. <laughs> okay, so that's where the border is. Oh, that's... Oh, that's so cheesy where we are. Oh, let me... I'll pull it up on screen so you can see what I'm looking at. Um, so that is, uh... It ain't easy being <laughs> cheesy. By chance, we just happened to have picked a really good house to be in. 
So we're down here at the moment on this road over here. Uh, so the cell border, like these, these are the lines here, these yellow lines. These are the cell borders. Uh, we're living in this house currently. So yeah, they can't get to me without me making noise. And anything on the road can't come down to me either, unless there's noise. And there's nothing really south of us either, so... We are in a very good place. And it's a good thing that we went here instead of those houses. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a tactical choice, that was just dumb luck. <laughs> uh, but yeah. That explains why all those zombies in the tree line over here aren't coming out to us constantly, because it's just where the cell border ends here. That makes sense. Oh, fair enough. It's good, good info. I never noticed that though on the PZ map. I never noticed there was an, uh, a grid, a grid map. It's very useful. But yeah, didn't notice it at first. I was clicking on it. Could barely fucking see it. Yellow is a terrible color for the grid. <laughs> Blends in far too well with the green. some of you in there and yeah i'll just cook these ones up really quickly and then we'll go do some killing and i'll come back out here uh, later on at prime time and we'll do some more fishing then but i want to try and use up some of these spears early on so i can carry more fish back with me later Uh, so you tried starting in Raven Creek, time 16, almost 20 times, haven't survived once. Rip. I've heard tales of Raven Creek on time 16. I've not tried it, though. Mm -hmm. Any star for effort. Gonna start in Rosewood, get a sledge, then go to, uh, then go to the creek after. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, what, what's the pop of Raven Creek on time 16? I don't normally, like, get that in... Like that in depth with the modded maps because they change so often. Oh yeah, what is the um, what's the current pop for that area on time sixteen then? Thirty nine K times one, that's fucking insane. <laughs> that's insane. that's like that's more than Louisville then. Unless you missed a six. <laughs> like times one. Are you sure thirty nine thousand times one? That's insane. That's an insane number. Wall to wall zombies. It sounds like it. Yeah, because yeah, that, that is more than Louisville. And it's a smaller town as well. <laughs> That's hilarious. What's oh, so hello, Etty. How's it going? Yeah, it's all good. Chilling and killing as always. We're about to hit the 20,000 mark tomorrow, game time. We're doing very well. Too hard to get, yeah, get into buildings. Yeah, I mean, you'd struggle, you struggle, you would struggle to do that in Rosewood as well. Like, starting on time 16, it kind of forces you to go out of the towns immediately on day one. 
Where's Raven Creek on the map? Oh, Raven Creek is all the way... Let me pull up my map. Last time I checked, Raven Creek... It used to be here, didn't it? I don't know if it's moved any further out by now, but I know it used to be, like, it's somewhere in this area, I'm sure. But it used to have, like, a coastline and everything uh, on the edge of the map. I don't know if it's moved or anything like that since then, since the, the map's been extended. Raven Creek, at times we've seen almost impossible. Sounds like a challenge. <laughs> All the spawns... Oh, you always spawn on the roof, do you? Okay, yeah, that might be impossible then. <laughs> Maybe. I might have to have a look at Raven Creek, though, because I keep hearing stories about it, but I've never actually tried it. Does sound very interesting, though. Yeah, except once. You had a spawn in the middle of nowhere. Instantly bit before loading. Good start, then. Great start. Times 1 you can survive easy, uh, times 16 you just die. That sounds about right. I might download the, the mod tonight. Like, I'm not going to put it on this save, but I might just make a throwaway game when I'm offline. And just run around and debug and have a look at the town and see what it actually looks like. Just so I have, like, a better frame of reference for when you talk about it. So I know Raven Creek's, like, it has the reputation of being quite difficult on harder settings, but I didn't realize it was that bad. Let's try and find everyone around this area now. So I don't really care where they come from, I just want to get rid of a lot of these spears. Reach winter, kind of miss fishing. <laughs> Alas. You want to find that premium rated A star fishing rod. Live the good life. Catch all the pikes. Have to go. No worries, Rex. I'll catch you later. Appreciate you dropping by. Yeah, remember, don't trust the ambulance. Of course. Never trust again.
Uh, you remember one sort of dead orange kid on the sidewalk and ants were eating it. It was horrible. A dead orange... Wait, what? <laughs> nice, I guess. <laughs> oh, cat, not kid. I was like, what the fuck are you want about? <laughs> it's like, yes. It was the summer 1979. I remember George, the ginger kid from the street. <laughs> he lay motionless on the curb, the ants eating his flesh. I feel like I'm getting a fucking like, narration from like some psychopath's journal. <laughs> a casual murder confession in chat. Does the mask make you feel cooler? God damn right. I like to imagine like all the herbs and spices he has stuffed in that beak. Just the rotting smell of all the bodies and he's just there like, mmm, herbs and spices all day. I bet his mask smells lovely. You know, apart from all the face sweat. Because <laughs> he never takes it off. I bet he's got like a fucking layer of gunk on his face. Probably why he never takes it off actually. Probably can't physically get it off. It's just glued to his face now permanently. I'd feel more cool with a mask like this. I think the novelty of it would wear off after like an hour or two. Imagine wearing a leather mask while you're doing like... You're doing some high intensity cardio for like an hour or two. That mask has got to get pretty humid. And I don't see any ventilation. <laughs> Does the mask protect you from getting cold sickness? No, nah, it's just that's, it's just cosmetic. So, technically, in the game, it's a pair of glasses. It's not actually a mask in game. It's just a, it's the same as reading glass. Well, not reading glasses, but like sunglasses. Same item type. <laughs> I like I have to specify. Are you my mummy? <laughs> it's like yeah, Doctor Who, Doctor Who. I swear. <laughs> yeah, creepy little gas mask kid. Fantastic. It's just badass. Oh, playing playing doctors are absolutely fucking wicked. They are so badass, but not for the reason that you think. They are badass because they survived some of the worst plagues in history by fucking chance. And I love that. Because they wore all their, like, they wore their getup and all their gear. And they stuffed their beak with herbs and spices because they thought that was going to stop them from getting infected. And they, they had, like, the right method. They just didn't have the right theory. <laughs> like, so they survived because they were, like, they were covered head, head to toe with all this equipment. So they were never, like, hands-on with the actual plague. But the herbs and spices had nothing to do with it. It had no benefit. They just smelled nice. <laughs> so I love that. I love how they just happened to stumble across the right answer. I think that's hilarious. And they'll never know, because they're all dead. <laughs> they would, they'll never know that they, they were all secretly geniuses. Yes, I enjoy the stab, but I do miss the bonk. Wise words. A plague was wiped out. All of Europe is scary. That and it's hilarious. It is hilarious in all the wrong ways. Who would win? 
one of the most successful continents in the entire world at the time, or one spicy fucking rat boy? <laughs> the answer may surprise you. Never knew you could do that with a chair. Oh, well, like, sit down on the chair. Yeah, you can get your stamina back a little bit faster. So you can get your stamina back just by sitting on the ground normally, like this. Uh, but it's about 25% faster if you rest on the chair at the same time. So that's why I'm carrying this chair uh, in my bag with me. Just so I can pop up my stamina nice and speedy, like... Yeah. Added benefit as well, I also get the action... Uh, the action bar as well, so I can see exactly when I'm fully rested. Mass death by plague that destroyed families and forever changed history. Banter. <laughs> That's not, not not a bad plague, is it? No, it's just a spicy rat, isn't it? <laughs> That's enough of rats just having a little bit of a laugh, isn't it? Just a cheek, che cheeky joke, you know? <laughs> What's a few million dead amongst friends? Why doesn't your cat get panicked? Uh, two, two different things. First and foremost, I am running the Brave trait. So Brave gives you a minus 70% to your panic. Uh, so I recover faster after being panicked, and I also don't get panicked as much when zombies come within range of my character. And then second, uh, the longer you survive, the less prone your character is to panicking. I think it maxes out after five months, but the longer you stay alive, uh, the less effect zombies have on you, like making your panic up scream constantly and we've been alive for three months and nine days so we're kind of getting close now to that cap where my character is at his uh, least prone to panicking Yes the, yes, the herbs in my beak, yes. <laughs> when in doubt, give the herbs in my beak credit. That's, I don't know. It's like, how does this, how does this work? I don't know, fucking herbs and spices. I ain't gotta explain shit. <laughs> it must be the colonel's secret recipe that's living in my beak. I won't tell you what herbs and spices I run in my build. That is for good knowledge. What does time 16 mean? Uh, that's the population number, so... The population number, well, the population multiplier just dictates how many zombies are in your world. So, we are on time 16, which is the maximum number. So that's a 4x4 four four game, so... Times 4 population, and then the peak pop, peak, ah, peak pop multiplier is times 4 as well, which gives us time 16. And for reference, just so you have an idea of, like, how many zombies that is, the default setting, or the default population, is the Apocalypse setting, and the Survivor setting, which is 1.5. So we're running about just over 10 times the amount of zombies as Apocalypse, more or less. Is infection on? Yeah, always. Always have infection on. Keeps things fun, then. If I had infection off, I would very rarely die. The only thing that... Well, the only thing that really ever gets me in the end is either my... computer has a malfunction, or... I get dragged down by the zombies. And sometimes it's a combination of both of those things. So I normally just die instantly. Um, uh, outside of infection, that is.
Uh, never be not funny to me how you walk on the zombies. They become more, more 2D than they already are. I just glide gleefully. He's just, he's so nimble right now. He doesn't need to balance at all. He just always, he's like one of those auto stabilizing cameras that just never go off balance. They're just always pointed in the right direction at all times. <laughs> But it is prime time to fish, so let's run on back to the river and go get some food. Because I used up a few of my spears, so I have some room in my bag now. Carry some fish later. Did you say infection is on? Yep, normal infection. So scratch, lacerations, and bites. All, all on the default normal setting. God walks on water. <laughs> God walks on water and I walk on dead bodies. Yes, the blood of my enemies. And a little adjustment to that as well. I'm I am not as beta as Jesus, okay? I don't walk, I stride. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that thing with the chair. With your last oh your last character died, yeah. It's stamina management is like one of the big things to learn like early on. Like if you if you want to practice anything to get like last longer in the game, managing your fatigue and your stamina, those are like two of the big ones. If you master that early on, you'll do so much better. Combat's not too complicated. Like most people can get like get the hang of uh, how the isometric view works and when to swing, when to walk away. Like that doesn't take too long to get used to. Um, but if you don't manage your stamina properly and you let yourself get too exerted, that snowballs so quickly. And um, if you leave it too late to the point where it's like, oh, I'm going to try and run away from the zombies now, but you're already at like excessive exertion. It's like, oh, well, getting away from the zombies at excessive exertion is always considerably harder than when you're uh, only on moderate exertion. And then it just snowballs to the point where you just have maximum exertion, maximum fatigue, and you just... You can't run. You can only walk. It's a really sad time. It's not a, uh, not a fun time. <laughs> Beta Jesus. There he is. I was wondering how long it was going to take you to catch up. No, but we didn't catch that many fish, so I'm not going to stay here and cook them. I'll just take them back with me now. Yeah, why not? Alright, so let's run all the way back home, and then tomorrow we'll we'll probably come out to the river again because I'll need some more food. But um, I'll make an effort to kill some more zombies on the way out. And I'll try and pop that ambulance again as well, just to try and congregate all the zombies to one in one zone. What's my kill count on now? 19,700. That's not too bad. So yeah, we should hit 20,000 tomorrow game day. You're getting... Yeah, 264. That shouldn't be too difficult. Hmm. 
We've definitely got to set up a new fishing spot, though, a little bit closer on that road. <laughs> Quite a long run. Maybe yeah, let me just check something again. And I'm probably going to go stretch my legs as well, because I've been sat down for like five hours now. I haven't really gone for any breaks yet. So I just want to stretch my legs before I get a blood clot in my thigh. <laughs> let me just do my checks. Yeah, we're all fine. Right, I'll be back in less than two minutes. Right. And I'm back. I was going to say, where's my music? There he is. And off we go again. Oh, good stuff, right in front of a group of zombies. Um. Nah, it's 10 o'clock, I gotta go. I need my rest. I'll kill you all tomorrow. And... On the way back now as well, I might have a little run through the field, maybe. So I just want to have a, like, a little bit of a gander. And just see how empty it actually is. Because we know the road's not too bad. Like, you know, there are still zombies around here, but it's not that many. And besides, this route is more direct as well, so it's a little bit faster. It is fucking empty. <laughs> uh, so that cell over there is pretty good. There's a few over here. Okay. This still isn't looking too bad, though. You know, I think we can put a big old dent in this num in like this area tomorrow. Like I'll definitely use the ambulance because running around randomly is going to take too long. So tomorrow we'll run out to the ambulance, set that one off, get them all in one big area, and then uh, after we kill the first group, they'll disperse and they'll spread around the area again. But um, it'll pull everyone in from like the surrounding areas in all the adjacent cells as well. So we're trying to finish up with this zone now, so I can push back and start moving into a new zone, preferably north. Try and claim more of the river back so I have more places to fish. If uh, the worst comes to the worst. gonna kill you. Uh, actually, am I gonna kill you? I am. Yeah. I just need to top up my...
stamina a little bit before I carry on running. I'm going to hit high exertion soon. Yeah, it's not that many of you. I'll do. And yeah, we're still only drowsy, so that's fine. Yeah, that should be enough. <laughs> I probably still lost stamina because all the fighting we just did, but still. That should be enough to get me home now. And yeah, now we need less than 250 kills. Fantastic. So we, we did 255 kills today. So we, we spent most of the day just fishing. So as long as we just do whatever we did today, tomorrow, boom, done. 20,000 kills. And that will be the third thousand. Yeah, 3,000 kills for the stream. So we just got to double that number then. 3,000 more. And then, yeah, believe us win. Which, to be fair, it might actually be a close one today, because we're on the halfway mark for the stream as well. You know, we are five hours in, and I'm a little bit behind. So, yeah. Spicy times. Cook those two in the morning. We're tired now, so let me give you five, six hours. It's not much, but it won't take that long to cook, so that's fine. And while that one cooks, I can sort my spears out. Is there any evacuation direction for Rosewood at spawn? Oh, so what? If you're, if you're playing on, like, time 16, a place to run. Um, like, just straight north. So, the worst direction you can go is south. You know, down towards the farmlands. There's zombies all the way down there. Uh, so you're not gonna... You're never gonna find anywhere that's, like, super safe in that direction. Um, but yeah, northwest and directly north. You've got the barracks straight north of you. Uh, only a handful of zombies spawn in that area, so it's quite chilled out. And then you've got the farmhouses northwest. As far as I remember, nothing spawns in that area, so it's a really easy spot. And then if you go northeast, you'll find more zombies on the highway, and that's out towards Moldra as well, so that's not worth going towards. <laughs> Explain your last poor choice, North got it, yeah. I'll show you on the map in a second. So 
So yeah, if you're in Rosewood, um, you want to try and head directly up to this area here. So you'll have zombies that spawn around this area and all of that stuff, but the cell around this zone... On time 16, it's only like 100 or 200. It's really... It, it's... Well, for time 16, it's basically nothing. Uh, so you just have to deal with the zombies that spawn in the houses. And there's a good chance for a military backpack as well, which is nice. Uh, but the easier option are the farmhouses out in this direction over here. So as far as I remember, all of these farmhouses, they don't have any zombies in the cell. So it's completely empty, apart from, you know, obviously the, the house zombies. But yeah, if you go south, all the zombies. You go southwest, all the zombies. You go southeast, all the zombies. <laughs> you go directly west. Not all the zombies, but a lot of the zombies. And then if you go directly west, fucking nothing. But spoiler, there are zombies. <laughs> so yeah, north is really like your only option. Um, but uh, where's that bloody cabin in the woods? No, not you. That's further north, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's a bit far away. Um, but yeah, if you want to go somewhere closer to Mulder, you have this little area out here. No zombies spawn in that area, and the lakes aren't too far away. But it will get slapped when the first heli event comes around. You went straight south, yeah, that's a bad time. <laughs> yeah, there's not really many... Not really any places down there to hide. Yeah, so let's go do our killing, go set the ambulance siren off, and... and then we'll go and do some fishing in the evening. That sounds like a plan. So yeah, I won't do any early fishing today. We're not going to do that immediately. I'll do all the killing first and then, you know, then fishing in the evenings. Now that I know the river's still clear, I don't have to focus on that as much. Like, well, immediately anyway. Who knows? If we manage to clear out this area down here at some point, might even end up using that siren as well. Who knows? It's a little bit close to my house for the time being, though. <laughs> Try and make sure that we get all the guys over here first. Before I, uh, sabotage my own home. Right, but let me do the ambulance first. So it should be straight northwest. More or less about here. So we'll just cut straight through straight through over here. And it's very quiet so far, but it'll be good to do though, because we'll be able to um be able to see how many we actually managed to get through. Let's see if we get the black silhouettes again. See if there's five hundred or more zombies still lurking around. Oh, if we're nearing the end game with this area.
golden. So yeah, we're all reset again. And up we go. Yeah, it's not too bad for the most part, though. Just the odd group here and there. Nothing, uh... Nothing super concerning, honestly. Not yet, anyway. So yeah, it should be straight northwest from this corner piece here, more or less. Nah, we'll wait for all of them. Why not? Maybe we'll gotta die eventually. Spear. Why not? Let's, let's drag you over here where I can find the body in a moment. You like the song? Oh, it's a great PZ song. <laughs> yeah, the amount of times this song has come on while it's raining in the game, I don't believe it to be a coincidence anymore. I think my soundtrack is... my playlist is mocking me. Yeah, but that's number 602. Did you go towards my kill count? I didn't see you go on my kill count. That's on the wrong one, that's why. Why do you keep doing that? It keeps resetting itself for some reason, that's really annoying. There we go. Shame, shame on him. Yeah, we should be able to make it to the ambulance now, because it's not that much further. And there can't be that many more in my way. And I've already gone through almost half my quota for the day anyway, so... <laughs> not doing too bad overall. Where are you hiding? I'll ignore you for a minute. Find the ambulance first. There he is. Alright, so let's grab all of you first. Kill all of you. Have a rest. Set the sirens off. Live the dream. Happy days.
Let me just set you up here. And I'll just kill everyone who's close by first, just to uh, make it easy on myself. Uh, why when I point a zombie I don't see the red circle around them? Which option is it? Oh, that's under display. So if you press escape, and then go to options, and then display, it is right at the top. So under cursor, aim outline. So by default it's set to ranged weapons. Uh, so it'll only work with your firearms. But if you set it to any weapon, then it's melee weapons and firearms. So it's a, uh, it makes everything a lot clearer. You know exactly which zombie you're targeting then. It's a very, very good thing to turn on. 
I always recommend it. It's a very good feature. Because the game can be very misleading sometimes on which zombie you're about to hit. <laughs> and it's always really awkward when you think you're about to hit this zombie, but instead you slap the guy next to him instead. And you're like, oh, well, that threw my rhythm off a little bit. Oh, good. Number coming from the south. Good stuff. Yeah, it looks like you were right, Nox. A lot of them did go south. Chasing after that heli you called in earlier. <laughs> Someone else called the other one, yeah. After, yeah, after I got out of range of the siren, yeah, you fucking... Yeah, you little shits. It's still coming from the east as well. Fantastic. I don't want to run too far away, because if I go too far away, the ambulance will unload. And I want to try and get them all in one area first. Just so I can get like a really good accurate accounting of how many there are. Happy 20,000. Oh, yeah, good stuff. And you passed that 20k mark. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, overall, it's not... It's honestly not looking that bad so far. Like, it's still a big number, but it's not that many. But they are still, like, making their way in slowly. And yeah, they are taking their time. <laughs> Stop lurking, going to bed, no worries. Well, I appreciate you dropping by and lurking for a bit. Have a good sleep, and I'll catch you later. Before I run away completely, let me have a look. So there's still like a lot of them coming in, but how bad is it so far? 
Uh, it's less than 500 at least. Yeah, I'm not going to hang around. Time for me to skedaddle. Uh, but the second we get out of, like, range, they'll all redistribute around this zone again. But at least I have, like, a reasonable idea as to how many there are. I mean, that looks to be, like, the last of it, more or less. I don't really see anyone else coming up from this area. That seems to be all of it. Yeah, not too bad at all. So I think, like, next, uh... Three or four days game time, we should be done in this area, I reckon. Because that didn't, that wasn't 500 zombies. And we can kill several hundred each day, so. I think we might be done. Bit too early to say, but I mean, it's looking good. But he's still in range, so that's fantastic. So I'll go have another look now. Now that they're all in one area together, I should be able to have a proper look. So it's a bit dodgy trying to have a look while I'm surrounded by zombies. <laughs> trying to keep an eye, on, trying to have a look at the group and keep an eye on my character at the same time. A little bit awkward. Wasn't there like sixty thousand? Yeah, it's like fifty to seventy thousand. Like this won't be the last of West Point. This is just the last of the ones in this area specifically. But because we're so far away from West Point, they're spread out over, like, a really large area now. I don't know why you guys are staying down there. So yeah, we've still got a lot to go before we wipe out the entirety of West Point. But, um, yeah, for this area, this is really good. Because now we can start pushing them back into town, you know. We've kind of... We haven't finished them off, but we broke the back of them now. Yeah, like you say, like one third of the way there. Also, hello, Gaffer. Welcome on in. There's tons of them. It looks like a lot, but it's not too bad in, like, the grand scheme of things. Like, it's over 500, because we can see the silhouettes of some of the zombies now. So it's over 500 at least. But overall, it's not too bad, honestly. Yeah, I'll claim the beach house again, yes. Gonna retake some territory sooner or later. You're guessing around 723, so you reckon once I get to, what, 20,000, well, say 20,800, you reckon. <laughs> you reckon we'll be done. Yes, hoping. I can get that number within... Three days, guaranteed, but within two days, comfortably. Yeah, I get like, the group around the ambulance, yeah. It, it's pretty much all of them around this immediate area. If I was a betting man, I'd say we probably have to kill up to 21,000 as our overall number. I reckon 21,000 will be more or less done in this area. Like, there'll still be like the odd zombie here and there, but I think overall we'll be uh, pretty much square with this zone. 
and then we'll be able to move around freely and push a little bit further. Let's have a good look at you now. Yeah, because I reckon there's probably like a thousand or so there. Also, the sirens have turned off now, so they're going to start like spreading out again. So I am going to fuck off north for a minute and go do my fishing. And I'll run past you all later. But they're all going to spread out through the cell over here now. But that works out for me. What did I walk into? Progress. You walked into progress, my friend. <laughs> yeah, we're just rounding up, like, trying to round up the last of the zombies in these cells, like this area, so we can move on and start going elsewhere. But uh, I still reckon there's about a thousand or so. But we've been trying to pull them out of these, uh, these tree lines close by. Appreciate the resub as well. Cheeky old heli. So that's number 171 there. And he's going from, yeah, southwest to northeast, so he won't bother me. Oh, northwest, rather. That's fine. <laughs> Rescue your love, exactly. Gotta get back and see Rebecca again. Does the exertion damage re uh, reduce apply to spears? Yeah, it applies to everything. All the melee weapons. Yeah, it's a flat rate for all everything. Yeah, normal, just, just your average, average lamprey clearing the neighborhood. I'm doing my part. I'm a good Kentucky man, okay? I care about my community. Do you feel safe sleeping at your fishing spot? I would feel safe. Like, there's not that many zombies in this area. I'm not going to, though, because, you know, negative sleeping effects of being on a chair. But, uh, yeah, if I really had to, I wouldn't mind sleeping out in this area again. And I got ten minutes until my fishing prime time. How's my frame rate doing, actually, after all this blood? My frame rate's still at 60, surprisingly. I thought my frame rate would have started to tank by now after we've killed like 20,000. Surprised that it's still holding steady. Prime time. No worries, though. And I don't mind those guys. They'll catch up to me, and I can kill them when I start fishing. Yeah, there's a few of you out there. Yeah, let me get rid of all of you now. Oh, yeah, it's Techno. Uh, soon to be a new water I could play for, hopefully. You yeah, know, I've still got a, a twist on fire is likely to beat my record very soon, because I think he's on 220 now. But he's getting about five to 10,000 per stream, so he should beat my world record within the next, like, month or so. And then whatever he gets, we'll try and beat that afterwards. But uh, yeah, it's all going really well at the moment. And we're almost on track to start really pumping out the kills every stream. Because at the moment, we're only really being held back by our fitness level. And that's like the main thing. Well, our fitness level and our lack of vehicles, like our lack of equipment. But, um... We've almost got our first town wiped out. Like, we're getting close to the halfway point for West Point. So that's going very well. Yeah, let me get you a little shout-out. Yep, for those of you who haven't seen Beaver before, shame on you. Definitely go check him out, throw him a follow, and have a look at him. He's normally online uh, about 
20 or 30 minutes, like, after I finish my stream. So it's, like, perfect timing to switch from one to another. Yeah, definitely go check him out. How have your streams been going, though? Who's the new character? I haven't been able to drop by for the last uh, few streams. It's I think uh, the last time I asked, you reported that the, the general had sadly passed away. <laughs> I don't know, who is the new champion? with fish recently. Give me, I'll give you another hour. This sucks. Yeah, I guess we'll have to come back out tomorrow then. Yeah, let me make the run all the way back now. Unless we kill him. Uh, going with a serious playthrough. Trying to beat your PB side of the time. Oh, okay. Cool stuff. It's Siri as well. <laughs> oh, good stuff. How is, uh, what is your PB? How is it going so far then? Also, appreciate the resub as well. Tenazil. Happy days. 13 months now. I think that's 173, I think. Uh, two months, 15 days is the longest you've done on stream. And you're about 15 days in on this one. Based in Rosewood. Okay, fair play. And you're clearing out the town, you're doing, like, you're doing crowbars, going long blunts. Fair enough. Well, hopefully you and Siri get a new PB then. Happy days. Go for that three month. Absolutely not. <laughs> That's a fucking no. I don't think that's going to happen. Ah, uh, it will run around the long way. <laughs> Fucking Tedazil. <laughs> you know, I, look, I looked up from the ground, I was like, wait, you guys shouldn't be there. That's good, though, because we know it's not too bad. It's only like a thousand or so, and they won't follow me all the way down here. So I'll leave most of you around this mark. I'll probably sleep on the chair now, now that you've done that. <laughs> And in, in the morning, I'll probably run through the tree line down there, or we'll try and sneak through over there. But we'll play it by ear. I'll have to see uh, how spicy things are in the morning. If we survive until the morning. Yeah, there is a lot of you down there. But I'm going to run really far east now. Well, east. Really far west now. Yeah, just congrats on this. Yeah, instantly see a bunch of zombies. Wow, you went up a sneaking level. What a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, the second I see a group like that, ash the grass, crawl away. Just push, yeah, just push through. It'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? That's quite, you know, quite a significant number of slightly upset community members. They don't approve of me putting my ambulance in the in the field. They'll gather around to awe and take in the spectacle, but the second the sirens go off, they are very, very upset. Yeah, I'm not going to stay here, though, because I'll get sick. There's too many bodies there as well.
bit. Shouldn't be anyone around this area. Yeah, I hate sleeping on chairs. It's horrible for my fatigue. Ag agitate a bunch of those city folk. <laughs> Turn my alarm off as well. Yep, yeah, and we are cold, but that's fine. But yeah, I don't like sleeping like that, because my character's gonna get tired really fucking quickly today after that, but... Necessary evil. As long as I stay alive, that's all that matters. We can't always have perfect days. <laughs> but, silver lining, we're right next to the river, so I can do some more fishing immediately. <laughs> so, there's that. <laughs> How goes the stream? I know, you chairs. Not a tent. No, no tent. I wasn't fortunate enough to get a tent. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, we're still staying alive. Still chilling and killing. Crossed over the 20,000 mark. And we're getting close to wiping out the last of this area. We've been rounding up the last few of them with an ambulance. And it seems to be... Around the 1,000 mark. Give or take. Uh, for, like, this cell and the adjacent cells around that area. So we're winning with them, slowly. We are filling them out, but we just got pushed back a little bit, because I was doing some fishing, and a helicopter got called in after I made a big old spicy group. And so, yeah, there's a little bit of a blockade in my way, but that's fine. Because it's been a few hours now, so they'll, they'll have settled down, and they'll have, uh, separated themselves into groups as well so it'll be easy to run past them in theory on paper at least but now how are you doing storage and also let me get you a shout out and i shouldn't have to reiterate it same as techno beaver but if you haven't seen raw storage before shame on you definitely go check him out definitely worth having a follow up that's a very similar style of streaming and play style in Zomboid to myself, so if you like what I'm doing, you'll like what he's doing. But now, how is, uh, how is your run been going as well? What are you up to in yours? Cause I know you said you passed your PB, you passed the 135 mark. And... You were doing, I think, smaller games for the time being, like little challenge runs. Doing Subnautica as well, are you? Fair play. Never played Subnautica. It looks fun, though. It looks very fun. It's spooky. Very spooky. do and i'll sort my first and such out later but i want to start pushing the zombies first because i want to start filling them out and before i do that though just make some uh make a handful of spears very quickly so i'm running very low on weapons
here. One more should do. Uh, you pass your PB. You're messing with some random challenges. See if there's anything interesting. Also done two streams of Subnautica. Fair play. Have you found any interesting challenges then recently? Or has it been a little bit, uh, a little bit lackluster? So it's kind of hard to find anything, like, challenging once you've done time 16 and you've done runs as long as yours. <laughs> There's quite a few of you over here. All right. Mostly bouncing, um, mostly bouncing, honestly. Do some cryogenic winter. Not allowed to use a building. I'm not allowed to use building loot. Zombie loot, foraging. Ah, oh, so like just a no loot run then. <laughs> oh no, sorry, you're only allowed to use building loot. No zombie loot, foraging, fishing. Oh, okay, so it's just a scavenging run then. Complete opposite of what I just said. <laughs> no, fair enough. That's interesting. And you're playing the game how it used to be. Yeah, no renewable resources. Very spicy. So how many spears did I just make? I think I did three, didn't I? It's so at 6.05 now. Good timing. And that should be pretty much everyone. But let me throw my chair down here for a moment. And it was very interesting. Not sure something I'd do more than... Yeah. Uh, do more... Just point a thing... Oh. To the point that thing is stabilized, yeah. No, that makes sense. Oh, as if the gods can hear my cry for help, they have given me a kanene. Thank you very kindly, RNG gods. Much appreciated. Uh, it was only in same pot. Felt very quiet. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> like, what's the pot? Time 6. What do you usually play on? Time 16. It's like, oh. There's a little bit of a difference between those numbers. There seems to be a lot of empty space in my game all of a sudden. I might do a challenge at some point. I might go back to, like, Apocalypse population and see if I can speedrun, like, the entire map. 
<laughs> like, not the entire time, map, but speed run the towns. Like, how quickly could you do it? Because I think 1.5, there's only like 5 to 10,000 in West Point, I think. It's like, so we would have done that one like twice over by now. Like, I wonder how quickly you could wipe out the map on that pub. If you like went all out with it. Like, how quickly could you get that done? So, I mean, if doing like the exterior of the map as well, it'd still be like 400,000 overall for the entire map, but I don't know. Kind of curious now. That the loot and scoot time 16 would be unarmed combat until my shoes broke. Then a bad time. Yeah. You just wouldn't be able to keep up with the numbers, would you? Far too many for the lack of weapons. Yeah, turn off spawns, no other changes, yeah, and then just see how far you go. Because, I mean, you, you wouldn't have to do, like, anything that, that'd be renewable. Because Apocalypse has... Extre no, not extremely rare, just rare loot, I think. So you'd be able to blitz it. Honestly, like, you just focus on combat, and combat exclusively, not even, like, no water, no food, nothing else, just combat. That'd be quite funny. Yeah, appreciate the follow as well, Hodgam. Welcome on in. I can imagine like it's just a blurry full ton of Riverside in like a month. I don't even think it well like for your first month, yeah, but I think you could probably do an entire town, like a single stream. Honestly. <laughs> the amount of time like the amount of time that I put, like the amount of hours I stream in a single uh, sitting. The amount of hours that you stream in a single sitting, I think or like like either one of us, plus a lot of other people, they could probably do towns just in a single stream. Like, West Point would be, like, the bigger one, you know, with Louisville being the exception. And I think that if you could, you know, I think you could do Louisville, uh, West Point. If you could do, if you could do West Point, you could do all of them. Like, you could do Ekron probably in a matter of, uh, a couple of hours, probably. Yeah, a mod to show how many zombies are in the cell, that would be a really good mod. That would be very useful. It'd be hard to take advantage of that information, though, to know when you're safe or when you're in danger, but... It would be, uh... It would be good to know that you've gotten all the zombies then. Rather than, you know, having to load your game up in debug or something. Grab all of you. The town was taking yeah, no, nah, fair play, like it's just cause I like killing. But that's the only reason it would be so fast. <laughs> like, I normally just focus on killing predominantly. Like everything else has become more of like an afterthought as of late. Now you could probably do it really quickly as well. But I tend not to uh, spend too much time base building anymore. So all of my time is taken up murdering things.
Then you get corpse sickness in the house from all the bodies outside. Uh, last time I checked, you can't. But, uh... If I'm wrong on that, your character's gonna die, so don't take my word for it. <laughs> you know. Easy way to test it would be to get your character, like, no like queasy, but not nauseous, but get him very close to going up a level. Like, get him very close to becoming nauseous. And, uh, step inside a house, and then see if you re start recovering or not. From, uh, being away from the zombies outside. But if you carry on getting sick, and you go all the way to nauseous, and then, you know, a little bit further, yeah, you'll know that the house is no longer safe. But yeah, last time I checked there, the houses are separate. So, bodies inside the house will make you sick if you're in there, but if you're outside, they have, they have no effect. And then vice versa, if the bodies are outside, but you're inside, they have no effect. But I haven't looked into that under a microscope for a very long time. Haven't had a need to, honestly. I think garbage bags aren't rare. Nah, garbage bags aren't that bad. Especially on extremely rare. If you just check all the dumpsters, you normally find, like, on, on extremely rare and insanely rare, you'll normally find a, a garbage bag in every single bin. Like, every bin in every dumpster normally has one garbage bag. It's only really if you start installing the, the worst loot mods that reduce it even further that you don't find that many. Uh, but I'm playing on Insanely Rare, I see them all, all the time. Which some of the vanilla loot settings at the moment on the, the lowest. Or the lowest, <laughs> that isn't none. And, uh, yeah, we still find tons of garbage bags when we're looking for them. We need to clean up with no plan to come back past- yeah, that's- yeah, same- same mentality. You switched off Q because <laughs> you're, yeah, get misclicking. No, fair play. I hear a lot of people do that. I couldn't do that myself. I, I need Q too much. I do too much shouting. I, uh, I couldn't get rid of it. And I can't think of anything I'd rebind it to either. Q is just super convenient. I do misclick every now and then. I do, uh, tap it by mistake when I'm switching to my spear on my back because it's right between the directional keys and the one key for my, uh, my back weapon. But, um, never really happens in, like, an op inopportune time. It's normally pretty bearable. Doesn't make too much of a difference if I do it by mistake. Is the F1 being a useful key to rebind? Yeah, I probably wouldn't use it. It's a bit too far out of reach. I'm trying to, like, reach for it now. I've got to, like, stretch my hand up a little bit to hit it with my ring finger. Not a, uh, not a big fan of that. I like, like, I don't like moving my hand from, like, WASD. I like having my fingers on those keys at all times so I can move without any hesitation. <laughs> but I don't like having to stretch my hand to the top. It's why I don't use the F keys the speed of time. And I just use these buttons here. I just, I don't like, uh... I don't like having to sacrifice potential movement. My muscle memory for keyboards is terrible. It is not a... Uh, it is not a good skill of mine.
No, still not doing too bad. And that looks fine to me as well. See, so yeah, I just grabbed these last few here, and I'll go back and just do some fishing now because I'm hungry. Let's get my get some food. stuff. So yeah, I'll just spend the rest of the day just fishing now, I guess. I think my weight's down to, what, like 73, 72? 73 still. So yeah, we're just below uh, the healthy mark, so we are underweight. But that's okay. Doesn't make too much of a difference to our day-to-day -day living. There we go, big pike. Where was that big pike when it was prime time? <laughs> I didn't catch anything last night. Oh, good stuff. Yeah, well, that's all of all of my calories basically. So that's fantastic. I'm just going to light him now so I can get those calories in my system straight away. And I want to get some water as well while I'm at it. That's why we've been carrying the bowl around with us, because I don't have a bourbon bottle yet, so I can boil water in a glass flask uh, easily. But uh, water bottles are plastic, so you can't boil water in those outside of a microwave. But bowls are ceramic, so that's fantastic. So I can boil water in that and take care of my thirst without the need to drink tainted water. That'll buy me a little bit of time. And we are drowsy because we've been sleeping on that chair last night. Well, that is fine by me. So let me leave all of them there for a moment. Let's get rid of that plank and such now as well. Don't need you for a minute. And it's almost prime time, so I'll do a little bit more fishing.
And that's from the dead bodies, so we can ignore that. You know, key on the center wheel, and I press Q now. It's now escape for me. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, you have... So you bound Q to your center wheel on your mouse. And Q is now escape for you. Oh, so... Oh, okay. That's not a bad idea, actually. A oh, fair play. I don't think I'd use that myself, but no, that's an easy way to pause the game. With very little effort. Is it the cat's the green box from Water Walk? Oh, fair blow. That's the last of you done. Well, that's just uh, sort my weight out for a short while. Yeah, water's still fine. And how many of you can I carry without being over encumbered? Not many. That's okay though. So I'll probably leave a couple of spears behind. There's no doubt I will be back here again at some point. Oh, I'm definitely not going to have room for you. You're a giant. You're a fucking monster. Oh, that's fine. I'll leave you there then. Um, yeah. So let me run back now. If it looks dumb, but it works, it ain't stupid. <laughs> Alright, off we go. So we just run all the way back now, because all those zombies should be split up into nice little groups. They shouldn't be in my way. Like, they'll, well, the zombies will be in my way, but they'll be spread out enough I can dip and dodge in between them all. And I can make my way all the way back to the house again. The only real benefit of going all that way back is just so I can sleep on a bed. Something of good quality. The chair is horrible, because we got tired so quickly today. It's not a, uh, it's not something I want to repeat consistently. It's not looking too bad. Yeah, it's a lot better than it was earlier. It's bearable now. Let's just 
we know that there's going to be zombies on the road. Let me just cut straight across. It's just a little bit more direct. <laughs> That's all the dominoes, nearly 11 o'clock. Sad. Fucking sadness. <laughs> That's the worst feeling, like, oh yeah. I'm, I'm craving a pizza right now. I'm, I'm craving a kebab. I'm craving some Chinese or some curry. And then you look at the time, it's like, oh, it's two in the morning. Fucking sadness. I guess I'll have that sad, sad, horrible fucking Chicago deep dish pizza in my freezer. It's just as good, right? Still 24-hour Mackies on the cards. I wish I had a 24-hour 24 uh, 24 Mackies where I live. There's no, there's no McDonald's in this area. That stays open 24 hours. Makes me very sad. Can of diet. <laughs> Living out your projects on board. Like horrible lifestyle. Dog food, kind of like just a little bit of lard as well. Stick of butter. Maybe a few insects in there as well, why not? Cheeky little bit of topping. I have Chicago in my freezer too. Yeah, the reason why that came to mind is because I know what I'm having tonight as well. <laughs> it's like, oh yes. It's like, why are you so sad? Because I know what's waiting for me. I know what's downstairs. I know what's in my freezer. <laughs> Because I, I did a nice little food shop today, but by the time I finish it will be 2 in the morning, and I gotta be in bed very quickly, so I don't have a lot of time to cook a proper meal. So I know what I'm making. It's gonna be very sad. It's probably gonna be cold in the center. <laughs> Get a little bit closer to my house, and then we'll start crouch running. Just so they don't follow me all the way back. Hi, exertion. Let me go a little bit further, then. This should do, though. Two katanas to use now as well. Very nice. I'll cook some of them in the morning. And yeah, we are very tired now, so let me set my alarm to reflect that. Yeah, so that's five. Yeah, six, seven. Seven hours should do. Yeah. Not too bad. Woke up an hour early. Let's see, let me cook a little bit of food. 
I don't need much, just something to snack on for the day. It's same as before, we don't... Like, I want to get my weight up, but it's not, like, the main focus currently. Not until we get full access to the entire river again. I have introduced myself, you have introduced yourself. Hey, Pons. This is a very good conversation. It's a very good conversation. Alright, so that's 10, 10, 22, 17, 5... All right, let me cut you up. Just got finished eating a spoonful of peanut butter. Delicious, I'm sure. Not to my taste. Disgusting. But a star for effort. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not really a peanut butter man myself. Marmite? No, I have ho I have a single horrible fucking memory of Marmite. I got that child, that childhood PTSD from Marmite. I think I've told this story before. My dad was a fucking asshole when I was a kid with Marmite. You know what he did to me? Because I was a child. I, re I fucking remember this. I'll never let it go. <laughs> I liked chocolate spread Nutella. Every kid likes Nutella as a child. It's fucking chocolate. And now I saw him eating a sandwich, and what did it look like to me? It looked like chocolate spread. I thought that was a really nice sandwich. I asked him for a bite, and you know what he did? He gleefully looked at me and went, Go on, mate. Have a bite. And I was like, Oh, thanks, Dad. And I took the biggest selfish fucking bite of that sandwich, and I just, I remember it. Just creasing and dying inside and i looked onto him and I, I was like father why why have you done this you are a cruel and angry god <laughs> and i remember him fucking bursting out with this like fucking chesty laugh like you dumb bastard welcome to reality you fuck <laughs> I aged 10 years in that moment. I was a veteran. I was a hardened man then. <laughs> Never trust anyone ever again after that. Fucking betrayal. Oh, I appreciate the follow as well, Rare Reaper. Happy days. That's 175. But yeah, I will never have Marmite ever again now. Horrible memory of it. Yeah, he made a fucking mug of me. He fucking- he got me good. He got me. That'll teach me to fucking try and pinch other people's food. <laughs> yeah, grilled cheese, so simple. You can't go wrong with a grilled cheese. So I'll keep that one there, and I'll snack on that at the end of the day. Also, hello, Kiona. Hello, hello. Do we all have weird triggers? See, I'm gonna retell that story in the future. If I ever have grandkids, I'm gonna tell them that story, but I'm gonna take a big fucking swig of whiskey first and take a big drag from my cigar. Like, tell us a war story, granddad. <laughs> like, throws back his entire glass of whiskey. It was winter, 2004. 
Right, that is that is my war story. <laughs> that was my villain. Yeah, that's my villain orange story. There's a lot of you around here. Good stuff, though. That was winter 2004. I was a young learn. Now, tell me, what was your first experience with a Judas? <laughs> I think that's like one of the worst insults you could have thrown at you. <laughs> Like, when you do something really shitty to a friend just for laughs, and they shout back at you, you fucking Judas, you're like, oh shit. <laughs> I may have, uh, I may have touched a nerve. <laughs> I may have done something I shouldn't have. should be most of the guys around my house. So let's just grab these last few and then I'll have a rest. And then we'll head to the main road and start working our way west. Nice, let's grab everyone from this road now, and we'll head back west towards where the main group is. Let's get rid of these ones first. 23k mark is going to be super close. It is going to be really close. Really close. Next, we are on our... Yeah, six and a half. I've got three and a half hours left. And we've been slowed down for a while. I might not make it. Because we were just behind the half... Like, we were just behind the, the 3,000 kill mark. 
uh, when we crossed over the five hour portion of the stream. So I was a little bit behind then, and I think we've fallen further behind. So I might not make 20, uh, might not make 23. But we might be able to make up for lost time. Making all your points on it. Oh, you may you may be losing big today then, Spaz. You may have been a believer on the wrong day. Let's put you down there. Been gone all day. Cat is extra snug in now. Nice. <laughs> See, I got extra lovings from my dog today. I came back from the shop. I had food with me. They could smell the pampering coming. They knew it the second I came through the door. Well, not even before I came through the door. They saw me when I came through the gate. They just, they knew, they could sense it. They're like, oh yes, I can smell a discounted rotisserie chicken from Tesco's. <laughs> good, good, bring me the food. Where are all these zombies coming from? West Point, <laughs> still West Point. Yeah. Yeah, all of these ones, like, directly north of us. It'll be a mixture of, like, all the zombies north and northeast, but some of the ones from the northwest area over here as well, from the am ambulance shenanigans. Artisseries are just asking for begging from pets. I buy them all the time. Like, they go on sale every single day. Where I am. Right. I have to go to like a different, like a different shop for it. It's the same, it's owned by the same company. But, uh, yeah, every single day, you, you go to like the butcher section and there'll always be a bunch of rotisserie chickens, all bagged up and ready to go, all ready cooked. But by the end of the day, if no one's bought them, they're gonna throw them out. So they just start discounting them. Like, so cheap. Like, you buy an entire chicken for like two quid, it's great. <laughs> So if I'm in if I'm in the shop at that time and I see them, it's like, oh, I'll buy like two or three of them and I'll take them back for my dogs. Yes, and two coffees. <laughs> They probably think I I am living the most nutritious lifestyle. Like, what does he buy? I see him come in the shop all the time. What does he leave with? There's lots of coffee and lots of rotisserie chickens. <laughs> think I've hung the moon. Yes. You leave, you come back, full chicken, already cooked, nice and hot. Hunter-gatherer. My dogs probably think I am some sort of apex predator. 
my dogs see me leave all the time and I always come back with tons of food. Like, wow, this guy's fucking... This guy knows how to hunt. He's good. Also, I just, just want to check something. Yeah. Just, he wasn't ground, ground attacking just a second ago. Just must have been pressing the wrong key, maybe. Bad. Let's just carry on walking in all calm like. Nice and chilled out. And yeah, they can play catch up to me. I'm not going to wait for every single individual zombie. As long as they come out of the road where I can find them later on, that's all I need. Yeah, it's still got plenty of spears. Fantastic. So yeah, we'll have a casual walk all the way up the road now. And I want to start kind of like systematically just pushing them back in the field. Because I'll lay off the siren for a short while now. Now that we know that it's about a thousand-ish. So once I get to 21,000 or 21,500... I'll set off the sirens again, and I'll see how many we have left after that. There's a few in there. Yeah, you can play catch-up now. We'll wait until we see a big group before we start fighting again. Good stuff for all the lurkers. Gotta get that conga going. 
Nice and chill. These zombies are the life of the party. Let's grab all the ones we missed over here as well earlier. <laughs> Stabbing all the lurkers, yeah, you're quiet for too long. There will be violence. And that's the quiet ones you have to worry about. They're planning something. Probably thinking about jets and helicopters. Trying to ambush me. That's a bread knife. Thought it might have been a machacha for a moment then. Golden. Still a few more, but that's okay. It's not that many. Keen hearing is so clutch. Oh, it is, definitely. Keen hearing is the goat. It has been that way for the better half of a decade, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. It's like, I oh, yes, the game where one injury can end your entire run? Why, yes, I would like eyes in the back of my head. <laughs> right. Uh, where are you? So I want to grab that beanie. Oh, hello, vitamins, I'll take that. Uh, but I want to grab that beanie that's on the ground, which I'm pretty sure I saw. It's getting close to winter, so I just want to stop grabbing a few little bits and pieces here and there just so I can throw them into a uh, container for later on just in case the temperature drops dramatically Good stuff. And yeah, seeing as it's quiet for a moment, just gonna make a couple of extra spears.
That's that's all of them, so we made an extra seven, so I'll add them to my list in a moment. Just about enough room to squeeze them in. There we go. We're on 616 now. Nice. And back north we go. Yeah, I think you guys might have dragged them further north this time. I think that's where. Most of the jets and helicopters flew off to after the ambulance uh, finished its siren. And yeah, it's only four. Well, we've just gone three thirty. Still got plenty of time. I'm just going to run on ahead, because there's not that many down here. It's a bit quiet. I should run into a lot of them over here, though. Yeah. And it feels very strange being able to see this road again. Very strange. And it, I think we're getting to the time now where we may have to start turning the blood off because I'm looking at my frame rate and it's like dropping under 30. Yeah, I think it is time. Let me try you on 50. Yeah, back up to 60-ish. Yeah. We'll just have to slowly start turning the blood down now, every now and then. Until eventually it's just completely off, because it'll tank my frame rate otherwise. Yep. At least we got like a rough number then. And 20,000 kills-ish before it, like, the blood will chug my computer. Not too bad. And while the rest of you catch up, I'm gonna run off to that chair and have a quick sit down. But let's try and make sure you still follow me all the way.
And yep, pretty much full stamina, so that works out nicely. And it's only 5.30 as well, so we still have plenty of time to keep killing. So what are we on now? 20.692. Okay. Let's try and push for the 800 mark, and I'll be happy with that then. Because that'll mean tomorrow will be incredibly easy to cross that 21,000 mark. Won't even have to put in any effort for that. And we still have food back home as well, so we can just focus exclusively on killing tomorrow again. Still don't think I've passed. Oh no, we have passed it. Fuck, we're gonna do that. That's very nice. Yeah, the the highest kill count for this character before that was 495. When the fuck did I do 644? <laughs> I don't know when we did that. That's a very good kill count though. Yeah, 644 in a single day. Very nice. Yeah, as I <laughs> It's like I don't know when we did it, but we did it. I don't know when we did that. Yeah, because we haven't done, like, a huge amount of killing for, like, a few days. We were doing fishing for, like, the last two days, more or less. Like, two, three days. Oh, very good. Yeah, because I was thinking about possibly trying to cross the 500 mark with those vitamins we found, but, yeah. <laughs> Apparently we did it all. We did it a while ago. Oh, fantastic. It won't be, uh... It won't be too long into the future until we pass the 1,000 mark. 1,000 in a single day. That'll be when we get towards 6 or 7... fitness. So it's probably about... 2... 2, maybe 3 months in the future, when we get to, like, level 7... ish. This area is looking very clear as well. I guess I'll check the ambulance again once we get to the 21,000 mark. Don't even go. I won't even have to go that much further over it, I don't think, at this rate. No, we'll hit 21,000. And then we'll set the ambulance going again and try and round up all the zombies in this area another time. And then we can take a quick head count and see how many more roughly we have left. Also, appreciate the resub as well, Sniper. Happy days. That's number 176 now. Very nice. And afternoon as well. Appreciate the follow as well, Ottomans. That's 77. All the jets, all the helis. What the fuck was that? <laughs> it's like, oh, yes, it's going very slow. Nice and steady at the moment. Yes, yeah, so we'll do a head count soon. Be a shame if I called a helicopter in. <laughs> no, that's good though. That helicopter is fantastic. So it'll bring them from further away so we can actually get some more kills before we leave this area. That works out nicely.
Not too many more now. I'll have another rest after this. And it's only... Yeah, it's only not even 8 o'clock yet. Uh, so we'll do some more killing after this group as well. Two times. Right. Have a little sit down then. Uh, spear animation question. How do you avoid the slower stab animation and ensure a swipe? Uh, sometimes a zombie slightly off to the side. And it's step. Yeah, so it's just based on like the zombie count that you're attacking. So if, it, if it's an individual zombie. There's an, there's a chance. It's not guaranteed, but there is a chance to do the stab animation. And that depends on, like, generally how much damage you're dealing. So the higher your strength and the higher your spear level, the higher the odds of doing that. If you are attacking a zombie, but there's another zombie next to that zombie, in, like, close proximity, whether it's, it's in front of it, it's next to it, it's behind it, doesn't matter where it is relative to the zombie you're attacking. Um... As long as it's really very close to that zombie, uh, it's a swipe attack. So you can't decide, you, you can't choose when to do the stab animation, but you can choose when not to do it. You just have to try and group your zombies up into one little ball if you want to avoid it. Uh, but yeah, TLDR, just don't attack zombies on your flank and then you'll be fine. Like all of these guys on their own. Most of them are all stab attacks because there's no one else around them. But if I group these guys up now, because they're all right next to each other, they're all going to be swipe attacks. So there's no risk of me trapping myself in the animation and then getting yanked by someone else. But someone like that who comes from the side, there's a very good chance you'll uh, trap yourself, so you just have to make sure to resist the urge, you know. <laughs> if you've got a zombie on your left and your right and all around you and all that stuff, just have a little bit of self-awareness or situational awareness and know how much time you have to react and how much time do you have to actually get a an animation kill done uh do you think your Riverside Temp campsites are clear? Riverside Temp... Oh, well, like, towards, um... Like, down this way? Yeah, no, they're probably mostly clear. Like, far more than this. I still think there's probably quite a few zombies out there, but there's no Riverside zombies. It's just zombies that are there normally, and then some of the West Point zombies who've made their way out there. Riverside is... It's not in range. I, I've done the tests. It's not close enough. It's too far. But... There are zombies that spawn all along the riverbank and around this area, so it'll just be those guys. But all of those cells don't really have that many zombies. They're all like triple digits or lower. It's a, um... It's a really... Low pop area. Uh... Towards the mansions. Oh, like literally the riverside, not the riverside town, the riverside itself, like the riverbank. Um, maybe. Same answer, really. Um, <laughs> like, I think it'll have basically no zombies, like far less than this, but there's probably still a few of them lingering around. But we've been down here for so long now that everything north of us generally should have made its way down here. At least the majority of them should. So. I doubt there's more than, like, uh, at the very most, probably, like, 2,000 up there. And even then, I, I don't think it'll be 2,000. Like, we barely see anything come from that direction anymore. It's really quiet. So it's probably just, like, a few hundred spread across the entire area. But we will be finding out soon, it looks like, though, because this area is thinning out nicely. And as soon as this area is cleared, we're going to start pushing further back. Yeah, 
It's almost 10 o'clock, though. So, let's run on home. And get some sleep and get some water. And I'll get some more food in the morning. And then we'll come straight back out here and carry on killing. Trying to get a cheeky swipe. Uh, cheeky swipe on the zombie flanking is, is risky. Yeah, exactly. Just don't do it. Yeah, if you have a... Um, if you have zombies very close to you and you see another zombie creep up behind you go, going for the flank, do not attack it under any circumstances. Because there's nothing... There's nothing else at play. It doesn't matter how tired your character is or how exerted you are or how well fed or how hungry or thirsty or any, like, the direction you're moving or your momentum or how many zombies can see you. It's literally just... If you swipe at him and he's on his own, there is a chance to do it. <laughs> And if he's on your flank and you have another zombie in very close proximity to you, if you roll the dice for it and you successfully do that animation, you are taking a hit from that other zombie. Guaranteed. You cannot cancel the attack and there's nothing you can do beyond that point. But yeah. But the temptation is always there. You're like, oh, I could do it. I could swipe him. I could take a cheeky little hit. <laughs> but it gets more and more risky doing that the higher and higher your level gets because... The higher your strength level and the higher your spear level gets, it's, it seems that the uh, the odds of you doing those one-hit kills increases, uh, like, ex well, not exponentially, but in tandem with that level. So, uh, eventually when you're level 10 spear and you're level 10 strength, it's almost every single individual zombie is a one-hit kill. It's just a one-hit strike every time. But at level 0 and 0, it's, um, you don't hit them very often. Like, you'll still get them, but it won't be, like, even the majority of them. Like, most of them would just be, uh, regular strikes. Just bribed your dad with food to get him, uh, to let him... Oh, you bribed him with food. I mean, fair play. You found the one thing that works for most dads. If you want something done... You either offer manual labor or you give food. Well, food or money. <laughs> food, money, or work. That's the way to your dad's heart. Right, almost there. It's all fine. Yeah, I don't need you with me. All those. And I'll leave the beanie hat here, so we're saving that for the colder weather. Alright. And yeah, I'll cook one or two of those in the morning. I'll keep those on me, though, because they can be quite useful sometimes. Right, and yeah, I'll sort my water out then as well. But yeah, let me get my sleep in, so it'll be under four hours, so... If I give you three and a half, that'll be plenty. I think these ones might be empty now, maybe. Nope, still got water. Surprising. And I need minus 25 as my minimum, so... Yeah, let's do... Yeah, 17. And yeah, I'll do minus 27. So it'll be a, about minus 30 after it's all cooked. Give or take.
Uh, one hit KO, percentage increase makes sense. Safely going, yeah. Uh, oh, I was safely going for flank kills before. Now notice it's becoming a death sentence, yeah. It's, um... The good thing about it, though, it seems that the the higher your spear level, uh, your attack speed does scale. Well, your, your one-hit kill speed does scale with your spear level as well, and your attack speed in general, so... At level 10, you can hit those one-hit kills really quickly. So you, you can kind of get a little bit more risky with it. You know, as long as you don't have a zombie within, like, two tiles of your character, you generally have time to make that hit and then push the other one away or walk away from that zombie about to grab you from behind. Um, but it just depends on what you're comfortable with. But you'll see me do it all the time, because you just get used to it after a while. You just, you just kind of know, like, how... Like, which ones are safe to hit and which ones aren't. You don't even have to put any, like, thought into it. Like, you just know instinctively, like, oh yeah, he's, like, he's close, but he's not close enough to get in and land an attack before I finish executing this zombie here. That's so minus 26. Yeah, fantastic. So that should be most, if not all, of my hunger. Yep, fantastic. And then we'll have the rest of this in the afternoon, once we get hungry again. I could probably fit one more spear in there. Yeah, good stuff. Right, let's go back, and we'll just run straight out to where we were last time. And we'll carry on pushing up to that T-junction again. And then when we hit the 21,000 uh, 21, mark, then we'll set off the sirens for the ambulance again. And I'll try and round up all the zombies one more time. Because we should be at the point now where it should be sub-500. We've killed about 1,000 since the last time we did it, more or less. And when we did that, it was only, it was only just enough zombies to, like... Uh become silhouetted, which, meaning there's 500 or more. So we should be okay now to, like, round up the last of them. Even got a bite out of it as well. Nice. <laughs> But how are, uh, how was my weight doing? 74, good stuff. Should be able to get that back to healthy relatively soon. And... Yeah, we are getting very close to popping that level 9. I still think we'll do that one today. Yeah, yeah, real time, that is. I still think we're gonna get that level 9 maintenance. And we should get to the halfway mark of level 9 spear as well, meaning that we'll definitely get it tomorrow, uh, real time again. What else? I don't think Carpentry's gonna level up. We're not gonna make any more spears. Well, not in that quantity anyway, so that shouldn't hit level 6. We're not using any other weapons right now. Ugh. Fitness is doing pretty good, though. Ah, all good.
And this still looks pretty good as well. But yeah, we'll do a bit of shouting on this road now as we go west. I'll just get rid of these ones. Sit down for like 10 minutes or so, and then we'll uh, start walking along and shouting. And yeah, once we hit 21,000, so after about 150 kills, more or less, we'll start heading south towards the ambulance, and then we'll go set those sirens off. So we should be doing that about midday, give or take. <laughs> yeah, respect my personal space, you zombies. Yes. No means no. No touching. I must remain pure and untainted. Also, welcome back. Hello, hello. <laughs> Yeah, we'll do a bit of shouting now. And I can have a nice little look and see how bad the north is looking. Because... I think that's where s well, quite a lot of them went when we were chilling out there fishing. I think they went up along the riverbank here. But uh, that was a while ago. Swing and I miss. Yeah, there's still a few of them in the north, though. It's not, not completely empty. gonna run off and have a quick rest and then I'll let them come out to me again. You got a few strays wandering here. Yeah, let me make sure that you continue following me and I'll rest on the chair that's just past these cars. You gotta love how the road is covered in zombies and broken weapons. Hey. I don't know what you're implying, but this wasn't me, okay? I'm a law-abiding citizen. This could have been anybody. You know. Ignore the spear in my hands. I'm just picking up after this person. I, I promise. <laughs> Miss click. Surprise blood is still turned on. Oh yeah, I turned it down just a minute ago. I put it down to 50% now. So it was chugging my frame rate slightly, but I'm back up to 60 FPS now. But yeah, it was it was still on a 100%. Uh, and my frame rate was just shy of 30. 
uh, partially zoomed out without any zombies on screen. So I'm about to tone it down a little bit. But we'll just keep on toning it down every now and then as my frame rate drops. And then eventually, you know, it'll get to the point where I just have to turn it off completely. Just holding that spear for a friend, exactly. I'm just waiting for a mate. <laughs> That's 617 spears now. Very nice. Right, let's have another quick rest and then we'll go back north again. I don't think that was all of them. There should be more. And we're very close to the 21,000 mark as well now. So we'll start heading over towards the ambulance. Um, well, to be fair, I'll start heading over towards the ambulance now. It's like... I highly doubt I'm going to get all the way there and not kill 16 zombies. <laughs> so yeah, let me head, head out towards that way now, because it's pretty much directly west of where I currently am. It's more or less straight out there. And I'll still carry on shouting, though. I'll try and grab all the zombies I can around this area. So we just want to take a head count now and just see roughly how many there are. Like, are we... Still looking at 500 plus, or are we looking at 500 minus? No. Because 500 minus, I can clean up within, like, well, a day, preferably, but two days at most. Anything over 500, though, that's going to take, you know, three plus days, if not more, depending on how many actually turn up. But it's looking very quiet so far, though. We might run into a few more in just a second, because the cell border is more or less here. So there's, there might be a few groups hanging around in the uh, the cell adjacent to us. So we haven't had any jets or helicopters for a while now, so there's, there's nothing that's happened that would have brought them out towards us. Just my incessant yelling. <laughs> It still looks pretty quiet, though. Twenty-one thousand Zeds told to have a rest. Goddamn right. <laughs> Feel like Chris Hansen right now. Just you know, like hello, take a seat. <laughs> Let 
And here is too many more. So I still want to get another 2,000 today on this stream. 23,000 is the overall goal for today. And we've got about three hours to get that done. So I think we could do it still. I can hear it. Did you already turn the sirens on? Nope. No, we haven't been out there yet. And it won't it won't still be running because we're on the default settings for the sirens, so they automatically turn off after like X amount of hours. They don't stay on permanently. Cause you can change it so they stay on until the battery dies, but on default I think it's like six hours or something. Don't quote me on that. It's in the sandbox settings, but it's something around that. I know it's less than 24 hours, guaranteed. <laughs> but yeah, it's not a very long time. Uh, but it's about like half or quarter of the day. Yeah, but we'll go turn it on now. <laughs> and I just went till Rebecca finds out I'm cheating on her. I know. Scandalous. The drama that will unfold. She won't be jealous, though, because Rebecca is mahogany. And this one is made of plastic, so... <laughs> this one is a fake cheap bimbo. Rebecca's the real deal. She's authentic. Rich mahogany. And yeah, it's only lost, I think, like 2% since the last time we checked, so I don't see that battery running out ever. Not, not while we're using it for this, at least. It's gonna carry on permanently. And yeah, while you do your thing, I'm gonna sit down here and just wait. And we'll just kill the zombies as they come in until the horde gets uh, out of hand. I expect most of them to come from the west and the south, but uh, east and north and, well, east, north and, yeah, south, east. I don't really expect to see that many of them. I'll give you till one o'clock. Yeah, like last time we did this, we had zombies all around this area heading out towards it, but there's barely anything this time. Now that is, uh, I think the scientific term is fuck all. That's, uh, that's gonna be really easy to clear out. Yep. I'll give you another hour, though. Yep, that's only 30 minutes. Let's go have a look at him now, though. He's like, your ambulance? That is my ambulance. That ambulance tried to murder us today. There was a uh, an incident with some questionable car physics, and it did. I did happen to run myself over with the car, 
And that's not an exaggeration. We did literally run ourselves over. It was hilarious. But it was a bit concerning. <laughs> Yeah, so there's over 500 again. But it looks fucking identical. Like, every time we do this, it always looks like the exact same amount every single time. <laughs> well, we'll just hang around here, because I want to wait until there's no more zombies coming around. Like, I want to see what the actual number looks like. Someone say waffles. I want waffles. I don't think I heard anyone say waffles. I think it just might be your uh, your subconscious trying to lead you to the right answer. It's like yes, make all the waffles. Yeah, they love my car. They do love that car. And they're admiring the bodywork, I suppose. I don't know why you guys are coming over here. Chase the ambulance. I think that is everyone. I don't really see anyone else coming from the north. There's no one coming from the east. There's a few more from the south, it looks like. Uh, but I think that is generally everyone in this area. Just all grouped up. Like, obviously, we can't kill them all at once, because I just don't have the energy for that. But, um, but yeah, there are quite a lot of them in the black silhouette. So we know it's over 500. Uh, but yeah. Let's just put a big old fucking number on it, and let's just say 2,000. Um, so I doubt there's more than 2,000. Like, 2,000 is a bit of a stretch as well, I think, but hey-ho. If I set the target high, uh, at least I, I know I'll hit it. Hmm. So at least more than 10. It is. It is indeed. I do concur. Before we walk away, though, let's grab a big old chunk of them. Because when we grab a chunk of them now, we'll walk, We'll end up walking out of range. So all of these guys are going to disperse. They're all going to start walking away. Yeah, that'll do. Decent little chunk. Wait for my panic to die down a little bit. Yeah, 
<laughs> Molotov joy time. I refuse. On principle. Yep, no fire for me. Can't make things too easy. <laughs> Really thought it was kind of excited to go north. Yeah, same. I thought it would have been fucking empty, but yeah. It was probably just the, the field and the roads and all that stuff that was just completely empty. I still don't know exactly what the radius, like how far out those sirens extend to, but we weren't seeing any more come in after that group, so that has to be all of them. That is it. For the time being, at least. <laughs> yeah, it's not that many left. So let's throw down the chair, grab my, make sure all my spears are ready, and then we'll kill them as they start coming towards us now, because it'll be just like a giant fucking tidal wave of them. Like, they'll just all start walking towards us now, because uh, we're out of range of that ambulance. So they should all start making their way over here as they spread themselves out through this cell again. So we'll just grab a massive group of them. And we'll kill what we can. The best case scenario, they're all still there, but I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, I can already see two of them over there. And they're not they're not walking back in that direction. Where's the wave? Where are you hiding? Still can't see any of them. Yeah, looks like they're all still there. That's convenient. Or well, the ambulance might have turned off by now. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. They're all... It's off now, so they're all... Gonna start spreading out. That's cool, though. Let me grab a chunk of you. Yeah, party's over. Party's over, music's off. The cops are here. Fucking scatter. Yeah, big old chunk. 
But it's good, because it'll all come down to the road now, so... They're gonna spread themselves around this area, and then tomorrow when we come back out... Oh, I am gonna be able to find a lot of them with very little effort. now and go get some sleep early no actually it's, a, yeah, it's not even here actually I'll run over here and have a rest and then I'll go grab another group and then I'll head back afterwards yeah because it should be about 10 o'clock by then <laughs> not the popo not the popo Yeah, a little bit drowsy, but that's okay. And we just do a little bit of killing for a few more minutes. Just until I get to... Uh, just until I get to moderate exertion. And then we'll head back then. come back out here tomorrow and we'll pick up where we left off but no i think that's really good though but uh even though we didn't get like an accurate head count because obviously we can't really tell how many there are if they're still silhouetted when they're from the ambulance uh good news is when they were there uh like we were talking about there weren't any more coming in after them like after that group formed around the ambulance which means that they're all there now so whatever we have in this area currently, that's it. That's everything that currently exists. So it's over 500 minimum. But they're not going to leave this area. They can't go anywhere. They're going to stay in that cell. And I'm going to kick the shit out of them. <laughs> Beautiful. They're all locked in here with us now. I thought we'd agreed never to lie to each other. I'd never lie to you, Spaz. I would only, like, mislead or misdirect. <laughs> what do you seem to understand? I'm locked in here with you. <laughs> You're locked in here with me! Yes, all part of the plan. They cannot go anywhere. They belong to us now. And we are going to systematically and methodically kill every single one of them, one by one. Yes, we might even get to the 23,000 mark before we have them all done. It might be close to 2,000 of them. And stop leaving the Santa hat. No, I checked the clip of it. I was looking at the wrong... I looked at the wrong hat. Uh, when we were checking it on stream, but I looked at it afterwards. It was just a uh, bandage. <laughs> That's all it was. It was literally just a bandage. <laughs> yes, the Santa hat is a lie. You were bamboozled by the lies of chat. Yes, 22, 6. See, I got enough food for tomorrow as well. Good stuff. Alright, so let's give you five hours. That's more than what you actually need. Oh, 
Conveniently, my alarm is already set for that time. Beautiful. they break the car when you do them. Oh, when I leave the sirens running? No. It, they only seem to do it when they, uh, they have the strong attribute. So if they are strong zombies, they seem to be able to destroy the light bar. If they're not strong, then they don't seem to be able to do anything to it. That's like the only thing I've noticed. Uh, whether there's anything more to it than that, I don't know, but uh, uh, but no, the, the rest of the car, like the tires, the hood, the trunk, all the glass, the light bar. If you're playing with normal zombies, they can't touch any of it, as long as you're not in the vehicle while it's doing it. So that should be most of my hunger done. And this is the one that we'll have towards the end of the day. Fantastic. And yeah, that'll do for weapons as well. Alright, let me just quickly check something, make sure we're still all good. We are golden. All right, good stuff. Let's see, let's run our west now, and we'll carry on doing our shoot. Ah, shoot. Not shooting, yeah, shouting. Along the way. So I'll run past this little area, and then when we get to that road... Just over there, that's where we'll start shouting. Unless we run into a few along the way. Wherever we really see them first, honestly. Every time we set that ambulance off, they do tend to, like, make their way out here. Uh, seems to be pretty quiet today. That's promising. And before I go any further... I'm just gonna pour out the last of that coffee in my thermos. There's always, like, a sad half mug of coffee left at the bottom of it at this time. Oh, would you look at that? Exactly half a mug. Again, sad. <laughs> this, this thermos is just made to disappoint me. I get, like, three mugs of coffee out of it, and then the last one is just half a mug. It's really sad. Ah, <laughs> oh, good stuff, though. Still nice and quiet, and it'll start getting brighter within the next 30 minutes as well, so we'll be able to actually see everything around us. But yeah, we'll have a little sit down, and then from here we'll walk and shout. Because they won't be that far away from the road now.
Uh, yep, 5am. Hello, sun. Beautiful. To vanquish them all, yes, kill, maim, burn. Everything has to die. And we'll celebrate. Once everything is dead, one day I will celebrate with a lovely, lovely glass of bleach. And I'll get the last kill. It'll be my character. Mission successful. <laughs> What song is this? No idea. I mean, if you want to find the song, just type in a handful of the lyrics. Like, literally, like, just type in, like, one or two lines into Google. Comes up every single time. Pathetic. <laughs> Fucking. You're in the same boat as us, Spaz. You don't know either. You know, I mean, what were the lyrics for, the, like, the last, ver uh, like, last verse? Like, under the moonlight or something, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> You literally just type in that, and then follow it with song, and it'll be like one of the first search results. I can never find it. I will have a look later, cause I guarantee I can find it. Oh, fuck it, let me see if I can find it now, just from like the, the handful of lyrics I know. It was something like that. Let's have a look. Can I find it? Um, it has. To, it's got to have something to do with moonlight. Cause that fucking that line gets repeated constantly. Mm, no, I can't find it. Yeah, underneath the moonlight. So all I can remember is moonlight. That's the only line I can remember. If I had like a full line, I could find this shit instantly. <laughs> I'll find it later for you though, because you, if you want to know so badly. Right, worst case, no, you can always just go through the playlist and just go song by song until you hear it. Because it is very distinctive. Uh, kiss me under the moonlight, right? Uh, kiss me under the moonlit night. I mean, is, is that the song name, or are you, like, giving me a proposition? <laughs> yeah, you could always use Shazam as well. Dancing under the moonlight. It was something like that. I mean, I would check the VOD, but the music doesn't turn up in my VOD for copyright reasons. Just typing stuff to be silly. <laughs> Fair.
Also welcome in Charcoaly. Hello, hello. Should be one more. Could you show skills? I can indeed. There you go. That's that's what we're currently working with. So at the moment, we're just trying to pop our level nine maintenance because we are right on the edge. We are, uh, yeah. Just over a hundred experience away now. We are very close. I appreciate that as well, citizen. Happy days. Appreciate the follow as well. Happy days, uh, Big Daddy IRL. Yours just called out of the blue, gave a gave you a Steam gift card for twenty dollars. As you do, yep. <laughs> He's either a really like a really good friend or he definitely pinched that off someone. <laughs> Too bad. Crafting around uh, to post your Zomboy for yourself. You know, I mean, you can never have enough good, like, copies of Zomboy. Always got to have more. Uh, craftable mask? Uh, it is. It's not vanilla, though. It's part of Dylan's craftable headgear mod. Uh, so his mod, his mod's really cool. Adds a ton of craftable masks, glasses, and general headgear. Uh, none of them affect the game balance itself, they're just all cosmetic. But uh, he was kind enough to make my Plague Mask and name it after myself, which is very nice of him. And yeah, so you get this little tailoring tab and then you have all these extra masks and such. But yeah, the name of it's Craftable Headgear. It's a very, very good mod. Yeah, just cosmetic, yeah. But yeah, he was nice enough to include my own. Oh, if I can spell. Yeah, you still have to get the materials to make it. 
but it's a fun little thing to have. Uh, but if you plan on using the mod, word of the wise, don't take short-sighted. Because <laughs> almost every single mask in the mod takes up the glasses slot. So you can't wear reading glasses to get rid of short the short-sighted debuff if you're going to do it. But apart from that, it's fantastic. And there are no downsides. Let's carry on pushing north again. We've killed, what, like 200 so far today? It's not a bad start. And at the rate we're going, I might need to, uh, I may need to make some more spears by about midday. So we are burning through them rapidly. You can play catch up, and we're just going to carry on going north. Look for some bigger groups. You can play catch-up as well. Yeah, that's really quiet so far. Well, now that we're further, further up, that is. Yeah, I'm wondering where you're all hiding. Because with the amount of zombies that we had by the ambulance earlier, they can't all be hiding in the trees. <laughs> Far too many of them to be hiding all in the same area. Yeah, reveal yourselves. Swing and I miss. Eh, hey, where were you guys earlier? <laughs> Taking your time coming out of that tree line. Swing and I miss. Got a yeah, perfect song for this. Let's join the conga line. Swing and a miss. 
And the RNG gods have blessed me with yet another spear. Six hundred and eighteen now. Nice. Yeah, it won't be too much longer before we cross the thousand spear mark. Good stuff indeed. Like on nausea. Oh, that's uh, corpse sickness. So that's from being around too many dead bodies for too long. But it's it's not lethal until it gets to the later stages. So you have to let your corpse sickness build all the way up to a fever before you'll die. Or before you'll start losing health, I should say. So it doesn't happen instantly. So I've got to go from queasy to nauseous to sick and then a fever. And that's when we start taking damage. But that doesn't happen very quickly. So it's not something that we pay any mind to. Just something that we ignore, really. The only thing that you have to actually take note of is, well, making sure that you don't sleep amongst the dead bodies, because you will spend far too much time around them then. And yeah, there we go, level 9 maintenance. Our spear's now just a little bit more durable. Good stuff. Congrats on the maintenance nine, much appreciated. Last time the song was on, you loved up nimble. Must be a good omen. <laughs> Anytime we do the hustle, we are making great progress. Hey, Grumble. <laughs> Grumble door. Nice name. <laughs> uh, white spears, just because they're readily available. Uh, that, and they also have the highest skill cap in the game. And by skill cap, I mean, like, once you get well, once you get very proficient with using the spears and you've maxed out all your stats, there's no other weapon in the game that can kill more in a single day than the spears. And that takes into account every, like all the variables. So resting, sleeping, how fast they attack, uh, how fast your attack rate is, uh, damage output, and how readily available the weapon is. Which makes them the best in my eyes. They are the, the well, the god king weapons. They are fantastic. Uh, the only major downside they have is they're very fragile, but like you said, because they're readily available and you can make them very easily, they uh, are very easily replaced when they break. And yes, and because spear is life, yes, TLDR spear is life. <laughs> spear gang rise up. Kills more than the Molotov. Let me rephrase. It is the most proficient weapon that counts towards your kill total. <laughs> there we go. We'll, uh, we'll scratch that little technicality off. 
Yeah, nothing's more proficient than fire. <laughs> Yes, all the spears. Right. While I have a little bit of time, and there's not really any zombies around here, I'm just gonna quickly make a few more spears. You got, I got you on Team Spear. Nice. Mission accomplished. More recruits. <laughs> nice. All the weapons are good and bad at different things, but in terms of just raw killing power, oh, the spears are just fantastic. There are other weapons that can come close to competing with them, but they are still the best overall. They still have the highest uh, kill ceiling like on how many kills can you get per day, and I love them for that. Yeah, that's 621 spears we've made now. Well, made or found. Team Hunting Knife, yeah, Hunting Knife is a very good weapon, yeah. Yeah, the Hunting Knife is the king of stamina efficiency. It's like, ah. Uh, you want to fight zombies? Yes. Do you like resting? No. Well, how about I give you a weapon that you never have to rest with? It's like, oh, does such thing really exist? Yes. <laughs> and what if I make that weapon super fucking renewable as well? It's like, what do you mean by that? I'm going to put it on like every other fucking zombie so you never run out of them. <laughs> it's like, oh, yes, please. I'll like that. Yeah, they are... Hunting knives are great weapons. So even if you don't use them as your primary, they still make for really good backup weapons as well. So they can... They can fit into pretty much any build, really. Carry an extra bag as well? Yeah... Kind of. I mean, with that one, that one requires that you have the prerequisite. Like, you have to have a high enough strength level. Because you'll get to a point that, like, if you had a military backpack, so you had, like, the best, most efficient uh, weight reduction bag on your back, and you filled that one up to max, that's going to take up a good portion of your main inventory. So you, you could carry another bag in your, like, in your offhand. But you're not going to be able to fill that bag up completely most of the time, because it's going to make you over-encumbered in your primary. So it kind of becomes redundant. But, um, you can squeeze, like, a, a little bit of extra carry weight, though, by doing that. I'm just not a big fan of it, personally. But that's because I'm very biased. I like my two-handed weapons. <laughs> the second someone mentions, like, holding something in my offhand, just, like, I crease like a gremlin. Just, eh, get it away from me. Like, no, two-handed weapons. Give me two-handed weapons or give me death. <laughs> I'm surprised this is as clear as it is, though. I was expecting to find a few of you up here. Love the range of the spirit. Oh, yeah. Longest reaching weapon in the game. So, yeah. Do you want to kill something from a different postcode? Absolutely. Stretch Armstrong with those attacks. It's fantastic. 
Makes you feel very safe. Like when you get used to fighting with the spear, it's like, oh yeah. I can kill zombies and I don't have to be anywhere near them. It's great. It's like having a gun. <laughs> a gun that's renewable. It's beautiful. Well, we'll walk over to the, uh, that little section over there, and then we'll head south from next. Like, this is a different cell now, so we should run into a few zombies south of here. Like, it can't be completely empty. Not with the amount of zombies that we saw by the ambulance. They, they have to be somewhere. They can't have run off. They have to be in this area somewhere. Oh, so hello, Yauk. Or Yauk. Is it Yauk? Yauk. By the way, hello, hello. South or west? I'm thinking west. Right, scurrying back into that tree line. Over this way. Because, I mean, we always... We're always on the south... Like, the southeast, the east, northeast, and the north side of it. Like, we always come around the road, but we never go directly south of it. Or west. So that's really the only place they could be hiding. But yeah, we're by that tree line now, so we'll head south from here. So we don't normally come out of this area. Play around the debug. Oh, you gave it a max range of 50, just smiting the zombies from a mile away. A horrible group. Doesn't look like you're gonna hit the 23. No, I don't think we are. I think we're gonna be short by several hundred. Like something over 500 ish. Yeah, it's because we had a bit of a, like, we had like two or three days where it was a bit spicy around the river, and I just couldn't do a lot of killing. But we're going to carry on going anyway, because you never know.
I blame stream crash, yes. I blame the stream for crashing at the very start within the first 20 minutes before we made the, the gambo as well. <laughs> Damn stream crashed for like 10 minutes. That 10 minutes could have made all the difference. Yeah, I agree, Ted. Yes. Gamba is void for like the five minute crash we had at the start of the stream. <laughs> yes, we have to refund the Gamba now. Right, you can play catch up. It's very quiet down here as well. I'm really surprised at it, because every time we do, like, every time we set the sirens off for that ambulance, it's always fucking packed. And then they disperse, and we go around, and we do a bit of killing, and it ends up like this, where there's basically nothing. But I know if I put that, if I turn that siren back on, this area is going to get absolutely slapped again. Just wondering where they're all hiding. Like, they have to be south then. They have to be. There's like, there's no other direction they could be hiding in. It has to be south. back to back very spicy if I was a long blunt player I might even blush and I don't know why I switched my weapon yeah there's a few of them yeah fight by the ambo yeah so they'll be west of it, west and south of it, and they can't really be anywhere else at this point. But I'm not going to set the siren off again, because they'll end up, like, dis like, redistributing around and dispersing. And tomorrow, when we come back out, I'll just go directly west. Like, straight from here, we'll just go straight west, and we'll just have a look out that way. So we don't tend to go down that way a lot. I think it's been a... a couple of weeks in game time since we've been down that way. That's another cro that's like three crowbars I found in the last hour in game time. That is hilarious. Yeah, if I was a long blood player, I would definitely blush at this point. A hundred percent. Like, oh wow, RNG gods. Stop. <laughs> People will start talking otherwise. Got two more spears to use, so I'll have a little rest and we'll go back west again. Just use up the last of these.
That's another fucking crowbar. That's like four. Where the fuck are all these crowbars coming from? Man, I wish I went to shoot like fucking long blunts now. <laughs> Oh, sorry, yeah, I couldn't even see that. Nimble 10? No, we are nimble 5. Couldn't even see that comment. Uh, but no, we're not maxed with nimble yet. Nowhere near. Last spear now, and then we'll run on home. So let's go a little bit west of this one. Should find enough to break this last spear. And then we'll run home, get some sleep, grab some more spears, come out tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. Because at the very least, we can cross the 22,000 mark. Won't be very difficult, but I'll try and go for 22,500. So I don't think we'll, we're going to reach that 23,000. Because I've got, yeah, just over an hour. I don't think I could do that. Not at this level. This is very quiet. Not seeing anyone. Hmm. Surprising. This is like the last place I would think that they would be hiding is south. <laughs> Interesting. I, I may actually have to use the sirens again, maybe. Just bizarre. Like, they gotta be hiding somewhere. And the only place I can't check is that tree line. That's literally it, but I'm not seeing that many come out of there. And they can't have gone that deep into it. The cell doesn't go out that far. Oh well. Alright, let me run back then. Run back, get some rest. Uh, but yeah, I'll just turn the siren on straight away tomorrow then. We'll just make a giant horde straight away. No wasted time, then. Because yeah, this is all still clear. Let me look at my stats while we run. Let's see. Uh, still on the weight, 73. That's fine. Uh, the winter debuff is going to kick in in 10 days as well. So gaining weight is going to be a little bit of a hassle. But by that time, we should have control of the river again. So I'll be able to fish consistently like every morning or every evening. Well, or every evening slash and every evening. But yeah, just under halfway to level six fitness. Good stuff. Twenty-five percent of strength. 
That doesn't matter. You don't matter. You don't matter. Yeah, nowhere near for the next level of nimble, but that's okay. Level 5 is, like, adequate. Anything above level 5 is just a bit of a bonus. You can still be very proficient at level 5. And, yeah, we don't care about any of that. Uh, but yeah, we crossed over the halfway mark for spear level 9, so tomorrow we'll definitely get that. A guaranteed slam dunk. Uh, cause we've, go we've gone up over uh, 3,800 uh, 3, experience today. So, if we just repeat exactly what we've done today on tomorrow's stream, we should get it towards the end. And level 9 spear isn't going to be a huge difference, to be honest. But level 9 will allow me to get more one-hit kills when we are exerted. And it will just increase my swing speed slightly, so... I'll be able to squeeze in just a few more kills every day. And then what else? Carpentry might hit six tomorrow. We're two thirds of the way there. I don't see cooking leveling up anytime soon. And then, yeah, and then fishing definitely isn't going to hit level six anytime soon. No. But it is fine. Level 5 is enough for me to maintain my body weight and keep myself fed and all that stuff in the winter. So we don't have to worry about leveling that one up anymore. Uh, but yeah, I ran out of spears though, finally. So we'll have to make some more in the morning. But let's get some sleep now. And I can sort all of that out in a couple of hours. And we'll have to run out to the river tomorrow as well. So I'll do the... Oh shit, which orders, which orders should I do it in? Cheeky shoulder bump. <laughs> yeah, second I heard that fucking door open. Nope. Uh, but no. Um, I'll do fishing in the morning and then I'll do the killing afterwards, I think. I think that's the way I'll do it. Maybe. I'll think about it. Right. So yeah, four hours. I'll just leave you there for a moment. And let's go cut down a bunch of trees. And we'll make a giant pile of spears again. Just enough to last for a while. But to be fair, I probably won't make a giant one. I'll just make enough for the, the last few days. So I'll make about 20 or 30. Just a small number. <laughs> my driveway is occupied by the dead. What are you, my HOA? <laughs> you can't put dead bodies in the driveway. Like, I don't see that in my agreement. You can't enforce that rule. I can put my dead bodies where I want.
I don't see any more. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Had a massive brain fart then. Hey, Aldo. Welcome on in as well. Hello, hello. Right, that's all good. Uh, let me make the new pile over here. That should be enough. Shouldn't have to make any more today. Yeah, it should be 32 spears. Yeah, perfect. Let's grab a bunch of knives. Keep one of you with me for the fishing later. Yeah, that's all good. All right, let's grab some spears and then let's fuck off to the river, do some fishing for the day, I guess. It's been two months since we last saw Rebecca. So you're still cheating on her. I am, because I'm a horrible person. Yeah, with a plastic, yeah, plastic chair of all things, I know. Fucking cretin. Disgusting human being. How dare I cheat on Rebecca like that? Let's put you back there. Alright, disappointed, but yeah, you know what I'm going to carry on doing, though? I'm gonna carry on cheating on Rebecca for now. It's an, it's an open relationship. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, let me add those spears to my kill... Uh, not my kill count, my spear count before I forget. Let's make sure I'm on the right one. Yeah, so I need... It'd be 651. No, 60, 653. Golden. Alright. So yeah, we've made 653 spears so far. I miss Jeremy. I miss Jeremy too. I haven't found any... Well, to be fair, I haven't been foraging. But yeah, I have no fanny pack, even if I do find Jeremy. Like, I'd have to hold... I'd have, I'd have to, like, perch Jeremy on my shoulder while I fight. <laughs> now, Jeremy needs a home. I need to find a fanny pack first. I miss Frank. I miss Frank as well. I know... The team has been scattered. I'm out here. Rebecca's back by the house. Frank is back in West Point by the houses. And then Jeremy's fucking God knows where. Jeremy's a nomad. Jeremy just goes wherever he pleases. Jeremy's on a top-secret mission. He is. 
Jeremy's probably a secret scientist. He's probably just trying to find the cure. Jeremy's a very busy man. No. Like, we like to think of Jeremy as our little sidekick, but it's actually the other way around. Like, Jeremy is just doing this as a side quest. Like, <laughs> we're not part of his main plot. Jeremy's got other shit going on. Looks like the zombies made a push at some point. Yeah, we keep, uh, like, making super groups every now and then. We've, like, we've started using the ambulance now. Uh, but we've kind of, like, thin this area out completely like there's barely anything left here now but they're so spread out that i can't find that many of them so we keep going back to the ambulance turning the sirens on making a super group killing a few of them naturally things escalate it gets out of hand we run away the siren gets turned off they re like they disperse around the area and it's like a fucking magic trick they just disappear it's <laughs> Like, there's enough zombies in that area to become silhouetted zombies, so there's like, there's 500 plus minimum, but it looked like there was over a thousand last time. But we haven't killed a thousand since then, but there's just no one left. It's, it's like the world's greatest magic trick. There's, we've managed to hide like a thousand zombies somewhere, <laughs> and not even I know where they've gone. But we have like a sneaking suspicion that they're south of the ambulance. But, um, yeah, I guess we'll find out later, but I'm going to do some fishing first before I fuck this area up again. Because if I fuck it up too badly, I might not get back to the river and I'll end up starving slowly tonight. <laughs> yeah, they just they just turned the ambulance into a clown car. They're just all in the back waiting for me. Yes, the bathroom zombies are evolving. They now hide in the trunks of your vehicles and in, in the back of your van. Let's see if any of them made it out to the river. Bibbidi bobbidi boo, zombies shall no longer come for you. Please, no, that's a curse. Like, no. <laughs> I feel so unwanted and unloved by the zombies right now. I feel alone. Like, I'm not even good enough to be eaten by the zombies. How low has my life fallen? This pit of despair I'm in right now. <laughs> yeah, I got all the skeletons, yeah. Got all my decorations for, uh, for Halloween. And I truly am alone. I know. I am a machine with no purpose now. Like... A lamprey with no zombies to kill is like, what is that? I have no purpose. What do I do with myself now? As a suicide option. I mean, you can still kill yourself now with, like, bleach and such, but if you're on about, like, firearm suicide, that has never been in vanilla as far as I am aware. Not as long as I've been playing the game. Unless it was, like, pre-alpha, like, before it came out on Steam. Uh, there have been mods for it, but in vanilla, I've never seen that. Uh, at least tomorrow's team guaranteed to go north. I mean, it depends how many helicopters and jets we get called in on this, but as long as it's, like, similar to what we've been doing for, like, the last two or three streams, um, yeah, going north is definitely on the table.
I'm surprised that you're still fresh. <laughs> Pleasant surprise. Oh, and we were killing these guys exactly nine days ago. By C times. Alright, let me cook some of these now so I can get my, uh... Get my body weight increasing. As the minus 20% damage affect you in any way? Oh, well, from being underway. I mean, technically, it does affect me. Does it change the outcome? No. <laughs> we still one-shot almost every single zombie. I probably can't push my character as far into exertion or fatigue. Like, I can't stack as many of those debuffs. Um, and still one-shot them, but... It's, uh... I don't normally push my character to that stage, so it makes no difference to me personally. But no, in my um, in my character's day-to-day -day living, it doesn't come up. It's not relevant. I would notice if I went down to very underweight. Like, minus 40%, that becomes a bit of an issue then. That's most of it. 20% uh, looks big, but I guess... Not for such zombies. No, it's... Like, when you get to a high enough level with your combat skill and your strength, you just really don't care about those debuffs. Because it sounds bad on paper, it's like I have a 20% debuff to my damage, but... As long as it doesn't, it doesn't change the outcome, and the result is exactly the same. It's like, you can just ignore it. You know, it's like, oh, I have minus 20 or 40 or 60% damage. It's like, cool, am I still one-shotting the zombie? Yeah, it's like, cool, I don't care then. <laughs> just gonna, just gonna ignore it, doesn't exist. It's a, um, it's not a problem I have to acknowledge. But if it, like, gets to a point where it's like, oh, am I still one-shotting? It's like, no, I'm two-tapping now. It's like, okay, now it's an issue. Now I need to get rid of some of those debuffs. Like, don't, don't have to get, fix all of them. Just enough so I can go back to one-tapping the zombies. That's all I care about. That level, well, with spear, it, it, spears in particular, because spears are so uh, spicy, beefy with their damage. You can go, like, 
really far into the negative with your debuffs and still one-hit kill most of the zombies. Like, you can be pretty... Well, you can go pretty far into your exertion and your fatigue and your weight loss and you can still one-tap. They are very, like, very good at dealing damage. Just the one, one other pike. No worries. So, I'll leave that one next, because it weighs a fucking ton. And, uh, yeah, but yeah. We'll run out to the ambulance now, because I want to round up whatever's left in this area. Like, get an accounting of how many more there are, because we really just haven't seen anyone for a while. It's been really quiet. And I don't want to bust a gut looking for them. It's towards the end of the stream now, anyway. I just want to get, like, a rough number in my head. Like, just a, a rough group that I can look at and say, okay, that's that's not too many, or that's a lot, and I have an idea of what I'm killing tomorrow, then. <laughs> Before I, uh, do something overly dramatic and I overcorrect myself. Have a little rest on the chair, and then we'll run south and set that siren off. I've got about, well, yeah, four and a half or five and a half hours until I need to run back and sleep. So that'll be enough time to gather all the zombies up in one area and see how many we have left. Because there's probably still a few groups hanging around up north. Like, I'd be surprised if that one's empty up there. There's probably still several hundred up there lurking around in the woods. Just really awkward to drag out. <laughs> uh, can you see a difference between one-shotting with crit damage or with the spear diff spear feature? I don't know what you're asking with that. See a difference between one-shotting with crit damage, crit slash damage, or with... I don't know what you mean by the spear feature. Oh, there he is. Is that we're going to put the car on the north road? Yeah, so... If this is clear and we want to start pushing north, we'll end up taking this one with whatever... Well, with what little gas he has left and driving him further north. I try and drive him as far north as I can, just to clear out that tree line. The animation- yeah, like, if you're on about the animation attack, yeah, there's a very distinct difference. Like, one's a RNG-based stab attack, which locks you in place into an animation. And then the regular attack is just the slash, which is just standard, if that's what you mean. Uh, the spear can one-shot zombies even if you deal zero damage. Oh, so, like, if you're, like, at full fatigue and max exertion and all of that stuff. Um, I don't know if it's just me imagining things or if it's actually by design, but it seems to have, like, a faster attack speed. I don't know if that's right or not, but it just feels like that. Like, I'll notice some of my- some of the swings I make at zombies, they are f Like, they are distinctly faster than the- like, the other attacks I make. But there's no diff- there's nothing different that I'm doing. I'm not putting in any other input, I'm not moving differently. And I haven't, like- regain stamina suddenly it just some of them just attack faster than others so i've always just kind of assumed that i was either imagining it or that's one of the criticals going through uh but with the um like doing those critical attacks when you're at like max fatigue and max, max exertion like you're so slow at that point that i don't really well <laughs> the only thing that's noticeable at that point is the fact that you're one-hitting them when you really shouldn't be dealing that much damage. But, um... Yeah, besides that, I don't notice too much of a difference. Yeah. 
yeah, he just doesn't give a shit. <laughs> That's fine. All right, so we'll just stand around here for... Uh, we'll give him two hours. So yeah, we'll just stand around here, uh, stand around here, and just kill anything that happens to see us. And then we'll go check the ambulance afterwards. And yeah, the queasiness is fine. Okay, we could ignore that. Eight o'clock. Let's go have a look at that ambulance then. So two hours is enough time to bring out a decent number of them. Well, it's basically fucking nothing. I mean, let me just grab some of you now, then. Yes, 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 the good stuff. The good stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to give him a little bit longer, see if anyone else comes out of the woodwork, but it's looking promising. Yeah, we'll start making our way back home now, and then we'll come back out here in the morning. So I've still got time. I've still got 30 minutes. So we'll come back out again and try and finish off some more of these guys. Because, I mean, if that was it, I could finish that this stream. And we'll be clear to go straight north tomorrow, then. Immediately. Swing and a miss. Is the chance increased with level? Oh, well, like the critical chance? I don't believe so. That would be a question for the guys who like code diving. They would have the, the actual answer for that question. I'm 16 population, plus pinpoint hearing, your life, uh, your life with the same six cells for 60. <laughs> I mean, we've been living the dream, okay? Just weeks living in the countryside, eating nice, freshly caught fish, good quality bed to sleep on, lots of exercise. This is the dream, okay? It doesn't get any better than this. means pinpoint hearing and in the exact tile it just increases the, the range at which they can hear sounds so just, just think of it as like a multiplier for every sound in the game so if like let, let's just say for like an example if i press q and i shout let's just say just for easy math they could hear me from like 20 tiles away pinpoint hearing would mean they could hear you from like 40 like it would just make everything significantly louder so when they all have pinpoint hearing, all the cars are louder, the helicopters are louder. Everything, every every sound source in the game, they can hear it from much further away. Doesn't make them any better at following the sounds or finding the player or anything like that. It just makes everything loud. <laughs> but that means that when you have helicopters flying overhead and such like that, you do get it where... Uh, like a helicopter that flies over near West Point, for example. Normally, it would just affect a small region of West Point. With pinpoint hearing, everything in West Point can hear that helicopter. And everything outside of West Point, like in the immediate area, can hear it as well. So all the zombies down towards Dixie and some of them by Mulder as well will hear it. And out towards Valley Station and the mall, they'll also hear the helicopter usually. 
It's a, um... It's a very large radius. But yeah, we'll come back out here in the morning. And I'll kill the ones around the road in the morning, but we'll try and go straight out to the ambulance. Straight away. No fishing tomorrow. Because I already have food on me now as well. But we can uh, set that ambulance off immediately. And like I said, if that was... Like, the zombies that we saw there, if that's it, we can finish up them. We can get rid of the last of them around this area. And we can start thinking about moving on. Either, uh... You're pushing further north. Or we can push further east and then take the other road up north, because... Uh, this... Like, going up north over here isn't too bad. Like, I get river access and all that stuff, but, uh... It is a long way around to get to the mansions again. But if I go east a little bit first and then north, that road just goes straight to the mansions. But it is landlocked. There is no, uh... There is no fishing down that way. It feels like type making your type of gameplay easier. Absolutely not. <laughs> like, late game, it'll be great to find all the zombies, but early game, fuck it out. Alright, for reference... Oh, let me pull up my map. When I normally do time 16, I will run to these houses and I'll just stay here for like a month or two. And then I can immediately push back into town, like after like a month or two. And that's as far as out, far out as I go. With the pinpoint hearing and the integration. Oh, fuck it. Look how far you pushed me. <laughs> like, we had to go all the way down the riverbank. All the way down here and all the way down here. And we've only just managed to stop them from pushing me any further. And it's not because we're, like, we're really good at killing now. It's just because it's so much land for them to cover. Like, there's physically not enough zombies to cover this entire area. <laughs> it's insane. But yeah, it's really good fun, though. But yeah, you've nearly killed me... A handful of times on this run. It's never been this bad. Like, this has definitely been one of the worst ones I've done recently. Um, in terms of, like, difficulty with shamblers in time 16. I just missed my mark. Yeah, I don't normally, uh... I don't normally get pushed this much. And come this close to dying. I'm normally in control of everything. <laughs> this is very abnormal. Not a yeah. I like it, but I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> Let's leave some of this food back here as well, because I don't need all of this with me. And to be fair, I thought I had more. Yeah, that's fine. It's enough for tomorrow anyway. Might as well throw you into the salad now. I remember yeah, I was gonna scrap that character, yeah, because I thought he was gonna starve to death. Yeah. Like, that's one of the times you nearly killed me. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I don't see us bouncing back from this. Like, I don't really have that many options available. And I was thinking about it. It's like, I'm gonna try and keep him alive, but goddamn, he is hanging on by a fucking thread right now. He's, um, he is really struggling. But I don't like to just quit on my characters, but Jesus Christ. I'm a realist, and that, that time it was not looking promising. <laughs> it was not looking good. Yeah, we came very close to starving. And it was all because we forgot that notched plank. Right. Uh, yeah. Give you six hours. <laughs> you grasshoppers. If only it was that easy. He needs a haircut now as well. Let me... I'll trim his beard as well. Make him look like a human being again. It's been a while since we trimmed him. And, yeah, that's all good. Yeah, we're all good to go. Alright, so let's run on out, set that ambulance off again, and we'll see. Uh, yay or nay to us being done, but 
it does look like believers are gonna lose today because i am short by a thousand kills <laughs> so yeah we we tried to jump up from killing four thousand per stream to jumping up to six thousand but yeah we were we didn't increase that much i managed to get about five thousand kills today but we're not going to get to that 6k mark because i've only got 27 minutes and unless i find a precarious looking white pouch you know with some anonymous powder on it i don't see my character uh slaughtering that many zombies in such a short amount of time That's number 179. Appreciate the follow as well, Rabbit. Happy days. You need white post to achieve your goals. A, hey, okay. There's not there's no restriction on class okay the pearls will be enchanted they will give me extra damage i'm about to play skyrim in this game let's just skip straight over to the ambulance i'm not gonna wait around for any of these zombies over here just straight to the ambulance set the siren off and then we'll just wait and see how many turn up because they're, they're all in range around this area. There he is. Yeah, I'll do a bit of shouting though. I'll kill the ones around the ambulance first and then we'll set the sirens off afterwards. Yep, it is fucking dead. So let's chill out over here for a bit. Um, well, to be honest, I'll chill out over here. Let me grab... Yeah, we'll grab all of you. I'm gonna just kill them as they come in. Another big old group. Next, this is a very, a very small number compared to what we've been doing. Let's grab a big old chunk of you. And it doesn't matter if they push us that far back. We'll just come back in a moment.
I fucking completely skipped his animation. Hilarious. Yeah, give you till eight. Let's go grab another one. Yeah, that group is not increasing in size. Like, this looks to be it. Fantastic. See that I can find that one later then. as well. A pair of scissors, that's okay. to the scissors. Yeah, good stuff. Let me have another quick rest. I'll give you 20 minutes. Nice short one. And I think this is it. Nice. Yeah. That's pretty neat. <laughs> oh, good stuff. And just as, yeah, just as the stream's ending as well. Good timing. Very good timing. Yeah, and uh, for the record, uh, fuck this. Fuck that. Fuck all of those guys. And fuck you, West Point. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not even done killing the zombies in the town yet. We've just managed to catch up with ourselves. So this is the turning point now. We've managed to hold them off. Okay, they... We've managed to push them back a little bit, which is fantastic. So now I can start pushing further north up here, or I can go further east down this road, and then start pushing this one north back to the mansions and start pushing the zombies back into West Point itself. But yeah, Jesus Christ, it took us... I mean, the, the integration's been on since day 30, so it's taken us 
two and a half months to gain some traction and to get our foot in the door. <laughs> Give the zombies a cheeky little slap. <laughs> well, yeah, we managed to kill at least minimum one third of the town. So there should be between 30,000, well, 28,000 and 40,000 left around this area. But yeah, we should be able to start pushing back now down this area. So I want to try and keep the river uh, more or less clear now up here. Because, I mean, this ambulance seems to have quite the range on it, so it should be cleared down to about here at least, minimum. But we'll drive that one down this road tomorrow. And I can start trying to clear up the riverbank and the tree line around here as well. But yeah, that is going to be the end of the stream today. I'm not going to uh, take my character back home. I'll just leave him here because it's, it's only 10.20. So I'll, ca I'll carry on exactly where I am on tomorrow's stream. Yeah, thank you for joining me, guys. And for those of you who are new, you are welcome to join the Discord or follow if you want to come back. I can't spell. That's a clear sign that I'm tired. <laughs> but yeah, for those of you who are new, though, I'm on Monday to Friday from 1600 to 0200. And that is GMT plus one, or British Summertime. But no, appreciate all the follows and the subs and the conversation and the cheers as we murdered all the zombies. But we'll go find someone to raid now. We'll see who else is on Zomboid. And yeah, I will catch you all tomorrow. Yeah, but let's see who we have. Who's online today? Uh, so Djax, Molly, Bonsai, Nomus, Ghost the Llama. I mean, I don't get to raid Bonsai that often. So he's, he's in Australia, so he's in a completely different time zone. So we'll go see what, what Bonsai's up to. So I know he's doing... I'm pretty sure... Oh, Gamba as well. Yeah, we failed Gamba. Let me finish the Gamba first. Well spoiled. Yes. Non-believers win for once, you lucky bastards. <laughs> yes, nay, we did not cross the 23,000 mark. We were on 22,067. You get those points. But yeah, we'll go raid Bonzo. We'll see what he's up to. Because I'm pretty sure he's probably on sprinters. He's always on sprinters. Uh, how do you spell your name? There he is. Yeah, we'll see what he's up to, and I will catch you all tomorrow at four. Happy days.